Did you remember to put your clock back? Hayley didn't. She's just, uh, when, when I woke up this morning, there was a message on the phone going, what, what, how am I supposed to set my phone? I was fast asleep when she sent the message. Anyway, it's now a miserable morning. Stay in, keep warm, keep cosy. You've got a gorgeous four hours coming up for you. And also, do you know what? I think the animals, the nature are all, because I saw about seven or eight deers this morning, I saw loads of foxes all running around, all like going, ooh, we had our breakfast normally by now, we? Anyway, let's have a look at today's menu. Coming up today, winter warmers. Eight o'clock Christmas gifts. Well, uh, it's actually a handbag. Eight o'clock is a handbag. Nine o'clock, Christmas folded decorations. Yes, we're definitely doing those with Joy. Uh, eight o'clock is Lucy, by the way. Nine o'clock with Joy. Ten o'clock Christmas quilt with Lucy. And then at uh, 11 o'clock... Oh, now that's... Fan the 11 o'clock travel quilt is fantastic because there's a, a version for him, a version for her and a version for... I was going to say them. That's not very nice, then, is it? The Littlands, the Littlands. Uh, really, really lovely. You know, what uh, they always say, don't they, keep something warm in your car in winter. Well, that's the little quilt taking your car with you. Uh, now, we'd love you to get in touch. The best way to do that is via our website. You go to www.sewingquarter.com. Here it is. There it is. What you need to do is you click on Watch Today's Show. Then, if you just scroll down the page now... When you've logged in, I'm just taking my earpiece out for a second, I'm having issues. Uh, when you log in, because little Paul hasn't logged in yet this morning, um, a little box will appear there, a little pink box, and you can write your message. And uh, keep it short, though, because it, you can carry on writing as much as you like at your end. But at this end, it cuts you off after about, like a Twitter, like 140 letters or something like that. Then you see where it says there, products from today's show. There are all the pieces and uh, products we had yesterday. In a minute, they will all disappear. And as I introduce um, items today, whether they be fabrics or bundles or um, rulers or anything like that, they will appear there. So for those people... Oh, now, look, they're still... Now, some people didn't check out their baskets yesterday, did they? Because that skirt sold yesterday. And, and the stocking sold. So if you want those, get those quickly. Oh, oh, it's beginning to go now. It's beginning to go now. Um, so they'll all disappear, right? They'll all disappear. But if you're watching the show later on, all of our items will be there. Now, if they're sold out, they won't be there anymore. Right, at the top of the page... Oh, hang on, is he logging in? Oh, no, you're not logging in. I thought you were logging in. I thought that's why you're taking it away. So what you need is... What, what you see, on the left-hand side, you'll see us live. And then on the right-hand side, there's that. Once you've logged in, little Paul hasn't logged in yet, um, you can click on there and put it in your basket. When you go up to your basket, you can check out as many times as you like, So we only charge £2.95 per day, 24 hours, uh, for as many times as you check out. It doesn't matter how many times you check out. Um, you can, uh, it's only two ninety five pounds post and packaging for the regular service. Um, also, if you want to send an email, because yesterday we had lots and lots of uh, uh, photographs and, and things like that. So we do have an email address you send long messages to and pictures. And here is the email address. Studio at sewingquarter.com. Studio at sewingquarter.com. Right, let's start, shall we? Look. Look. Little handbag for the, for the Christmas season. Now, this one, this one here, Lucy's already made this one. Um, this one here, uh, you can use all year round. The other two are Christmas themed, but look. It's more than a... I, I don't think it's going out in the evening bag. It's a lunchtime bag, isn't it? Like meeting your girlfriends for lunch. Take your iPad oh, or your tablet with you. You can slip that in there as well as you, you... Anyway, I've got three bundles. Three bundles to show you. Right, the one that Lucy's already made, which is this one. Right, OK, let me just move that out of the way. Right. So you get half a metre of your upside-down horses fabric... You get half a metre of the navy blue um, PU fabric, which you're all absolutely loving. You get the thread, you get a blue zip, you get your uh, interfacing and the book. All of that, £25.99. That's the one that we... Right? Now, if you want that PU by itself, the blue PU by itself, we can sell that by the half metre. Maybe you want to make something else of it. Maybe you want to make a tote bag out of it. It's limited, it's limited, it's limited. So the blue PU is £6.20. I'll show you. I'll show you very quickly. It's very wide as well, look. So for your half a metre, there you go, that's half a metre. £6.25. 
Okay, let's move on to the next one then. Okay, so the one that Lucy's going to be making on the show is the gold uh, holly leaf one, which is... Um, oh, um, so you get half a metre of the gold PU, you get half a metre of the holly leaves, you get your interfacing, your thread, you get your zip, and the book, 23.99. Let, let me just explain why. Why? That, that one's two pounds more. It's because you've got that lovely Iris, um, Lewis and Irene fabric. Iris and Lewis and Fabian have it there, haven't you? What? Now the gold star with the... Oh, no, 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 before I do that, if you want the gold PU on its own... We like that. You can make Kylie shorts out of that. I know Lucy's got a pair that she wears at Christmas. In fact, we'll get her to wear them. We'll get her to wear them on, the, on her Christmas show, when she does a Christmas show. Uh, I think, little Paul, they might be a little bit sweaty if you make boxes out of those, because it's not the most breathable of fabrics, is it? Anyway, gold PU, £6.25. Do you know what? Can I, I, I... Sorry, sorry, before we go on. The thing is, you could use this for... So, imagine I'd make Christmas decorations out of that. Do you know what I mean? Like... I don't know why I'm doing it like that, because I, do, I don't do Christmas decorations like a stripper on a Sunday morning. <laughs> I do a... <laughs> I do a... Don't. I've got two friends, Candy and Stella, that's their job. Anyway. Uh, no, Paul, I could never introduce them to you. Right, and silver. Silver PU. Uh, the snowflakes on black. The black uh, zip. The interfacing. The thread. Oh, what's up? Oh, that's on the top of the yeah. And the book. Well, I've got a book over there I'll show you more about. £23.99. If you want the silver PU, I'm not going to do a Christmas decorations dance with this one. That's the silver PU there. It's, it's very... Um, it's, got a, it's viscose, right? It's viscose on the back, right? Um, the silver's very... Not sheeny silver, is it? It's like... Oh, no, it's, it's got a sheen rather than a spark. It's got a lovely sheen to it. 6.25. You see, if last time I had a metre of this... Oh, oh, now that's nice. Mind you, I look like a wrestler now, a boxer, don't I, going into the ring. Da, 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 da. Anyway, I'll get Hayley to tidy all that up. Right, bag. I wasn't talking about you then. Oh What's the matter? You just make... <laughs> just concentrate. Oh, you're lovely and warm. Oh. It's my nice Christmas oh, jumper. Is that your wrong. Christmas jumper, is it? Well, well the sleeve's a bit long. Yeah. Here, look, <laughs> I've got a perfect trick for that. Like my <laughs> mum used to do when we were little. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, thanks. Oh, oh lovely. Is that a vintage? <laughs> it's vintage. Oh, when I was um, having my third child, yes. I had my babies at home. Oh, did you? Yes. In a, what, did you have a tub? Because I'm... Um, yes, I did. Because I'm terrified of hospitals. But I had the Rocky, the, the Rocky soundtrack was um, lined up for when I was having my giving birth to my third to give me a bit of strength. Did you need to it? Power through it. Yeah. No, did you need the? Did you need the, Did you play? I it? needed the music. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so there we go. Me, that's what makes me think of giving birth in your lounge. <laughs> yes. Ooh. And my husband, the first time, um, the hose attachment didn't work, and he had to run backwards and forwards with for buckets. kettles and, and, <gasps> and pans. Oh, and on yeah, the, I bet you were swearing and shouting. Yeah. I'm surprised you had more than one. Anyway, good morning. There we go, good morning. Uh, so we're going to make this lovely little cut back. You model it so well. Oh, I like yeah. your model face. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, now. I've got the giggles today. <laughs> um, this one we haven't done beating on, but we could... Uh, remember yesterday... Remember yesterday, I mentioned about the lovely beads we've got today, the Swarovski beads, look. I oh, know, I oh, know. So what we're going to do is, um, now how, so we, we need to, first of all, say how we, because you have to bead right early on, don't you? Yes, So do. uh, the instructions are in the book, and yes. now we'll go through this book in a minute, because you get this completely free in the, in the kit, right? This is one of many, many, many projects, right? But we decided to be ours to make it a little bit more Christmassy and a little bit more um, uh, festive. So, um, are the instructions in there of what sizes you need to cut out and what sizes have you cut out? Yes. So, it's 11 by 13, right. I believe. Inches. Inches. 
and um, yes, you need to cut your pieces first. So your bag is going to look like that on that side, yes. and then you've got the gold PU on the other side. Yes. Yeah. And so what I've decided to do, I mean, because we can't do it on this one because it's a directional print, so you can't yes. have it going that way, but we can with this one, yes. and you can with the snowflakes yes. as well. I'm just going to bead this section here. Right. But what you could do on this one, if you choose to have this one and you want beading, is have the, you could bead the whole of that, but you, what you then have to do is add a little strap on it or something like that, wouldn't yes. you? So you carried it like yeah. that, or like that. Yeah. Yeah. But, but it, you don't do the foldy over on that because the directional fabric. Yeah. So... You've cut your, th your fabric out. So I've cut the fabric out, and you, you want to bead first because it, obviously it's going to be too difficult going through all the layers. You know, yes. all the layers just makes it more um, hard work, and you want to hide all those okay. threads. And also, do you stay? Did you, you're not stabilising that fabric? No, I've stabilised the lining. On right. This okay. One. But if you yeah. wanted to, you could stabilise that one you as well. Could. If yeah. you're going to be, if because you're going to do subtle beading, aren't you? Yes. Whereas I would do full on royal ballet <laughs> Darcy Bustle beading. You know oh, right. I mean? Yes. Yeah. No. So what we're going to do is uh, Lucy's going to do a bit of beading, and I'm going to. This is the first time we've ever had these, right? I'm going to take you through the Swarovski uh, jewels that we've got on, on offer today. Now, they are very limited because we've only just brought them out for the first time here at Sewing Quarter. Um, we'll, go we'll go through them. We'll go through them, right? And then uh, if, if you love them, we'll bring, them, we'll bring more back. We'll bring more. In there's nothing I love embellishment. I love embellishment. Because um, yeah, one of my favorite. first jobs was uh, working for the Royal Ballet, and literally I beaded all of the Swan Lake, I did all the bodices, and I'll show you how long ago it was. It was, I was beading them in front of the telly, and I was watching Brideshead Revisited, the f when it was a premiere <laughs> it on ITV. Revisited. That's how long ago it was. <laughs> and I had, to t I had one of those little tellies, I was away at college, because right, it was still a student at the time, and one of those tellies that fitted into a radio and alarm clock, and the telly screen was that big. And of course it was black and white, it wasn't any colour. So it was like, so I watched the whole of Brideshead Revisited <laughs> like that. Beading, but at the Royal Ballet, you have to be, you have to knot every single bead off because if they're dancing and they and all the beads fall off and they fall, yes. on, you can sue the maker. Oh, so you God. have to knot everyone. Whereas on this, you can take your thread underneath the fabric, can't you? Yes, you can. Would you like a needle? I would. Would you like some thread? Thank you so much. And you can choose any of those no, beads it's you like. So lovely. To do. And then I'm going to take you through all the, be the beads that I've got available. So I'm doing it like as if they're berries. Oh, okay. That's... Did you see that there at home? I might do some of the Aurora ones. So they're the kind of... Uh, uh, Hayley, what was that to what's the topaz called that's natural? Imperial. Imperial topaz colour. Uh, but I've got all different colours, so let's go, let's go through. Let's do those first, then. Okay. Lorraine, morning, John. You're lovely and bright this morning. The extra hour has done you good. Oh, Lorraine. <laughs> it's because I didn't sleep the night before, Lorraine, isn't it? Okay, now I'm being told the uh, two, the silver and the gold clutch bag are very, are very... Oh, blimey, I've been busy. There's less than ten available of both of those already. Already, the gold and the silver one. Right, okay. So now... Same size. They're what? They're the same They're the same, aren't they? The so I'll put that to one side. Ones. Oh, so it could be one of these two codes then. Right. No, 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 no. But there's two. There's two identical. Be oh no. There's more. There's more in that one. There isn't. This oh, one. Right. So let's start with this one. Let's start with this one. Right. This one is E F V K seventy four. Look at them. Aren't they lovely. Oh, that's that's the um that's them on their little trolley. Uh, not trolley. It's their turntable. I thought they would do. Have they done them on a black mirror? Oh right. I thought they were going to do them on a mirror for us. Anyway, anyway, that's these. Oh, no, of course they are. 48, 6 million. Have a look at them here. Gorgeous, right? Check out straight away, check out straight away. Now, these are the same beads, but you don't get as many. These are EU VK36. Pack of 24 in this one, if you don't want quite so many. Four pounds and 40 pence. There's the video. Uh, then I've, I'll, I'll, I'll do the same colour range. Make sure you check out straight away this pack of four. They're called bicones, though. Bicones. Are you doing all right with your beads in there? Yeah. Now, these are AMVK82. These are like a little bugle bead that go at the bottom, I'm thinking. Oh, no, they're, they're exactly the same. They're just tiny versions. Tiny versions. Look, if you're making a tassel, they'd be lovely at the bottom of the tassel. Right, if you've got them in your baskets, please check out as soon as you can. 
They're all limited, remember, because it's only the first time we've brought them to you, isn't it? Then I'm going to move to the uh, black, like a black bugle. This is a TPVK18. Uh, ten, ten. I even have my glasses on. Oh, no, they're nice. They look like hematite, don't they? Oh, hang on, you can't see them yet. Look, they look like hematite on there. Oh, they're on a different background. Oh, somebody's being very creative. Nice, like this. They're the four millimeter ones. Now I've got a tiny version of those. JBVK10. Yeah. So have a look at those. These are a smaller version, look. This is how you'll get them. This is how they'll arrive at your house. Oh, now, oh, now, on the, on the little film you're going to see now, they look clear. Oh, almost green, don't they? But these, this is what you're actually going to get. What's in my hand here is what you're actually getting. Right? OK. Then let's move on to the tanzanite ones. They're not real tanzanite. No, let me talk about colour. Little Paul's going, they're not real tanzanite. <laughs> I have to tell you, he's in such a mood this morning. RYVK34. These are lovely. Look, lovely tanzanite blue. They're not tanzanite, they're Swarovski crystal. 24 of them, buy codes, they're all there, look. They're only two pounds and five pence, add them to your basket. Add them to your basket. Right, now I've got some um, aquamarine, not real aquamarine. These are LWVK16. They're nice, aren't they? They're the bigger size, look. One, two, three, four, five. The six in there, eight millimetre, two pounds and 20 pence. Oh, look, don't they look absolutely gorgeous there? Now, they are a different colour to the tanzanite ones. What I'll do, let me just show you, because on the film, they look very similar. On real life, those are the tanzanite coloured ones I just showed you, and they're the aquamine colour ones I just showed you, just so you know they are a different colour. Then we're moving on to just pure crystal. Obviously made by Shrovsky. Oh, these are lovely. These are ZCVK76. Now, you're not going to see those in the packet, are you very well? But wait till you see them on the tourney table. 6 95 on the tourney table there. So you get um, 24 of those. Doesn't say happy. Oh, 8mm. They're the big ones, 8mm. Now, we're moving on to Aurora now. These are lovely. These are, these are going to look gorgeous on the tourney table, I'm sure. So these are FJVK89. Don't they look nice? Aurora, they get 48 of those, 6 millimetre. Oh, now, that, that, they look better in real life than they do on that picture. But you can imagine, you know, I'm going to... Do you know what? Let me take one out of the... Let me take one out of the... Oh, Lucy, so you haven't used them all, have you, Lucy? <laughs> no, I'm getting there. No. Um, anyway, let's move on to the gold clutch bag kit's nearly sold out, by the way, the one that Lucy's about to make. Uh, right, OK, so there's this one now. Oh, now they're slightly... Di let's do this one, because that's a bycode. This one is NXVK70. Four ninety five. You've got 48 of them in there. There they, uh, there they are, look, aren't they beautiful? And then I've only got one left, one left, one left to show you. Now these look like they've got more facets on them for some reason. These look like they've got extra facets in it. STVK90. Nine ninety five. they've got extra facets in, you see, they're round, extra faceted beads, four millimetre, 48 of them, nine pounds and 95 pence. Right. That is all the beads that I'm showing you. That's all the beads I've got. So if you've got them in your basket, you need to check out because there's so many people put them in their baskets. Please check out as soon as you can. Right. OK. How are you doing? They're my favourites, those. The little Aurora. Very faceted. The last ones, ones. Yeah. The, Aurora, the Aurora faceted round ones. Yeah. They are lovely, aren't they? They're beautiful because the shine is just... And you get all those colours in it. It's yeah. so pretty. The, the thing about the Aurora is when, when they've cut them, in fact, I don't know about how Swarovski do them, but basically they're cut and they have like all that, like, like you know that, that gemstone, uh, um, what was my favourite topaz? You know, the, what was the fair topaz with all the bright colours in it, little Paul? Um, you know the topaz that was brightly, brightly, I used to do that and get the orange, we used to try and get the orange light on it. No, Mystic's blue and green. Fire. 
No, I'll mm. think, of it, I'll think of it in a minute, right? There's a topaz, when they, they cut it, right? And it has all the... It's a coated uh, uh, gemstone, obviously. But it has every single colour you can imagine. Hayley will know in a minute. And moonlight, moonlight topaz, that's it. Moon, was it moonlight? Mm -hmm. Yeah, moonlight topaz <laughs> it was. Anyway, carry on, sorry. OK. So how are you actually physically doing okay, the stitching well, on? OK, well, the important thing here is you're going to be attaching your zip and you're going to have seams around the sides. Yes. So whether you want to just... Um, sew it on the portion that's going to be folded over or whether you're doing the whole thing. You Obviously, you don't want to go close to the edges, yeah. especially where you're putting um, the zip in, yeah. really. And you're going to be handling that section quite a lot. Yes. So I, I would leave a good inch, inch and a half, um, at least. At the at the, the thing is, edge. you can always... You'll do your main beading like this. Now, when you when you finished it, you can always think, oh, I've got a bald bit there. You can always just... You just have to be careful you don't go through to the lining yes. and things. But you can always add a bead, yeah, one or two beads add. later. But doing yeah. the bulk like this is better to do it at yeah. the beginning. Yeah, it? it's much easier. So oh, this one's sold out. This 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 gold kit has sold out. The gold PU. And then you can buy the PU separately. Have we got... Yeah, this is gorgeous. Yes. It's really, really gorgeous. And I love the colour. Maybe it was my wafting of the... Of and it, the... But it's not a brassy... Go you know, it's not a... Not nice gold. It's a it's a very very pretty gold. Yes, it is. Same right. with so the like, silver. That's what I'm trying to explain about the silver. Yeah. It's not a it's not a shiny silver. It's a lovely yeah. and expensive looking silver. Yeah. Anyway, buttery, so the gold one's like sold out. Yes, yeah. yeah. So I've started with a knot yes. at the end of my thread, just come through, and I'm literally just looping the beads. Right. So I've done some in in pairs. Some I've done um, three. I think it's nice to mix the colours on them. Um, just yeah, it I wouldn't gives put the blue. I wouldn't look. necessarily put the blue. I wouldn't on put that the blue one. on this one. No, I wouldn't put no. the blue on that one. But all the other the blue on the we've got on them the all in here, look, as you can see. We mix them, mix them, match them all in our. Um, I don't think you're going to sit because it's got a white background. You might not get a good. But we just well, what, the so way to when you bead something, if you're going to do random, is put them in a little pot like that, and then you can literally just pick them up with the end of your needle as you need to. Yeah, I've just caught a bit of thread in there. And then so, so you've done the two there, taking the thread across the back. Yeah, I've travelled. I wouldn't travel far. Yes. You know, well, you've gone from Manchester, sir. Yeah. <laughs> but that's, you know, sort of an inch. Yes. I think it's fine. Yeah. And then I can just snip that off. Okay. And then just keep... And you've just, just used normal thread? And adding. This, this is polyester thread. It's the thread that's in the kit. Yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And a, a very fine needle. You'll, you will need a fine needle. Yeah, uh, you Hayley kept saying to us this morning in prep, it's a size three. Especially for the smaller ones. Yes. And oh, yes, can... a, a normal needle you get through the bigger ones, but the smaller ones you do need to find. You. Just watch the eye at the end, because we could get the needle through yesterday when we were prepping, but couldn't get the eye through. Yeah. So you can just keep folding it over and just checking, what you know, where would I want to add, yes. you know, what's going to look okay. nice. While you carry on beading go. that, shall yeah. I just go through the book? Because the book yeah. has got so many... That this book... Oh, oh, can you? Right, I'm not, I won't say anything then until you tell me. Um, this book, right, the Fat Wall Quarter Collection, it's by, you know, our sister magazine, um, Simply Sewing. Um, they they, they, they uh, put this book together of all your favourite projects within the Simply Sewing magazine. So, um, right, our first page, right, aren't you using one of these there? Yes. Look, how cute is that? Right? And then, so was it Angie Atwood made these, did you say? Oh, oh, hang on, I can't reach them. <laughs> My new floor man just today. Put them right at the bottom. Different sizes, look. Oh, do you know what would be nice? I wonder if it would work. If you used the, if you used the gold and the silver PU be fabric. To create that, because it's obviously got some stabiliser. Anyway, there's... Oh, right, you can buy the book on its own. You can buy the book on its own, I'm being told now. Seven ninety five. Got the book. Seven pounds and ninety. Because the thing is, um, the the kits have sold out. Um, but you can buy the P the gold one. The gold one has. Uh, you can buy the gold PU on its own. Uh, anyway, let's carry on. Let's carry on. Let's carry on. Um, so look at all the instructions. If you've ever bought Simply Sewing magazine, there are all the instructions from there. So you know how. Oh, that's nice. It's a cute little thing, isn't it? Um, you know, apron. That they're very very thorough. Colour pop, what's that? Is that just like a bunting with little bunting bubbles with, on? That's yeah, cute, isn't pom -poms. it? Uh, take a bow, back, take a bow, bow, bow. Um, all these, look now, who wants to make this? Me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was lost in my beads. Yes, you were. <laughs> Hayley's going to do this because she says it's that time of year, isn't it? 
sad that she's got a husband, but she wants a hot water bottle. And then all, look at all these different mates. Like, literally every other page is a different mate, look. You can buy all of this book for £7.95. Look, Penguin Parade there. Pucker up. Um, there's so many projects. I can carry on. I'll, I'll speed up a little bit now. But look, all the projects in there. A one for the, look, bow ties. Aren't they lovely? Oh, look, now they've even got Christmas projects in there as well. Check out your baskets. Hello, baby. Is that a rattle? Oh, can't be a rattle, can it? Yeah. Make a baby smile with a set. Oh, it's Rebecca Reed. Crazy Rebecca Reed did they design those? <laughs> I mean, all of those projects for seven. Oh, 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 oh. And all your templates that you need. All the templates you need. Look. Oh, look, there's even a template for your scissor tidy there. Yeah. How fantastic is that? Oh, that book is brilliant. And even the faces look for the animals. Anyway, £7.95. Oh, it's already there. That must be your copy. £7.95. I'll put that away. The what's running now? Oh, the silver bundle's now running low. Oh, I'll tell you what I was supposed to show you when I was doing the beads. I do apologise. While you're beading, very, very important to work in decent light. Don't work in half light when you're beading. Right? Um, look at this. Look at this, right? This is brilliant. Now, this has got... 79 pounds and 95 pence. So you can have it as a table lamp like this. Or what you can do is just extend that. And we had it, remember when I did it last time, I had it on the floor there, they flew out. They absolutely flew out these. I won't tilt it towards you because I might blind you a little bit. There's a magnifying glass there. <gasps> <laughs> can you see me? Not Halloween yet. John. Oh no, but look, that's that what's that mm, thing? Yeah. What's that thing where you can change your face? You do a face shot and then you can add a thingy to it and, it, and people don't talk about hello. Is that Snapchat? I don't know. I don't know, I'm not down with the kids, that. am I? In it. Neither am I. <laughs> right, okay, okay, okay. Uh, £79.95. Uh, really gorgeous Christmas present if you're thinking about buying it for anyone. Right, okay, let me put that one away. We'll get back to the handbag making now, I promise. Let me switch that off. What magnification did we say that? 1.75 magnification oh. on that um, magnifying glass there. And then I'll turn it up, but you look at these bright, bright lights. 27 LEDs on there. 27 LEDs. Even here it helps. Oh, yes. Oh, right. it's it's a hint. Yeah, it was. Okay. <laughs> right. Of the lamp. Right, there's more people got it in their basket than there are lamps, so you need to check out if you want. I'm ever so sorry. I'm ever so sorry. Now we've got our new warehouse. All this will sort itself out, won't it? Yeah, Hayley's nodding. You're in a mood. Oh, she's lemon lip today. Everybody's lemon lip, <laughs> aren't they? She's the floor man. She's, uh, she's allowed in the studio. Right, come on, make me a bag. I am, I am. The gold one's sold out, Hayley, so you can maybe take the gold one away, thank you. OK, let's do a But the fabric one. can be on its own, yeah. yeah. Ooh. Just the gold, just the gold here. I think this might be my last one. Yeah, please, because I want you to make a bag, please. It is our part. I know, but I want it to look pretty. Uh, now, jo uh, uh, um, oh, yes. Uh, uh, it's, it's in the next hour as well, Paul, don't forget. If you've got... No, that's what I'm saying. If you, if you can, then we, we should, but... Right, finish your beads then. Let's put the beads over there. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, now I meant to show you this, right? Pop that in there. You've got one of these, haven't you? Yes, I always use my tweezers. There's only three of these, and it's been discontinued by the people who are making it. So if you want this, right? I've got... <laughs> Doesn't work as well, that one. Oh, yeah. There's literally... It's brilliant. It's brilliant, right? It's a magnifying glass with the tweezers at the end there, look. Attached, right? I thought it was broken then. It was the apples on my shirt. Look. Uh, there's only three of them. It's been discontinued by Prim and it's £5.45. OK, moving on. Sorry, oh, do you need the instructions? Well, no, I'm just going to find it to show I was going to do beading, but I didn't have time then, did I? 
Just going to do what, sorry? I don't know where it is now, where it's gone. Do you want me to find it for you? Yeah. What page is it on, Paul? Uh, there's so many projects. Yeah, is there a page on it, Paul? There it is, got it. Oh, you got it. Right. Yeah. This is the navy one. This is the navy one that's in around £25.99. Um, the thing about this, the navy one, you can only fold it over that way, really, because it's a directional fabric, so it wouldn't really work that way around. Right, OK? No, but it'll work that way. Yeah, yeah. I quite like it having the blue. Yeah. I do like navy. Um, so I've just beaded that section there. That's going to be my fold over bit. So I've already cut my lining pieces. Yes. Because it's I've... lined in this as well, isn't it? Yes. Yes. And I've put some of the fusible... Which you get um, in the kit anyway. facing yeah. on the back of yeah. on the back of that, because um, obviously once you've beaded and everything, you can't. You'd have to do it before yes, if you're going yeah, to yeah. put it on on that side. So then I'm going to cut. Um, I'd only need one piece of this. You're going to have lots of the gold left over, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, so you're going to have a lot of it left over. So I'm going to cut. I'll just do it there from that side. Oops. What you could also do. I'm just interrupting slightly here. <clears throat> is if you wanted to use some of that. To also embellish this, you could do a corner yes. of that fabric, couldn't you? Across yeah. the corner there or something. Just yeah. that, what's it called? You stitch, fl stitch and flip, is it called? Where you stitch on, flip mm -hmm. it over. And then trim it. Then no, then that was that, that Mandy yesterday, wasn't it? Stitch yeah, and flip you yesterday. can do that. Folding this in oh, very well. OK, it's a nice ruler. Um, so, yes, this is a really handy one for cutting, pe you know, when, you, when you've got to cut larger pieces. Yes. So if you are somebody that's into bag making, um, this is great because you can get the full piece in that square. So I also use this one for trim blocks. Right. It just makes it really easy because you can see the whole block. Yeah, if course. you're having to move the ruler, it's too it's yeah. too tricky. So what's she doing um, now? So I'm just going to trim off that selvage part. OK. But I, I have to say, when I got this, I was slightly um, worried. I, you know, I'm not a dressmaker, so I don't work with a whole variety of... Fabrics. Yes. I'm used to my quilting cotton, and really, that's about yeah. it. But it's so lovely. It's so lovely to work Every with. Man, uh, uh, Amanda Wyatt, who makes lots of our bags, I think she says it's brilliant. Yeah, it's to work absolutely with. brilliant. You well, treat you it because you keep exactly. Don't you? I do, yeah. But when when it's got the writing on, I like oh, the not even. I thought you'd like yeah, that. Yeah, not just fringed. for nothing. Oh, I do quite like that actually. Yeah. I might. I'll say. Whip that, that out. Thank you. Um, so then. Yeah, go I on. Could, not sure where he's putting that. There you go. Thank now, you. I can't put it around her wrist. She's got In a vintage button. bangle around her wrist. I do. Right, I so you're cutting your, bangle. your rectangle. Yeah, so I'm just going to cut my rectangle. So I can just open that up. Obviously, because this is um, wide. Yeah. And then I can just line it up. I've got the whole lot. So I want 11 that by 13. Is, yeah. Yeah. It's great. Because having the long one's nice because you're getting the full width of the usual yeah. fabric. But when you want to cut, you know, a piece like that, you do have to yeah. keep moving it. So. Um, now, apparently, there have been lots and lots of web, web chat messages. And if Paul doesn't read them out to us or send them through to us, they get deleted as more come in. So we do apologise if we haven't read out your message so far. Morning. What's the best way to get the fold creases out of the PU fabric? Thanks, Vicky. Very good question, Vicky. Um, you can iron this very lightly. Yeah, on the uh, other on side. A, on a not hot, you yeah. know, not very hot on the other side. Yeah. Um, you can blow a hairdryer on yes. it, it's the other thing that yeah. you can do. Um, that works well. You can put like a towel over the top and iron it that way, but I don't find that as um, Put it in your bathroom good. when you're having a shower, hang it over your towel rail. That's what I did this morning with this jumper. What, you had to bath with hung it? it up in the, I hung it up when I had a shower. Oh, did you? Yes, I did. Um, hang it in your bathroom while you're having a bath or a shower, the steam <laughs> will just get to it. I'm, I would say boil a kettle, but everyone's kettle these days switch off when it boils, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, so. no, and you don't want to scald yourself or no. anything, but a uh, hairdryer works. Yeah, a hairdryer yeah, works, hair dryer works yeah. perfectly well. So uh, morning, John and Lucy. Too. Lucy, did you stop for a proper, co proper coffee this morning? I didn't. No, no she was on time I this didn't. morning. I was. Uh, Julie, morning, John and Lucy. Nurse <laughs> Julie here. If you've got any layer cakes in, great to see you. No layer cakes today, I'm afraid. Bundles, but no layer cakes. Cake would be nice, though, wouldn't it? Oh, um, yeah, and John, morning, John. You must have had a, been a mere baby in the cradle when beading and watching Brideshead, because I know you're only 39. <laughs> I was a, a child beader. Indeed, I was, Angela. We do that not it? advocate that. <laughs> One more. Uh, morning, John and Lucy. Really enjoying the show. Have you been on the cough mention again, John? No, this is just me on a Sunday morning, <laughs> I'm afraid. Fabulous. <clears throat> anyway, make a break. I've I got love to it. go do fabrics. Make a break. Hurry make up. A break. OK, um, I'll leave that for now. So I'm taking my um, 
outer. Yeah, your pattern uh, piece. Your pattern piece. on this, the equivalent of this one. Yes, and I'm going to. So I'm going to layer it up to make the um, zip bag. I'm going to do the PVC bit next, but um, working with this fabric, you don't want to use pins. And um, so I'm using wonder clips okay. to hold everything now, um, together. I, I know you've said you're not a dressmaker. When Amanda White uses it, she, she can. Normally, she wouldn't use pins on a PVC fabric yeah. like that. But this one, as long as you're sparing with them, they bounce yeah. back, apparently. Oh, do they? Yeah, yeah, just so oh, right. you weren't no, to know that. No, I didn't that, know that, no. when, she, when she made a bag and she wants to put in pins in, I was standing yeah. here thinking, uh-oh, oh, you're yeah. going <laughs> to... <you're gonna, laughs> Anyway, she said, what's the matter? And I said, well, you put pins in. She went, as long as, you, as long as you're... Because mm -hmm. she said you can also unpick on that, because normally on an oil skin or a, a leather look fabric, mm -hmm. you can't unpick once you've stitched. She said you can unpick on that oh. as well. But that's good to uh, know. up to a certain... It's not not like sure. a cotton or anything like that. But yeah. anyway, sorry. Um, no, that's fine. But when I'm... Because um, I do a lot of zip pouches. I make them all the time. Make them for the kids, make them for teachers' presents, you know, lots of things like that. I always use Wonder Clips. Whether right. I'm using quilting cotton, whatever it might be, okay. I always use the one. So it's not necessarily anyway. just that fabric. You use them anyway. No, on yeah, I use it anyway because I find putting a putting a pin through lots of layers is a bit tricky. Yeah. The zips can shift. These are nice YKK ones, which yeah. are the good. Uh, this is um, incredibly durable, and it's not that slippy kind yes. of oh, zip. Oh no, no, the, the zips up until recently did have that like plasticized yeah. almost. Yeah, and slip they all over slip the place, so much, they? which is why I like to use the clips. Yeah. Um, this, these are a really good quality zip. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to be layering this up. So I've got my outer part there with the beading at the top because yeah. that's going to be the bit that folds over. Don't get your beads on the bottom unless you intend yes, it to yes, be that yes, way. Yeah. So the zip is right sides down, right side down. Yeah. And then, and I'm going to actually, I'm going to do it that way to make it easier for myself sewing. If I wanted that, if I did want the head on this side, I would open up the zip. Because when you start sewing, you don't want to sew where the head of your yes. um, zip. zip is. Because you're going to get yourself in all kinds of trouble. Yeah. And we want to be able to move it out of the okay. way. So just layer that up. And then the lining. So you've got the... Uh, Patterned outer fabric face up. You've got the yeah. zip face down. Then you've got both linings have you put there. No, just that's the one. Oh, yes, 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 sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the other one there. And then um, some wadding. Your wadding, which hasn't arrived. So I'm using the warm and white. Yes. I would definitely recommend using a, a, a flat wadding. Yes, if yes, that yes, makes sense. yes. I wouldn't use a polyester one no. that's very... Um, because it'd be too lumpy. Too bouncy. Have a quick look. There's the wadding that Lucy's used. Warm and white there. Eight pounds and ninety-five pence. Now you're going to have lots left over. Look, forty-five inches by sixty inches. There's lots in there. Okay. And then I'm just going to layer, layer them up and clip them together. So, so the other along the edges. that one doesn't. That nothing else is getting involved in there. So you've just literally got the real fabric and the lining of one side. There. Yes, it's like half the bag. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm attaching half the bag to the zip. Okay. Um, Wonder clips flat side down makes yes. it easier to go under your machine. Seven ninety five. Those winter clips are. Paul's just going to get the graphics for you now. And this bit, you know, it's sort of fiddly. I'm moving them around, but if this isn't all in line, I'm not going to get a ni nice, straight, neat yes. finish yeah. on the top of my bag. And you can, you, you know, if you've got a wonky line when you put your zip in, you can really see it. So we want that to be nice and straight. And then I'm going to put my zip foot on. Zip foot on. Mm -hmm. Why do you put the zip foot on? Yeah. Can I just go and do fabrics? I'll be back. Okay. Don't do any sewing. Don't do any oh, sewing. Okay. <clears throat> Very quickly, we'll do some fabrics. Right, the gold one is sold out, obviously, the kit. But you can buy the gold U, uh, UP, PU even. I thought, as I said that, I thought, that's not quite, I was going to say UPVC, but that's Windows, isn't it? Very, very, po always popular when we bring this. Limited stock now, 50% viscose, 50% PU. And there's no leather involved, by the way. It's just the leather texture. Just leather texture. 625 for half a metre. It's nice, isn't it? Think Kylie's hot pants. Uh, what's, if you want the holly leaf. This is available by the half metre as well. It's lovely, isn't it? It's like a gold, and that's like a voil fabric, this, isn't it? It's a kind of very fine, very, very fine cotton. 
It's 345 for half a metre. There it is, gold foil holly leaf. Okay, three pounds and 45 pence. Now the silver bundle, oh, we'll just check for you now. We'll just check in. But you can buy the fabric, you'll be able to buy the fabrics on their own anyway, so. Oh, look at Hayley, she's um, busy offering everybody drinks and coffee and everything like that. Right, there's only two of the silver bundle left, right? So in that silver bundle, <clears throat> you get half a metre of the PU, you get half a metre of the snowflakes, you get your interfacing, you get your zip, you get your thread, and you get, I have to show the whole lot. There you go, £23.95, that book is fantastic. Well, actually, do you know what? It makes it even, we think about it, the book was how much? £7.95. Do you know what I mean? Anyway. Oh, if you want the silver by itself, Six twenty-five for half a meter in the silver. What about the snowflake fabric? Right, we'll sort that out. When, when these are sold out, we'll see if we can get you that as well. <clears throat> and then, last but not least, is the blue one. Now, this is the only one that's not Christmassy themed, is it? So, in the bundle, you get the book, you get the face interfacing, you get the blue zip, you get the blue thread, you get half a meter of the horsey fabric, and half a meter of the PU fabric. 25 99 If you just want to buy the Navy PU on its own. Just in the Navy there on the own. Uh, 625 for half a metre. OK. And then the book, like I just said, what well, fantastic buy. For, that's the PU, UP, uh, PU there. Oh, why do you want to see it UPVC? Because there's an advert on the telly at the moment about windows, isn't there? Um, the book... Very, very popular. 52, there's 52 projects in there for £7.95. Brilliant book, fantastic book. Loads of those in the baskets. Please check out, please check out, please check out. Right, you said you want to do the beads while I was here as well. Oh, okay. Right, okay. So, this is going to be, right. So, ZCVK76. ZCVK76. I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to do all of this. OK. What I'll do is I'll come back to the beads, because I think we need to just do Lucy, Lucy sewing. Because, you know, I just saw the time and I just realised. That's right. I right. saw the time and went, like, come back, come yes. back. <laughs> Go on, then. So you put your zipper <laughs> foot on. So I've got my zip foot on. And I'm just removing the clips as I go. Now, on my regular machine, that's that your regular I had, machine. No, that I had before this one. Yeah. I could use my walking foot. This one has a wider foot, so I can't use the walking foot on this one. But if you have a normal, this one's nine millimetre, I think regular yes, feet yes, yes, are yes, yes, yes. six or I'm yeah. not sure. You can use your walking foot if you prefer. You can use the walking foot with move, the zipper foot. Yeah, you just oh, because you move the you move needle. the needle. You just need to move the needle. So if you do find it difficult, it's struggling with the layers. You can use your walking foot, but you need to move your needle over yeah. to the left. Yeah. You'll have a bit more zip, you know, on yeah. the top, but yeah. I don't really mind that. So I'm going up towards where the head is, but not right up close to oh, it. Okay. I want to leave a good space in between because your stitches start going yeah. off. So I've just lifted the foot. I'm just going to um, peel that back to where the head of the zip is. Yeah. And then I'm just going to twist. I, I like to turn it yeah. to make it easier and just move the zip out, she says. <laughs> and then just move the zip out of the way. Now, okay. I've got no um, clips left in, so I just want to make sure that all that's all lined up. Place, yeah. And then I can continue on. And then I'll have no bumpy bits. Yes, yeah. You know. OK. And then I'm going to move the top layer out of the way. Yeah. And stitch along the edge here. Right. Just to hold... So that's called... The um, lining yes. in place. There. I'm just making... It's called the... Um, oh, my brain this morning. Like an understitch, so you're not going to see it, yeah. you're just holding it in place. Just an understitching. Yeah. I'm confusing myself because I've got the wadding in the way, so I'm just going to push that back like that. Say that again, Paul.
Good morning. Oh, Linda shouted the whole of her message. Good morning, you lovely people. Can you tell me if you need a different needle on my sewing machine to sew the PU fabric? Regards, Linda. No. Would you use Sorry, a 14 need a... size needle? 14. Um, no, you don't need to. No. You'd just be fine with whatever your machine is happy. You know, right? I wouldn't use a really fine. No, one, no, no. But so a... 12 or 14. Yeah, 12 or 14. 12 or 14. You'd be fine. Thank you, Linda, for yeah. your question. <clears throat> Um, please be careful if you've got things in your basket. I know I keep going on and on and on about it. Oh yeah, the navy one is in the, the, the navy one isn't the one that Lucy's using, but that's the one that's available. That's that one that's in the graphics there. Oh, yes, if you want to, you could make the whole... Well, then be, well, if you're going to make the pouch one like this, you could have it all PU and line it with the horses. You're going to like, you've got enough to line it with the horses anyway. Um, but then if you want to fold it over, there'd be no point in doing it both sides, yeah. Paul's just romancing the bag. Right, sorry, come on. What's he... What's he in about? Nothing. Nothing. Take the notice of him. Okay. He's supposed to be in charge today in his grumpy old mood. Oh, dear. So now I'm taking my PU. Yes. And then I'm just doing exactly the same. So zip, down with the face head, down, face down, and then the lining on the top, and then the wadding. So you've got wadding and interfacing. That's why I was getting confused. Wadding earlier. and yeah. interfacing. Yeah. Now you've, your zip's quite open a lot already. Which, is that fine to leave your zip open? It's, like that? Yes, it's fine. You just ignore the bottom bit of it, which actually in this case is better because you've got those beads. So it's just getting those making sure those are really out of the way. Yeah. And you just want to make sure that that's the bit of the zip that you're yeah. catching when you come to um, For the beads, please, 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 if you've got them in your basket, you do need to check out. Uh, let us know if you want us to do them again. Not necessarily these, but it's the first time we brought you Swarovski beads. So if, uh, if a lot of you like embellishment, don't you? If you want more beads, then just let us know and we'll find more beads for you. And if you've got these in your basket, you do need to check out. And the way to find out what we've got is just look on the web just underneath us there and they're all listed. All the ones that haven't sold out so far are all listed under there. And it is lovely that, you know, lots of different crafts use beads. Don't You know, you can use them in lots of different yeah. things. And I know there's a lot of... Um, uh, you know, art, make people that make art quilts and things. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to throw that at you. You dropped one of the wonder clips. You get in the packet for seven ninety-five. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Thank you. It's a long way down. <laughs> there we go. So I'm just repeating myself doing the same thing. Oh, do you know what? Joy in the next hour is showing you folded um, decorations using Christmassy fabric. So you can use them to decorate your tree or to decorate a parcel or to make hanging uh, decorations. If you get some of the Swarovski, she's used buttons, which we've got some buttons in the next hour. If you want to embellish the centres with... Do you know what? That's fantastic. Paul, that was Paul's idea then. You keep sewing. OK. Oh, yeah, no, 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 that's what I'm saying. If, they, if they've got them now, you see, I'm just giving you a good little taster here. This is one of Joy's folded decorations, right? We're going to be selling the fabric, but imagine doing the beads. That, that, that is model zone, that button there. But imagine doing beads in the middle of there. It's like a poinsettia, isn't it? Box is model zone as well, yes. <laughs> I thought when she arrived this morning, I thought, oh, look, she's bought us all Christmas presents. <laughs> isn't that lovely? <laughs> So I'm just moving that out of oh, the way no. and then I'm going to put a stitch across the, the top there. So it's right. going to hold the zip. You've down. only got four minutes, I'm afraid. Oh, my see. gosh. Oh, no, I'm okay. sorry. Well, no, I need to do it. Cause it... Yeah, you'll be able to do it, girl. Come on. Yeah. You're from the North West, girl. <laughs> you'd, in the war, you'd have been a land girl, wouldn't you? I can see you yes, as a I land would. girl. Yeah. Yes, I would. You'd have been... No, not in the war, Paul. You'd have been fighting abroad. Oh, mind you, they didn't let little people, did they? Because you couldn't be a policeman. Up until recently, you couldn't be a policeman if you're short. <laughs> OK. Right. There we go. 
Right. So, I'll stop talking, so I've only got three minutes. OK. So now we're going to take the outer pieces and put those together. Yeah. No, I'm going to open my zip first. Yeah. Mm. Always want to make yeah. sure your zip's open. I can't tell you how many times I've done that. And me too. So that's why I went, so I went to trousers with buttons. Outer pieces together. Just and again, I like to clip. So it's just going to hold all those pieces together. Three minutes, you've got now. Sorry, I'm not trying to rush you. You want to leave a um, gap. For yeah. turning through, so you can do that at the bottom, or you can do it. Oh, at the you side. can't! You can't! You can't um, bag through the zip. Then doesn't work through the zip. You've got to put a hole to bag through. Did you say? Yes, because if you sew all the way around the edge, how do you get to the zip? <laughs> Open it. Where is it? It's in the middle. Oh yeah. All right. It's Sunday morning. <laughs> I've run out of It's clips. been a long week. Shall there, I just go open. for it? I'll just. You got two. You got two minutes left. Um, I would really put my walking foot on at this point right but with two minutes left i can't so i've got to go with my normal foot Whoa! <laughs> <I t> <laughs> i'm not really sure i think the wall was caving Whoa! in then sorry about that i we just woke you up i think that's hayley oh is it <laughs> you all right hayley oh yeah she's all right she hasn't fallen over oh dear what happened what fell over i don't know i thought there's something going on my head yes it was loud wasn't it I don't, oh i don't know what's fallen over anyway Spoil the illusion, won't we, if we pretend there's not really a brick wall there. So I'm just going <laughs> around the edges. My foot is slightly bigger, like I said, so I'm just going to use the edge of my yeah. foot. I think it's three-eighths in the pattern. Oh, is it? Yeah, my wadding, sometimes the wadding can shift. I'll just trim that back after because I'm going to trim the corners yeah. anyway. Lots of people coming into the gold PU fabric. It is gorgeous. Ooh. Little Paul saying um, we'll, get, we'll make a jacket out of it. I'd Hasn't like they, a cape. I would like a done? cape. Has it been done? Hasn't somebody done that? Pink jacket? Yeah. Why not? Minute left, Lucy. Okay. So. I started on the wadding because I'd run out of clips, but I would leave your gap in your outer yes. pieces. You know, not where you've got, um, not where you've got the wadding, because yeah. that's too too difficult to hand finish. And if you do leave your gap on the side, you can just do it by machine if you want yeah. to. Don't need to do it by hand. I'm not putting it loose, I'm putting it graphics, sir. Lovely Christmas present. Right. Um, I'm going to have to wrap it up, loose. Oh. So what do you do? You finish on stitching round. Yeah, you just finish stitching round, clip your corners. Yeah. And then turn it, and then... I tell you what, let me go and do fabrics, yeah. and I'll come back to Lucy, see the finished thing. That's yeah. what we'll do. Right, very quickly, then. Um... Uh, the holy fabric by itself, because this bundle sold out. Three forty-five for half a meter. That one. Uh, then the gold PU on its own, half a meter. Very, very popular. Six twenty-five. Then the silver bundle. I'm not sure if they've all gone now, because there are only a couple left, weren't there? Gone. Right, so you can buy the silver PU on its own. Let's get rid of all the things that go with it there. Well done, everyone who got these. Uh, so you've got the silver PU, 625 for half a metre. And then the blue bundle here, which is the only bundle that's left, which is the one that Lucy uh, made it out of originally. You get the book, the interfacing, the zip, the thread, half a metre of the horsey fabric, half a metre of the PU, £25.99 pence. I'll get Lucy to come here so they can clear that desk, yeah. Uh, £25.90. So if you want the blue PU on its own. £6.25 
625 for half a meter. Okay, if you want to know about the beads, what I would do is just go to look on the web. If you're watching on the web, right, look underneath me there. Everything that we've introduced that's not sold out. So that bundle won't be there. That bundle won't be there. That bundle will be. The beads that are still available will be down there as well. Lucy? Come on over. Just show us what you're doing. So you can work in progress. Well, I accident left that on the outside thinking it was the lining because I got confused between the lining fabric and the outside. Oh, so that, but this gap here yeah, should, should be on, should the, inside on the inside there, yeah. Okay. But it's because of, you know, anyway. So we're just looking Yeah, so, so let's so imagine that is on the inside. What you yeah. do is you just put that and that together, ladder stitch it, really it inside. That it's there. Yeah. Right, and then... Ta-da! You'd, pu you'd push your corner. Yeah, push, you know. get used to it at the top. But there's yeah, the gold there one. We go. There's the gold one with embellishment and everything. Thank you, Lucy. And I'm so sorry to, uh, to rush you like that. <laughs> so She's sorry. back in an hour. She's back in an hour. Oh, I was going to point to the thing, but no, um, Hayley and Joy are in the way. But she's back in an hour with the Christmas quilt. And there are two versions of it, aren't you? This one. Oh, there is two. Crafty. Yes. Uh, don't go anywhere. Joy's up next doing the lovely little um, decorations that I showed you. In fact, you could sit in the green room now and you could make some decorations with a lot. I might well Make along that. with Joy, see, in three. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. Hello, I'm Jane Alcock and these are my three favourite tools. My first favourite tool is the ruler. I love the fact that it's in inches and it's divided up into inches. It's essential for cutting with a rotary cutter for measuring your fabric. Um, and there's lots of different angles on here as well which help cut with triangles and stripes and squares. It's just fantastic. My second favourite tool is the rotary cutter. Again, essential for cutting fabric. Gives you a lovely clean cut and accurate with the ruler. My third tool is fabric marker. This one's water erasable. Again, super for marking for cutting fabric or for your quilting marking and then you can wash it away. many different ways you can buy from us here at the Sewing Quarter. You can order from us by calling our free phone number at 0800 112 4433 and talk to the team at our UK based call centre. Alternatively there are other ways you can buy from us. You can go online and shop through our website at www.sewingquarter.com. You can even watch the show there and shop as you go. You can check out as many times as you like throughout the day and only pay a small fee of £2.95 postage and packaging for the whole day. We also offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all products excluding custom-cut fabric. Our friendly UK-based team will help guide you through every step. Tune in on Tuesday the 31st of October for an hour of fabric and fashion with John Scott and guest Jennifer Mills. John will unveil the Plaid range, a brand new collection of soft flannel fabrics available in multiple colour options. This cosy cotton is ideal for creating stylish additions to your winter wardrobe. And it just so happens that Jennifer has the perfect project for us. She'll be making a classic Plaid dress as seen in the popular Great British Sewing Bee book. We'll showcase a range of useful tools and plenty of dressmaking tips along the way. So, join us for this jam-packed hour of dressmaking fun, Tuesday the 31st of October at 9am, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. It's plaid, by the way, plaid. Just in case you're confused there. It's lovely plaid fabric coming up. Right. Aren't they lovely? Aren't they gorgeous? They're so delicate. And you know what? These would be lovely as a little gift for somebody. Look at oh, that one spinning around in the, um, <coughs> in the air conditioning there. Um, look, look, that one's like a poinsettia, isn't it? 
Joy's going to show us how to do all of these now, whether you use them as a decoration for your tree, whether you use them to decorate your home, whether you use them to uh, create a lovely parcel embellishment. But also, I was... Well, I, we'll talk about it later, but let me, let me go through some of the fabrics, first of all, that we've got on offer. This, which one do you want? Red and green first. Have a look at that one. So you get half a metre of the red snowflake and you get half a metre of the green snowflake. Foil. Six pounds and 49 pence. That's called traditional. That one's called the traditional bundle there. Metre fabric, six pounds and 49 pence. OK. Next. <clears throat> this one. Uh, again, these are the foil fabrics. You've got the, now, this one, you've just seen this in the last hour look. That's the one that Lucy used as her um, lining for her bag. And then you've got the lovely uh, milk tray swirl one there. Other chocolates are available. Metre of fabric, half metre of each, £6.49. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, I coughed suddenly. <clears throat> I think it might be the aircon. <clears throat> What's next, then? Yellow baubles. So this one, you get half a metre of the... I love this fabric. It's like a traditional wrapping paper, isn't it, that one? And then you get the yellow with it as well. Half a metre of each. £9.49. and uh, I've had this fabric a couple of times. This, uh, it's been in um, uh, kits. Yeah, bundles, yeah. OK. And then the other one, Robins. The Robins. So you get... I launched this one. You get half a metre of the Robin fabric. Look, it's like Robin's a little... Um, oh, now that's the question I was going to ask. And a metre of the... Now, is that optical or is that vintage? Optical white. Optical white. Uh, now, now, I've got a quick question for you. Do only the boy Robins have red breasts or do the boys and the girls have red breasts? Oh, I'm only asking because normally the boy of the species is the one with all the colours, isn't it? Like the peacock, right? So the peacock's all... And then the peahen's just brown, isn't she? And the, what's the other one that's in, uh, in the hedgerows? Uh, pheasant. Or is it a partridge? Anyway, the boy is all beautiful and colourful. Do, do lady robins have a red breast? Anyway, 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 that's that one. Uh, then I've got one left. Now... <laughs> oh, yeah. I haven't even had any cough mention yet. Well, I love these two colours together, but I don't understand why it's Christmas contemporary. I don't understand why a beautiful lilac and a gorgeous, gorgeous soft dove grey like that, a contemporary Christmas. Oh, but they've still got the red on. There we go, there we go. Joy knows. You know, I haven't put my thingy on, Joy. Is it there? Have you got it there for me? Right, I'm going over to see Joy then. No, how are you, my love? I'm very well, Mwah. thanks, John. How are uh, you? Good, thank you. Um, <laughs> yes, I've brought one for you. We're doing the ribbons afterwards, we said, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, look. We'll start, we'll start, we'll start. Now, these look terrible. Not these. We're not making these. This is just a gift that Joy brought in. This is just Halloween. Is mine Ready? flashing? Yes. Oh, look. <laughs> is yours flashing? Yeah. Oh, honestly. Um, <laughs> Halloween for Tuesday. Um... They look really complicated, no. are they? Oh, you've got dark lipstick on this <laughs> Wait till you see her nails. You're not seeing them yet, you're not seeing them yet. <laughs> Which one are we starting with? Um, I think we'll start with one of the square ones. One of these, right? Yes. Okay, so yes. this is... Because this, what you do is you start with different shapes to get the finished... to get the finished um, article. But look, 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 it's all folded and everything. It's lovely. This is model zone. This is model zone. But as I was saying earlier, if you bought some of the Swarovski beads, you could put those, a centrepiece of those, couldn't Perfect. you? Perfect. OK, do you want to start making that, then? Oh, straight uh, into it. Good morning, John. Let's get cracking. Yeah, get going, get going. Uh, Susan <laughs> says, I was yelling at the TV, it's pronounced plaid. I know that, you know that, you know we that. We know that. <laughs> OK, right, OK, so go on. That's a square, is it, that one? <laughs> get on with it, John. We've got loads to do. <laughs> What's got you so feisty this morning? Oh, it's because I've got such a grumpy producer today. Oh, it's winding it's me up. He's going, get on with it, John, get on with it. Right, OK, we'll, right. we'll get on with it. We don't want to upset you. No, we can chat. We'll chat in a minute. Yeah, he'll, yeah, stop. Yeah. He'll, he'll lose concentration in a minute and go off and do something well, else. Don't say yeah. that to me. Right, OK. So, um, yeah, the different um, decorations start from different shapes. We're okay. using um, either circles or hexagons. We've got just a collection of circles and hexagons here. Oh, OK. Um, the... The bigger the starting shape you start with, the bigger your decoration comes out. Right. So if you use a tiny little hexagon, you'll get a tiny little 
right. Is there a minimum size you'd say you'd go to with your original hexagon? Like, because like, they look very... You wouldn't go much smaller than that, would you? Those are probably um, maybe five inch, um, five, six inches, yeah. six and a half, something yeah. like that is, okay. is a, a reasonable uh, sort of one. Um, so to um, start with then, we're going to use a circle. To get a what? A, we're going to use a circle to get a square. How <laughs> weird. I would never have guessed that. So to get this one here... Yeah, you start with a circle. You start with a circle. OK. It's right. a bit of origami coming yes, exactly. up. OK. So pick two circles. Right. Okay. Now you can. Now, uh, well, just yeah. before we go any further, have you mixed and matched your. Um... I have. Yeah, Joy's yes. mixed and matched the bundles here. I'll oh, use some of her stash fabric, but we've got the bundles. Yeah. Well, the I just I was just given four fabrics, yeah. so I play. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. So they're all different. Yeah. Um, so two circles, right sides together. Right. Stitch all the way round, round about a quarter of an inch, but you don't need to be okay. too particular. How big is that? How big is that circle? Dinner plate size. Okay. <laughs> but I'm not coming to your house if that's all you get well, for your dinner. Of, it's sort of tea plates. Yeah, I was going to say that's afternoon tea whatever, sandwich and whatever, cake. Whatever, whatever size plate. Came yes, to hand. exactly. Um, no, I'm just thinking if people want to, it's that size, this finished yes, size. Yes, So if it you is, want to make yeah. one that's that size, that's yep. the size um, dinner so plate size. So if we and... do it, it's about eight inches. Yeah. Across, okay. as, a, as a rough idea. Um, stitch all the way around, leave yourself an opening. Yes. Forward and back or lock in stitch so that the, the stitches don't come over. And then I've just gone round with a pair of scissors and just slip the... All the way, all the way it's round. It's a whole circle, isn't it? All the way round, except don't clip where your opening is because right. it makes it more tricky yeah, to, yeah. to fold okay. it. So that's... Put it that way. Step number one. Oh, she's already... We're not going to sewing machine because she's not doing any sewing. No, I'm not doing any sewing today. Oh, uh, Christine said, John, I think you should be on seven days a week. I'm knackered enough as it is. <laughs> thank you, Christine. Uh, but thank you very much. Uh, compliment accepted. It's a thank nice, you. nice thought. Right. Oh, a quick nice question about the, uh, answer about the worrying. Both robins have red breasts, but the female is bigger. Oh. Mm. Wow. Now that I got that wrong, because yesterday there's two, the two robins yeah. have appeared in my garden where I yeah. sit at my dining table and I just see them there. And there's a really, really little one like that. Yeah. And a big stonking one like that. And I presume that one was the boy. Oh. Obviously not. Anyway, there anyway, you go. This. There you go. Right, okay. so you've turned that, that through. So I've turned it through. And, and then I have just, um, just slip stitched the opening right, shut. Okay. I've left my needle and thread in. Oh, OK. OK. Because the next step... Now, this is where you need to decide which is your dominant colour. The... Um, the, the red or the black in this right, case. Okay. okay. So I think, what did we have on that one? We've had the red dominant. Let's have the black dominant, shall we? Yes. So the dominant one goes on. In the your bundle, you'll either you'll get the red and the green or the black and the white. So it's just um, whichever just one. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm going to go with the black as my dominant okay. colour. So that needs to go on the inside. Right. Okay. So starting where my threads come out. I'm just going to fold this up so it looks a bit like a pasty. Yeah. We well, don't start talking about food yet. It's only <laughs> ten plus nine. I know. I've already. I'm already under instructions to shout fruit at Haley uh, later on. Oh, well, because she always forgets my fruit. Because <laughs> she always yes. forgets your yeah. fruit. So I said, "Don't let me forget." I said, "Okay, I'll, I'll shout okay. the fruit." So you folded the circle in, in half. half so that it looks like a pasty. Pasty, but your thread still coming out my the threads bottom fold. Right there. at this bottom fold yeah. here, and I've just sort of. That a little bit. Would you iron it or do you just finger just finger crease it? I've tried it both ways. Sometimes I find if I iron it, it's it irons it too solid. It's not as easy to manipulate, so I, I don't yeah. tend to. So I just just finger crease it. Then when I open it out, yeah. I'm going to take my thread into where that that crease is, right, right at okay. that size. Uh, okay. Remember, this is all on YouTube. So if you just want to watch the show now and then watch YouTube later. Then you can, because you can fast forward yeah. and, and yeah. pause and everything. Yeah. So for the instructions, enjoy watching the show now, yeah. buy your fabric now, and then watch yeah. YouTube later. And you can, if well, you're making it, you can, you can... Do it step by step. Step by step. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Sorry, Joy. Okay, so I've just put it in, just taken a tiny little stitch over there. Right. So that's going to pull it over. Back right. into our pasta shape again. Well, I was going to say more like a brandy snap now. Uh, oh, well, uh, mm. yeah, filled with fruit and cream. Mm. No fruit, just the cream. No fruit, just the cream. Yeah. Oh, mm. heathen. Right, OK. And you're just so catching... I'm just doing a couple of little stitches just to catch that in place and hold it, hold it where okay. it is. OK. Yeah. Then what I want to do is I want to open it out and 
fold it, sorry, before I do that, again, crease, crease the sides. Yeah. Yep. Then open it out and again, just catch it So the same piece of thread? Same piece of thread, yeah, going through. Yeah. So it's just going to come across here like right. this. So it's coming from that central bit there to the edge. To the right? edge. Then I like to go underneath with my right. thread. Right, yes, yeah. Back over to the other side. Oh, my word. I know, it's good fun. And through. So now it brings it up. Oh, uh, wow. It, is it a prawn wonton or something? No, oh, I'm I vegetarian. Know. I wouldn't know what one of those no, is. No, normally I don't eat. I don't eat fishy stuff. I'm sure you get other flavours. Unless, it, unless it's fish fingers. <laughs> so you like fish fingers, <laughs> but, but you don't like fish. Okay. I don't. I don't like anything that swims or flies. I like my meat to have four feet on the ground, okay. which has probably just offended all the vegetarians. Or yeah, food. no, no, no. Because what, what do we used to say on uh, this morning when I was there? Oh, I don't know if I can say. I uh, won't eat anything that's got... No, I can't say. It's too early. It's too rude. Oh, OK. It's, a, it's something like a face, a mum, or a... And it rhymes with mum. OK. So that was what... Uh, yes. Yeah, so I can't say that. OK. So, again, just yeah. doing a, a couple of stitches just through those two yeah. to get it into place. Right. So now we have got this funny shape. Yes. If you sort of squidge it down, yeah, yeah. I'm still leaving that thread, thread on for attached. now. What will happen is this will sort of just fold along. And if you look from the back, you can see you've got, you've a got square your square coming. Yes. OK, so we're going to get this all nice and square. Yeah. Now, this is where it's good to give a good finger crease into here. If you've got a little mini iron or something... Oh, the adapter, the yeah, mini iron adapter, that would be you, good there, You yeah. could just go in with that. Because that'll give you a crisp straight line, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. OK. Yeah. So, just keeping that thread over there still. And then, what we're going to do is we're going to fold this down towards us. Right. So you get this sort of corner. triangle corner. Yeah. Hold it nice and firm. Oh, this is like doing one of your corners on your um yeah. when you turn a quilt corner through, isn't it? <gasps> and oh, then you wow. turn it over and you, you just need to just play around a yes, little bit yeah. till it's just nice and do another one, do another square. one so I'm we can see it all I'm nice and close. Yeah. All four. Oh fantastic. All four. Okay. So um fold it down. Now, if it's not quite coming as a sharp point, just go in and give yeah. it a bit more of a, a bit more of a crease. Fold it down towards you. Yeah. Hold it up, and yeah. then we're just going to flap that over the corner, and it makes a bit like a little shawl collar. Yes. And there's our second one done. Keep going round. So I'm keeping that thread on because. At a suitable point, we need to pop our decoration. Oh, in yes, I've got buttons over there. I'll take you. I've got, I've got some oh, buttons. Lovely. Not as gorgeous as your <laughs> yeah, was, vintage looking button. I there. was uh, raiding the button tin. Okay. So put these on. And then again, you do this fourth one. Yeah. Take it over. Like oh, that's that. lovely, isn't and it? There we go. Because we've still got our thread here, yeah. we're ready to stitch Put our, embellishments our in button the or right, beads. Wait there, wait there, yeah, wait there. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Red buttons, Paul. Red buttons. <laughs> oh, look at those. Gosh, we're going to have a hell of a game getting all those back you get all, yeah, You get all of those. You get all of those in this. In this. Mm, so we've got a choice. Yes. We could put a little, oh, red, that'd be nice, yeah. little red one on. Yeah. Or we could put a nice big... Oh, I like that. that you uh, like that one. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. up to you. It's your, your design. No, no. Um, we've got a little flower shape in there, just seeing what there is. Oh, that's rather nice, isn't it? Because it's got the... It's quite nice. It's got the rivety Should bits. Should we go with that one? Yeah, go with that one then. Go I'll with the rivety it. bits. Is that a technical phrase? Sorry? Is rivety bits a technical phrase? Yes, technical term. I'm le learning something. As he's putting these buttons away, going to be a bit of a technical <laughs> disaster. Yeah. Don't worry if I lose any. None of you at home will get this packet. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, they're all over the floor now. So I'm just taking that 
I've got more buttons okay. for you in a second. <laughs> <laughs> <Just as well. laughs> Under the button. You missed yes. one. I'm fine. <laughs> um, right, while you sew that, yep. um, you cut round a dinner plate, didn't you? I did. We've got in stock, back in stock, it's always... Oh, 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 oh it's, it's limited, it's limited, it's limited, it's limited, limited okay. right? If you want to cut... Um, a perfect circle with seam allowance between a 2 inch and a 12 inch finish size, then you need one of these. You need one of these. It's a Fiskars um, circle cutter. And what is this? Because it's half a circle there, but you've got a line, like a dotted line along there, which is where, if you're just making half with a seam allowance, you want to put your fabric, or you put the fold on the solid line there, you must do it on a cutting board, otherwise you're going to ruin your table. Yeah. Then you get this, right? This is, this is your blade. You take this off here now, safety-wise. The blade is in there. But the way you um, engage the blade is by pressing down. So there's the blade there, right? And then what you do is you literally you see the two nodules on here. So your fabric's on there, on the fold line. You then slip, if say you're doing a four-inch uh, circle, you slip the nodules into the grooves of the cutter, you press down on the top there, and then you move around. And if you could see, this moves around with you, so you don't have to twist your ankle. An ankle? <laughs> wrist? <laughs> wrist? <laughs> don't do it with your ankle. <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> do not do it with your ankle. Put your safety catch back on there. And, but as you can see, the, the grooves go further than where your fabric are. So you, you're not, you, it's like when you have those cutters, you've got the pair, like the stripology one, you've got yeah. the, the cut that. It's brilliant. It always sells out. £31.95. Limited, limited, limited. Right, now, um, if you already got one, you think, you know, I need a new blade, John. It, it takes 10 seconds to change the blade. This is the blade. Very limited, I'm afraid. £5.95. There's the blade. OK, right, let's get back to Joy and her stitching, and then we'll, do, we'll go over and do buttons and uh, ribbons in a little while. OK, so one of the nice things about this is you don't have to have any special equipment. You no. can use whatever foot's on your sewing machine. Um, you know, if you haven't got any special equipment, you can cut yourself a circle yes. um, and do it. And then, of course, what we do then is if you grab this yes, one... Yes, yes, yes. And you just pick some uh, ribbon... Stitch. Oh, you put a little button on the back of and that. And I put a little button on the back because when they, when they twist around, it's yes. nice to see uh, both sides. Oh, you little... Well, I was going to. There's one on the floor. I might rescue it in a minute. And, and <sighs> <laughs> Come on, John. Yeah, we could we right. could pop that just yes. just on the back. If um, so you so. haven't stitched the shawl collar in place at all, no. then? It's literally the folding it's over. It's just the fold that holds it um, holds it all in place. Um, so yeah, pop a bit of ribbon on the back. So that's what I've done with with this one. Right. Um, but again, if you wanted to, you could um, make it into oh, this side. That's it's a bit really, of a big brooch. It is isn't a big it? brooch. We yeah. could do it a bit smaller. See, yeah. it go go really, it go really nice. I'm trying to say. Of course, nice the shirt, actually, because yeah. that, that's like the apple in the yeah. middle, isn't it? Yeah. So you can make it into a brooch, or um, you could you know, use it to decorate presents or, or anything like that, really. I'm, uh, you see, I'm seeing, for some reason, like a di something to do with the dining table, but I'm not quite sure where, where it would go. But you know how yeah. sometimes you go to, to, to um, like, posh dinner parties, they're sprinkled... Yeah, because 21st birthday or wedding yes. or something yeah. like that all over the table, yeah. and then it gets in your food and everything. But if you, yeah. you could just... Almost scatter them on in between. Oh, yeah, I know, in between yeah. candles and things yes, like that. You could kind yeah. of scatter them on a Absolutely, table, couldn't you? Yeah. You can use them as decoration on bags as well. Oh, yes. Yeah, so oh, anything. yes. Um, yes, because Janice made a tote bag recently and she made like um, a rosette sort of thing to yes, on it, but yeah. that would look lovely, wouldn't yeah. it? Because it doesn't, I mean, we're doing it for Christmas today, yeah. but that doesn't have to just be a Christmas decoration, no, does it? No, you could it do could it be if you've got a wedding. Yeah. You know what I mean? You could have, I don't know, but I, I'm just seeing. I went to a friend's wedding once and she had trees like this all decorated in different ribbons and everything like oh, that. Right, so you yeah. could kind of do it if you're doing yeah. weddings, the colour of the wedding Absolutely. and things, couldn't you? Absolutely. Oh, that's brilliant, just from yeah. all that folding. Now, yeah. if you did think, oh, that was too fast for me, like I say, go to YouTube later on. You can watch it, you can pause it, you can um, yeah. uh, fast forward, you can rewind, importantly, yeah. rewind yeah. as well. Uh, morning, you two. I'm loving the demos. John, I want some whatever you've been on. <laughs> I'm not on anything today. <laughs> It's just because I'm here. We're, yes, all, yeah. we're always giddy when exactly. we do 
exactly. together, aren't we? Sorry, so. Exactly. <laughs> we right, don't. okay, so let's put that one back on the tree. Yeah. Uh, we've got that ribbon. You, we sent you that ribbon, didn't we? So you can, if you like that lame ribbon, or as, as um, Hannah calls it, lame. What have you got, lame ribbon? It says lame, darling. Lame. 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 Right, okay. What's the next one we're doing then? Okay. So oh, you want to, hang on, I'll go and get the lame ribbon. Wait there, I'll go okay. and get it. <laughs> Lame ribbon. Here we go. Yeah. Silver and gold. It's on the paper. That's the gold one. Oh, sorry. That's the gold one. That's the silver one. So the gar that was the gold one that was in there and the graphics were in there. And then this is the silver one. Oh, look. Put your nails in there. Put your nails in there. Same as, that's the same as the nail. Same as Joyce. And what? What's that there? <laughs> it's a skull. A skull. Did I not see a spider? And oh, a spider's <laughs> I bet your nail lady goes, oh, what is it this week? <laughs> yeah, basically, basically. That's the silver one. That, oh, they're lovely, aren't they? I'd plait those. Uh, anyway, mm -hmm. uh, we'll move on. Right, what's the next one then? OK, so the next one we're going to do, I think we'll do the little poinsettia one, which is on one of these presents. This that one? one? Yeah, that will do, yeah. Yes, I just said... This one. No, I'm just imagining what she's buying me. If these are the boxes my gifts are going to be in, I love <laughs> You think? What would you buy me, Joy, as a present? Ooh, I don't no, know. don't answer that. Actually, That's... I did see something that made me think of you the other day. Onion glasses. <laughs> they... What, when you're cutting your onions? When you're cutting your onions. And they're really elaborate glasses, but they've got like a seal around them, so you don't get any onion juice. I don't oh, know what made me think I'll of I'll give you, them but... to Chef then and he can use those. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Uh, right, so we're going to make the little... That's gorgeous, that little poinsettia. Yeah. So let's have a look how we make that one. Okay. What shape do we start off with we'll that start one? off with the hexagon right, with okay. this one. So a uh, couple of ways, first of all, just to cut our hexagons. Right. OK. Um, again, uh, I'm using a, a decent size. I've got this one just the width of my ruler, which is six and a half inches because it's easy. Oh, right, OK, That's OK. Good. So the first way I'm going to show you... Um, uh, that ruler is a fantastic... We had somebody yesterday saying what ruler would Lucy buy to start with. It's yeah. on the website. It's on the Absolutely. website. Have a look at that. That's the six and a half by 24 and a half, I think, isn't it, that one? Yeah. 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 So, so I've just cut it at a six and a half inch strip. And is that the width of... Oh, it would have been the width, oh, yeah, the width, the width of, the of the fabric. The width of the fabric, yeah. It's yeah. folded over, so I'm going to start cutting at the uh, salvage end. Now, on here, we have got, hopefully, a 60 degree... No, we haven't. Right. What's that one there? 45, so, 60. There's 60. 60. There we go. I knew go. it was there. Yeah, I knew it was there as well. I've just yeah, seen if you, you could enjoy. find it. You've only been doing this 100 years. I've only, got, one of, I've only got like six of these rulers. Yes, yeah, exactly. So what we're going to do is we're going to find our 60 degree line and we're going to place it on the top edge like so. Yeah. Um, just making sure that where it touches here, we're clearing off our, yeah. our salvage. Would you cut the salvage off sometimes or would you leave the salvage Not there? for this, yeah. no, because I'm going to cut it off now. Okay. I'm going to cut it off like so. Okay. So that gives me my first angle. Yes. Turn it around. Right. Take your ruler on. Now, whatever size width strip you cut, that's what we need to cross cut. Right. Okay, so I'm going to use the full width of the ruler again. Oh, that's where it comes in. How these rulers come in handy then if you are doing it yeah. six and a half inches. Yeah, absolutely. It, it takes all the, uh, all the yeah. hard work out of it. So lining up my edge there. Yeah. And cutting across here. And that gives me... A diamond. A diamond. Right. Okay? We want a hexagon. I then. do. Okay. So what I need to do now is to chop off my... Chop off my bit side the side. So I need to know what half of six and a half inches is. Okay. Which three is three and a quarter. quarter. Okay. Line up the three and a quarter inch line so that hang on, I'll do it from that side. You could go on countdown, couldn't you, as the lady who does the <laughs> do I'll do have think? a ten, a twenty, a fifty, and a six. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> okay, so we've got one, two, three, and there's a uh, oh, oh, apparently I, line. I've got it completely wrong. Apparently you go, I'll have three from the bottom, two from the top and one from the middle. I didn't know that. Wow, can, you can wow. decorate cutlery and table linen holders with those decorations. Do you yes. know what? That's exactly Perfect. what I was thinking. Or attaching them to, um, 
what do you put your napkin ring yes. and sitting yeah. on top of that? That's exactly, yeah. the, you know, when I said I've got an image and what it is, that's yeah. exactly Sarah. Well done, uh, Sarah. Susan, sorry, Susan, Susan, that I've got the, um, yeah. I've got in my break. Right, okay. so, so right. three and a quarter. So one, two, three and a quarter. There's our quarter of an down inch. Down the centre, yeah. Straight down the centre on those points. Yeah. And now I'm going to chop this away. And then if I turn it around, so you've got a kite shape now. If I turn it around again, again, I can line up my three and a quarter or I can just line up the yeah, edge of the, the edge ruler there, that's on right, here. Because you know that's it. Yep, take those off and keep those for another project yep. someday. And there's my <gasps> hexi. Perfect again. hexi. Okay. But if that's all a bit too much for people. Right. We've actually got these. Now, these only come in yesterday, I was Yes, yes, told. it was launched yesterday, yeah. So, Premier yesterday. Yep. Yeah. So there's the paperwork if we want the paperwork. We were amazed. You know, like, we love um, Rachel the Ruler, right? But her instructions are, are getting more and more thorough, aren't they? I mean, every ruler you get from her, from Creative Grids, has an instructions uh, pamphlet like this. But they're just so... Everything... And you can go to... to um, if you just Google it, Yahoo it or Bing it, you'll find uh, little videos that she's done of how to use all the different rulers and everything. Yeah. Anyway. OK. So, again, I'm going to start with my six and a half inch yeah. strip. Um, on the ruler, we've got lots of hexagons drawn yes. out, yeah. all different sizes. Yeah. So, I'm going to pick the one that matches my six and a half inch um, strip. Now, the end here with the, the, the big hole in it... Yes is the end that you're cutting from. Oh, OK. OK. Um, and then line up your bottom and your top lines. Right. OK, on the size you want. It will tell you there, six-inch hexagon. Right. That's the finished size. Finished size. size. But yep. So you need a six-and-a-half-inch strip to fit a six-inch finish. Absolutely. Yeah. So then I'm just going to take off these. Right. And then I'm going to turn the whole thing around turn my ruler. I'm not turning it over or uh, rotating, I'm just turning, turning it, around it around completely. And then this time when I line up my top and bottom lines, I can line up. Oh, and that's why you said there. it's important that you only cut from the big fold end. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you've turned it around and you try and line it up like that, you're not you've gonna not get the right yeah. the right um, the right shape. Again, if I get that lined up. And of course, the resin um, non slip ones are all the seam allowances on this ruler, yeah. aren't they? And so. I don't know what's happened to my rotating cutting mat. It's out of stock at the moment. Well, do you know what? It's every other time. I know. Every other time. Now, this time, I'm going to come up here. You can stop just there if you want to and fold that over right. to get your next one yeah. in. Or if you aren't too fussed, you can just go straight yeah. over and straight over. And again, you've got your hexagon. Perfect. So whichever way you find is best for you, that's yeah. the way to do it. This was new in stock yesterday, brand new. Lucy did uh, one of her um, quilts yesterday with that, didn't she? Right, OK, moving on, because this is actually a hexagon trim tool. You know, as well as, as, well as being able to cut hexagons out, you know the um, log cabin trim tool we have? This is, the, this is like that, where you can actually do a block and move it round and, and, and trim round it and finish off the edges and everything. It's fantastic. Right, I'll put that there. So, you've got a hexagon. So, I've got my hexagons. Now, what we need to do is we need to fold these to get our, um, our crease lines, OK? Right. Now, if you see this one, it's gone from point to point. Yes. We don't want to do that. Oh, so this is a don't do it This like is this. a don't do, okay? Right. OK? What we what we do need to do is we need to... This one, if I just fold that one in half, it, you can see half of the hexagon in yes. that shape. But what we want to do is fold up along one of the sides so that when oh, we so fold it... Oh, you want like a little it, house shape yes. rather than a trapezium shape. Absolutely. OK, so that, okay. this That's is... quite important. Do not do it like that one. Yeah. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's thrown it away. Do it like that. Oh, did you need it? No, no. Do, so no. do it like that. So do you're like folding from halfway through one of the sides That's to right. the upper, opposite okay. side, yeah. And you're going to do that on... Every every one. Uh, I'll, just, I'll okay. refold these again just to make so sure. So you make the same. Sh you make the same shape. You make the little house. You make shape. the same shape each time um, going up, so that then you end up with your yes. Cross so it looks like a spider's web more than a <laughs> funnily yes. enough. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. So I can pick these. Oh. Oh, Do you have that thread going to be long enough? Yeah. 
You don't need a long thread. Oh, OK, OK. When, um, whenever you're using needle and thread, golden rule of thumb is fingertip to elbow. I, I told Hayley that someone because she took, she did some thread for my... Did she? And it was like... Yeah. <laughs> She said, you might tangled, need more. She said you might need more. Well, we're quite capable of threading it well. Yeah, maybe. well, I'm not. Yeah. Well, maybe. I can Karen. Say. Okay, so needle and thread. I'm doing this in, in red so that you, you can of see course, it, yeah. obviously. You can do it. So we're going to go in at the top of one of these folds, just a tiny way from the edge. You want it as close to the edge as you can, but without it fraying away. Okay, so I don't know. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Sixteenth of an inch or a couple of millimetres yeah. or whatever put our thread through. Then we're going to come from the inside to the outside on the next crease along. So you've gone from the... Okay. Again, so that was yep. inside to outside. Yep. That's inside to outside yep. again. So again, inside to oh, okay, okay, outside. Okay, okay. Yeah. And we're going to do that all the way around. Okay. Right. So we get back to where we started. Okay. And I presume that's all you need to thread for, is it? Pretty much, yeah. 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 I'm going to do a few more little stitches. Yeah, OK. And then when I get back to the beginning, I'm just going to pop it through again just to finish it off. Right, OK. okay. Finger, Finger in, in the, the middle. middle. And we just pull this up. Oh. Now, this is where you lose your thread off your needle, if yes. you're not careful. So you get this sort of little bunched up shape. Yes. Just make sure all of your little pointy bits you should have six little pointy bits right okay and then what's going to happen is we're going to flatten this down right and when we flatten this down let's get that out of the way a minute you'll see that these will flap over and they'll make a, make hexagon, a little hexagon a little yeah. hexagon on the back and again you just need to um just sort of fiddle faddle around a little bit to to get them nice and square and then all I'm going to do with this thread then is I'm going to take this straight through the middle yeah of all the folds and hopefully somewhere near the middle of our hexagon at the back the beauty of this is that they're not all perfect hexagons they're not all perfectly centered yes. but that that looks really nice I think yeah. so um, so now, if I fold that round, you can see... It's looking... Now, I'm having lots of memories coming back today. Are you? But I don't know what that's reminding me of now. I'll tell you what it reminds me of. Do you remember at school we used to make those... Oh, those clicky... Clicky who, things. Who, yeah, yeah. Pick a number, yeah, yeah, pick a colour, yeah. you're yeah. going to marry Reg, that one. That's the yeah. one, yeah. It all Who's reminds... Reg? I don't know. I don't know where that came from. That was a psychic <laughs> moment then. Did, did you know a Reg? No, not me. I'm talking about you now. I'm reading admit, yours. Oh I, don't know. oh, I don't know a Reg. No. Perhaps, perhaps it's somebody I'm going to meet. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? OK. Um, so again, we need to leave the, the needle and thread on. So we've yes. got our sort of basic hexagon yeah. shape and we've got yeah. all our pointy bits. Now, this is going to be fun. All right, what's the matter? <laughs> because it's difficult to... Well, it's your to show, show. I know it is, I know it is. So I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to crease these um, side pieces of the, um, of the hexagon. Yeah. Okay. Maybe if it's your first time doing it, do it bigger. Maybe. I wouldn't do it any smaller than this, no. definitely. <laughs> <laughs> definitely wouldn't do it. Not, not for your first time out. OK, so we've, we've got our hexagon. We've got our little pointy bits sticking up. Yeah. So we're going to choose one of them. It doesn't matter which one. Yeah. And we need to flatten it towards oh, us. Oh, in the middle, right. Like this. Right. OK, and then I'm going to crease these down. Again, if you've... Um, if you're struggling, some fabrics will crease better than yes, others. Yeah. Um, uh, some of them I like to um, use the best press or something like. I've got some here, I think. Oh, somewhere. Yeah. oh yes, yes. Here you go. Have we got this available? Did she get this from you? They gave it me in the trunk oh, this morning. You. Oh, Haley gave it you, did she? <laughs> yeah, Haley gave it. Honestly, me this morning, yeah, so. that Haley. I know, I know. She's running a mock because she can. Okay. So you can use that to, um, to spray your fabrics yes, before yeah. you cut them out. just yeah. gives it a little bit more uh, bite. Yeah. So we've just pressed this down to, towards us, yeah. crease those. Now, this is where you need to pick up this little point. And I find it's easier to do it with uh, a needle. Yeah. And you pull it away from you. Oh. So you get that little yeah. shape. And then give it a good flattening. Yeah. Okay. 
and then it's, it's difficult to show. I'm trying to get my fingers out of the way. Yeah. So hold it down and you bring that back down to the middle. Oh my word. And then you're going to take your needle Threads. and thread through. Just making sure it doesn't catch This is one you really will need to go and look on YouTube yeah, for, won't you? Yeah. Once you've done it, it's 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 quite straightforward to do. Yes. Once you've done it, it's just getting that first sort of movement. So yeah. there's our first little okay. petal. Just okay. do one more, and then I'll go and do some fabric. So okay. you fold it in half. So fold it in half so that the point comes to the to centre. centre. Squidge it up a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Grab it with your needle. needle and pull it away. So open it up, almost like a little bird wanting food. Yeah, like a little bird. And yeah, that's a good idea. pull it right to yeah. the top. Yeah, and then give it a good yeah. crease in. And then hold it in the middle and bring, bring that back down, back oh, down to wow. the centre. And then just catch it through. <sighs> What lovely present toppers, says Jackie in the Highlands. I'm going to make some today. She's loving the show. Fabulous, shoe, fabulous. And you keep going until... Keep going, oh, I'll keep going. I thought you were going to Oh, Gerard. That. Oh, Geraldine. Now, what does... I had to to Geraldine about something, didn't I? Geraldine. You know, Geraldine, you you know the quilt, the, the um, colour wheel quilt we did yesterday of Joy's? And she said, can you do a kit, right? We can't do a kit for that, but what we are planning on doing on... Um, is making charm packs of all of our spectrum solids. Mm. So that would be perfect. So keep watching, Gerardi. Hello, Joy and John. What a lovely show. I'll be watching this so many times on YouTube so I can make them all. <laughs> You're very clever, Joy, says Gerardi. And she's very clever as well, Gerardi. Uh, well, I'm not really very clever because I've, I've learnt these from other people oh. over the way. I didn't make them up. No. You know, there's... But if you, if you like doing this kind of fabric origami, there's loads of stuff uh, out there. You've just got to go and find it and, um, and you can make all sorts of things. All right, I'm going to leave you stitching yeah, that. Yeah, I'll keep going till I get I'm going to go and do down. fabrics and ribbons and I'll be back in a second. Okay. Right, let's do fabric bundles first then, shall we? Oh, you've got my lamis here, yeah. OK, OK, right, let's just... So, uh, Joy, now, Joy's mixed and matched because she was just sent the fabric. So I'll just take you through the bundles I've got here. This is the most popular so far. It's black and white. Lots of people do black and white and gold Christmases, don't they? So you've got half a metre of the white swirl. You get, well, it's white with gold swirl. Half a metre of black with the holly leaves. Metre in total, £6.49. Do check out your baskets on that one. Do check out your baskets on that one. Right, then I've got this one, which is like a really lovely bright bauble fabric with a bright yellow. That, and you see, now I think these would be good for, as the present topper ones, because that's for like a traditional um, wrapping fabric, isn't it? You know, the pattern on wrapping paper. Nine pounds and 49 pence. Then I've got the robins in their nest. So you get half a metre of the robins in their nest. It's very scandy, that one, isn't it? And then half a metre of the optical white. Nine pounds and 49 pence. Then you've got this one, which is traditional. Very, very popular, this one. You need to check out your baskets on this one. You get half a metre of the red snowflake. In fact, you know what? Lucy had this one in the black earlier in her show, didn't she? So the green snowflake and the red snowflake, you're loving that one, £6.49. Right, ribbons. Ribbons, ribbons, ribbons. Do lame first, and then I'll do the bundles. This comes in two different colourways. Oh, I didn't tell you how much. Did it sell there? Oh, yeah, 20 metres. 20 metres, that's the silver. Of course. And then the gold. Gold coming in. OK. So, can't I have the real thing? £7.45. Oh, OK, OK. All right. OK, I've got ribbon bundles. Now, this is fantastic. This is the twill one or the sateen one. Uh, no, this isn't sateen. This is the twill one. Twill. So on each of these rolls, there's four metres of ribbon. You've got the green snowflake, the red snowflake. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, and then do not open till the 25th. 10.95. Ten ninety five. They're lovely. They're, now they're twill. They're not shiny. They're not shiny. Those. But the other bundle I've got here. Oh, 
I thought that was going to work. Oh, come on, one job. Sateen ribbon, do the sateen ribbon, and I'll just go, there we are. Now, the sateen ribbon, you get more ribbon in this one, because you get two, three rolls with uh, four metres on, and then these, the gold lame ones, I've got seven metres on them. So seven metres silver, seven metres of gold, seven pounds and 95 pence, that's a really good price. Really, really good price at seven ninety-five. Now I've got the buttons that I had earlier. The, oh, I haven't brought the red, the red buttons are over there. I'll do the green ones there. I'll do the green ones very quickly. So there's these green ones. I'm not going to sit more letter there. These are very similar in shape and size to the red ones we showed you earlier, but they're in a lovely look. One pound fifty. Add it to your order. Add it to your order. And I've got these uh, multicolored green ones. Lovely, fresh green. Oh, now Paul's got a favourite in here. I don't know if it's going to come out. There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Yeah, Paul's favourite. 150 again, add them to your order. Because remember, you only pay one p and for the whole day, no matter how many times you check out, no matter how many things you're in. Right, now, little Paul's chosen some... I've not seen these. I thought you said sparkly buttons. I thought you said you were doing sparkly buttons. I thought you said those were at the end of the show. Right? OK. It's very confusing today. I'm ever so sorry. Are they like Mother of Pearl? I've not seen these, so I can't tell. They look like Mother of Pearl, those, don't they? Oh, yeah, there you go. They're Pearl. They're Pearl. You get three buttons there. Funny amount of buttons, isn't it? Three. One pound and 95 pence. Next one. Now, how big are they, then? To say on the graphics, hang on. Oh, just shy of an inch, those. Just shy of an inch. 22 millimetres. They're glitter black buttons. I'm sorry I can't show you these for real. They're lovely, aren't they? They're the fasted diamond ones, aren't they? I don't know which size they are, because we do them in two different... We do them in two different sizes. They're the 13 millimetre ones. One ninety-five. Don't ask me. Don't ask me. They're templates. They're templates. So, Paul, have you seen them before? So, what... Are they templates actually plastic pieces, then? So you can make small hexagon twin templates. They're nine ninety five. So it starts at one inch. No, that's a small one. They're finished with one inch. Yeah, finished one inch. So you'd cut them at one and a half, wouldn't you? And then how does that work? I'll have to find out for you. But yeah, no, because the one inch is the same shape. Oh, I see. The one inch is the inside. The two inches the outside. The three inches the inside. The four inches the outside. And then you get the half sizes one as well. And then you also got those in circles. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we're back. You're back. I'm back. You're back. Okay. Um, so this one, um, rather than raiding the button jar again, yes, yes, yes. I thought I'd raid those crystals. That's you left absolutely them there. fine. I will tell you how we're doing with the crystals in a minute as yeah. well, won't we? So I've just, I mean, it's red thread again, which you wouldn't normally use, but I've just popped one uh, in the centre and one on, one the, on back. the back. But again, if you've got the, the smaller ones as well, you could attach a little one oh, to wow. each of those points so it really sparkles. Yes, exactly. Um, as it, and then pop a ribbon on. Um, a hanging loop or, again, use it as a decoration. Well, what you've done with that one there, which is I think is really lovely, is you've yeah. made one in each colour and then yeah. hung them on a ribbon behind, cause as, a, yeah. as a wall hanging, that's, that's right. lovely yeah. as well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, really nice. OK, and then we've got one more, haven't we? Say. Yeah, well, that, oh. that bead's just gone flying. You know you have to pay for that, Joy. You that's lose right. it, you pay for it, you know that. Yeah, I'll pay you? for it out of the money I earn, so they'll still owe me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. That's not what it was a tip. Yes. Okay. So this one, is it this one? Yeah, the triangle one. Okay. Right. Uh, again, buttons are designer's own. But now this, I saw this this morning. I still that's a bit like a cathedral window, that uh, quilt, yeah. isn't it? That's lovely. So what shape do you start? Oh, look. Yeah. Anyway, what shape do you start off with this so one? This oh, again, is, we're hexagon. starting off with hexagons right. again. You need two hexagons. Yeah. Right sides together. You're going to stitch, a bit of fluff on there. Oh, like the same as we did with the circle. Like with the yeah. circle, yeah. stitch all the way around, leave You've yourself left a tiny, tiny opening. Tiny I know, opening. I know. I'm renowned for that. Yes. Um, and then you're going to snip off your 
corners just to help reduce the reduce the yeah. bulk. Little tip when you are turning, particularly if you've only got a small opening like this, yes. as long as it's big enough to get your thumb in, that's all you need. Yeah. Okay. Always go through to the furthest corner. Right. Pull the furthest corner through first because that uh, hole is never going to get any bigger. Also, also, we all do this. We yep. uh, haven't got one to do, but you yep. automatically go like that, don't yep, you? Yeah, to try and do it. No. So put your thumb inside yep, and go to, the yeah, go to the furthest corner. Yeah. Well, you, that's a good little tip, that. Yeah. Because if you try and do it like this, you're... Yeah, th which is what we... Yep. I'll just show you. Yep. What we'd yep. automatically do, we'd automatically go... Like that, wouldn't we? Just to yep, start turning yep. it through. But all you're doing is is filling that yes. hole up with yep, fabric. Yes. So get your thumb in or your finger, if whichever. Yeah. Go right to the furthest point. Yeah. Pull that through, uh, and then the rest will come through. So we've got this amazing um, prim loop turner. That's yep. the same principle because you put the piece of tube into the furthest. That's bit right. of the bottom and then yep. push from push there. It so it's the same yep. sort of principle, isn't and it? And then open it all out. I've got one here already. Already prepared. All right. Wow. You never know how the timing's going to go with these things because I are a bit fiddly diddly. Exactly. So, um, so this time I've done it, turned it through, stitched my opening closed. Yeah. Um, now, again, I've just folded this to get the centre. Right. But okay. you've, done, you've done side, does it matter where? It Do, doesn't matter on this one, oh, okay. because all you want to do is do just, it in a couple of directions. Oh, okay, just to find that. Because we just want to find okay. that, um, that centre Brilliant. point. And then I've just popped my thread through and, um, and just um, attached it to, to the centre. Yeah. Okay. So for this one, we're going to take a corner and we're going to fold it in to the centre. Just trying to get these corners as neat um, as we can. Yeah. And then we're just going to do a little, just tiny it. little catch stitch there, just to, let's go through. So you do a tiny little catch stitch and then go through to the back. I, I'm going through. You can either, it, it depends what you're going to do because um, you, you're going to have like tiny little stitches oh, there. Oh, yes, 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 yeah? yes. You can either, either just stay in the top bit yeah. if you want to. Or if you're going to go through, you can put some decoration yeah, on the back absolutely. there to cover up those yeah, stitches. Yeah, it depends. If you're going to put it on a, a present ribbon or something, you're going to be stitching yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. Anyway. So there's my first one. Right. Then I'm going to go to the next free corner and do exactly the same again. Oh, no, I, I, that's why I would have made a mistake. Okay. Yeah. Because... Because I'd have gone straight to that one, but of course yeah. you need to go round. Yeah, you've you? got to go round. The black and red looks lovely together, doesn't it? We've got red and green, and we've got black and white. Yeah. I'd buy both. I'd buy both the black and green and the red and white bundle. Yeah. Okay, and again, I'm just going to a little stitch just to hold that into place. Right. This is such a departure for me, you know, because this isn't really patchwork and quilting. No, not is at it? all. But I thought it was about time I showed something different. And then nice. the third one. But also, like Little Bull saying, once they're made, you put them in the attic with all your Christmas decorations, then next year you just get them yeah, out. Yeah, you just you? make a few. Or you, or you can yep. make a couple more next yep. year or something. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I'm surprised Barbara hasn't made some. Barbara's Little Paul's mum. I bet you should bet you any money she makes some of these. Yeah. I reckon that, because that, that's quite posh, I think Barbara would like that one. That's the one I think yeah, Barbara would go for. It's very classic. I mean, the, the white and the black and the red and the green, very classic colours, yes. really yeah. nice. So I've got them all okay. put to it together. Samosa. I'm seeing a samosa so, now. It's very foody it's today, very, I must it? be hungry today, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Hayley, it's time to get John's fruit out. Yeah, so we're before it gets all minutes. unnecessary. Yeah. Um, so I've got that um, all in one place, okay? Right. Again, leaving my needle and thread in. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to fold one of these edges back, a bit like so a cathedral, like cathedral window. window yeah. yeah. Fold it back and then just sort of smooth it around. If you want to use a little binding clip or something to hold it in place, yeah. you can. And then we need to slip stitch these down. Okay. So I've, well, got, I've got one, one here. here. Yep, really. I've got one could here. You machine, could you machine it? Or is it um, too small to machine? You could. Um, it's a little bit, little bit tricksy, but yeah, if you wanted to, yeah. nothing to, uh, nothing to stop. Actually, uh, Cynthia had sent a message in. Oh, something she's made. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That... That's lovely. It's like a little sack, isn't it? Oh, hang on. Uh, she's made this decoration. It's known as. This is Paul's in what Omayehi is how he's saying it. Okay. O M. I Y. A J E. Oh, beautiful. 
Yeah, there's... It's lovely. But is it open? Can you put something inside it? It's like a little booty. It looks like a little booty. Yeah, it looks like a little... Yes, you could put like a gift. The tradition is yeah. it had a gift of food in it. Oh, food again. <laughs> nice, that's lovely. Food again, yeah. Yeah. That's lovely. Well, oh, that what, is lovely. What else do you do at Christmas besides eat? Work. Work, yeah. <laughs> Christmas Day, we join me and Joy on Christmas Day I hope morning. you get mince pies. Oh, you get nothing. There'll be nobody. It'll be you and me. And yeah. is, hey, is it Hannah and Hannah? That'll be it. Yeah, we're going to be on it. Uh, the person who's asked for mince pies for Christmas Day is um, Hayley. <laughs> yeah, mince pies, Christmas Day, maybe. And can you deliver them warm as well, with brandy <laughs> butter? <laughs> right, carry on with this then. OK, so you're going to do it right, and literally all you're going to do is just do a little stitch in the background and then a little stitch where the fold is, um, just to hold it in place yeah. all the way along. Yeah. And then when you get to um, the corner... All you're going to do is just do like a little a little pinch. So you just hold it together at the yeah. corner before you come back down again. Okay. And then, um, you could just probably see it better on that one, you've got this little pinch piece here. Oh, yes, yeah? yes, yes. Um, and then, again, buttons, beads, crystals, whatever you've got um, to decorate it out. It can be nice if you've got some, some nice little um, gems like that to do like a little string of them. So oh, like they a little dangle. tassel drop, yep. yeah. Because yep. those would be brilliant because <clears throat> the ones, these beads that we've been showing you today have got holes in the top and the bottom. So what you could do is you go through the top one, through the yep. second one, through the third one, then you get a little one at the end. You go across the little one and then back up through your threads and you can create a little... Yep. Oh, do you know what would be lovely? Just to make a, like a little fringe going across the whole bottom yep. of there. So as yep. that moves round, you're just going to catch the shimmer of yep. like... No, yep. I'm not talking like, you know, like... Chabacans. Yes, I'm talking just like three or four drops. Yeah, yeah. So it just does that beautifully on the yeah, bottom. Yeah. We'll do that. We could do that. Oh, yes, thank you. Oh, uh, and, and then put you on the Christmas tree, uh, Paul's saying, with the lights and sparkly lights. Do you have flashing lights or just oh, plain no, lights? Oh, no, can't be doing with flashing lights. Oh, I have one of everything on my tree. Do you? When I have a tree. I normally do outside more than inside. I don't usually do anything inside. Yeah, I like outside trees, yeah. I must admit. I mean, that's where they belong, isn't it? I like, um, exactly. I like to have... Um, always like to have a real Christmas tree, um, but it it doesn't work with all the pine and stuff in the house. You could buy non trip ones. No, that's not the right word, non is it? <laughs> non, non, non smelly ones. No, no, you want the smell. You want the smell, but you don't want the pine needles to fall. No, on it's your the carpet, smell I can't cope with. Oh, don't you like the smell? No, and oh. um, there's one or two people in the house that tend to get um, a bit. Um, hay fevery oh, trees really? and stuff. So. Oh dear! No, because yeah. I like because you can buy it in America. When I lived in America, you could buy the, the spray. Yeah. And you can spray the room like pine, you know, yeah. so it smelt like Christmas Day. Also, I've got a, uh, an aromatherapy burner, and I put pine in that at Christmas just to make it a bit more Christmassy. Um, but I know what you mean. You see, when yeah. my cats were little, I couldn't have a real Christmas tree because they were up inside it, all over <laughs> it, and everything. And we've got a minute left, Joyce. Okay. So, yep. So all I've done, I've just stitched up to the top. I've just stitched through there just to pinch that corner in. And then we come back down the other side, back down to, back down to the centre. Yeah. So this one's this one's very much uh, once you get to this stage, sit in front of the telly yeah. and do your hand, yeah. or however you like to do your hand yeah. stitching just and everything like that. Yeah. Fantastic. And then you just attach the ribbon attach the on ribbon. the back yeah. again. Yeah. Or or again, if you go to, I'll just show on this yeah, yeah. one. I think because this one's uh, the easiest one to get oh. off. It's easy to get off. So all you need to do is just. Um, so this one I've put like a little, um, like made it like a little rosette. rosette yeah. yeah. Um, and again, these are good if you're if you're doing party games and you want to give out rosettes for first, second, oh, yes, and yes. third. But the, the thing is, I was saying yesterday, if I if I gave out a gift with that on, I'd be like, when you've opened the present, can I have the rosette <laughs> back, please? Um, <laughs> thank you, John, for that. Says Geraldine, can't wait for yeah. the charm pack. You make me laugh. I'm not clever. I wish I was. Oh, Jerry, she works I'm in sure the medical she industry. She's mm. and the very last. Mo, sorry, this is. I'm late this morning. <clears throat> the cat's having a meltdown because his breakfast is an hour late. Oh dear. Um, and, oh, a design roll of Spectrum Solids would be good. I'll put that forward for him. Fabulous. I'll get Joy to cut them at home. Do you have nothing else oh, to do yeah, during yeah, the week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Anne Maria, I'll send some cookies for Christmas Day. Fabulous. Oh, lovely. Fabulous. Thank you, Anne Maria. Uh, thank you, Joy. You're back in an hour. Oh, yeah. it's a lovely, love Joy's project for her 11 o'clock hour. You know, it's, what, it's the emergency services that tell you to. Highways agency. Uh, right, yep. uh, highways agency. Yep. In your car, you know, when it's cold, you need salt and a shovel and I said some chocolate. That's not on the list. <laughs> uh, and you need something to keep warm. Yep. I keep my Parker coat in the 
in the boots of things. Yeah. These are three different quilts, a his and a hers and a theirs. You've got to watch it at 11 o'clock. Thank you, Joy, for that. Okay. We'll see you in an hour's time. Will do. Um, am I going over there to fabrics? I'm going over there to fabrics. See okay. you later, Joy. See you later, John. Right, okay, so we've got your bundles here and your ribbons. So, should we start with the black and white? Oh, did we see Hayley? Which bit, where, where did she walk, Hayley? Where did she walk? I didn't see her. Do you want to see it? Oh, there she is. Oh, no, she's behind the graphics now. <laughs> oh, she... And we're meant to respect that. Okay, right, here we go. Uh, the black and white bun. Uh, yeah, gold Christmas bundle. It's black and white with gold uh, uh, swirls and olives. That's almost sold out now. 6 49 Then uh, the red and green one. The red and green, this is called traditional. You get half a metre of the red snowflake, half a metre of the green snowflake. Nice, they're beautiful. Like Joy said, they're traditional, traditional Christmas colours, aren't they? Six pounds. Even if you're not going to make the, the lovely things Joy's made, they're lovely fabrics, those four very Christmassy fabrics. Nate, check out your baskets. Now, this one here, I think this looks like... Remember, well, when I was younger, you wrapping paper, you get very, very excited when you saw wrapping paper like that. And then you got bright yellow with that one at nine pounds. Well, I'm saying bright yellow. It's either bright yellow or maize, but it's nine pounds and forty-nine pence. For you, you don't have to worry about the name because you get all of that. Okay. And then last but not least, we've got the robins in their little house. Now, did you know with robins they both have a red breast, but the bo the girls are bigger than the boys. Nine pounds and 49 pence. That's the birdhouse Christmas. And then I've got the um, ribbon bundles for you. This one here is the twill. You get all of these. You get all of these. Oh, I'm going to run out. Now, if you want any to know about the beads, just go to the website. You'll see what beads are still available down at the bottom. Very low in stock now, 10 95 And then the other ribbons, if you want to just look on the web, you can... Oh, you got the, uh, there's the lame and the, the sateen one. Okay, don't go anywhere. Lucy's up next. Oh, she's made that gorgeous quilt that's been hanging behind us all um, morning. That's what's coming up next. See you in three. Follow us on Twitter for more inspiration, top tips, news, and share your own creations with us. So I'm going to be showing you how to do an ease stitch. Um, it's very similar to our running stitch here, um, but the purpose of it would be different. So I've kind of mocked uh, the head of a sleeve here. Nine times out of ten you will have to ease the top section of your sleeve. So this is the stitch that you would do that with if you were going to do it with hand. So I'm going to use the embroidery thread. I've just popped a knot on the end again just so it doesn't pull through. Normally you wouldn't do it with um, embroidery thread. So on your sleeve, normally these sections will need to be kept as they are because it's only this section here that we need to be working with. So I'm going to be doing a running stitch quite close to the edge of the fabric. I'm just going to do the quick method here where you're pulling the needle through the fabric while keeping it on the same needle so i'm going to stop there and then pull that all the way through like so so you can see that i've got just that section sewn there and then as i begin to pull you can see that i'm easing the head of my sleeve in so when that is stitched these curves should disappear they shouldn't be there because you've eased the bigger section into a smaller section on the clothing so that's easing Hi, I'm Victoria Pete, and here are my top tips. My first tip is when dressmaking is to wash your fabrics. As soon as you get home or as soon as it arrives in the post, stick it in the wash. Wash it as you would do with the finished garment. Get it ready so that when you're ready to sew, you're ready to go. My next tip is posture. When you're sitting at your sewing machine, particularly when you're doing something like quilting, pay attention to how you're sitting in the chair, because quite often when you're really concentrating on quilting, you have a tendency to hunch, and before you know it, you'll end up with a bad back. So my last tip is to not sew when you're tired. So many times I've sewn when I'm tired and I make mistakes, and you find yourself unpicking or wasting fabric. Sew when you're nice, ready, and fresh.
Did you know there are multiple ways you can contact us, even if it's just to ask a question? Our friendly team are always on standby. You can call our customer service team at 0800 112 4433, email us at help at sewingquarter.com, visit our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter at Sewing Quarter, and even message us through our website and our presenters will answer your questions live on air. It's all gone very serious in here. I don't know why. I've got tension on one side. I've got concentration on another side red lipstick and that's just tom on campus anyway do you want to have a look at the quilt that lucy's made here it is lucy's christmas quilt it's lovely oh oh who chose to have it that way it was that you lucy okay i'll change that in a minute it's gorgeous though isn't it isn't that a lovely quilt you can make that you can make that because i've got the bundle i've got the bundle for you to make that very quilt Get a metre. Get a metre of each of these fabrics, right? Five metres of fabrics. Look at these. We'll go through them. Look, I love that one. That's like the red lace, isn't it, that one? Then you've got the traditional star in the red and the grey. You've got bright red and you've got... Looks like ecru to me. Oh, it is ecru. Oh, blimey, it's a bit frightening. I know all the colours. We've got hundreds of colours. All of those, five metres, 44... Yours? For £44.49. and pence. I think that's gorgeous. Even if you don't make this quilt that Lucy's making. They're a gorgeous bundle of fabrics. Then if you want to make a totally Christmas version. Uh, uh, now, yes, uh, now this was created between me, Paul, Lucy and Hayley last night. Um, we've got red holly. We've got, now they're not ice cream cones. They're little gnomes, they are, little gnomes' faces. We've got white holly, get yeah, a metre of each, remember. Um, the candy sticks and the love hearts. And then that really gorgeous green there. What, what you do is use four of the fabrics on the front and then the other fabric, is that right? One, two, three, four on the front and then use the other one for the backing and the binding. Now, the idea, oh, there it is. Oh, now, who took that picture? Did you take that picture, Hayley? Oh, OK. Anyway, 53, 99. Now, this book is fabulous. This book has got... They're called One Patch Quilts. Basically, what they're doing... And I don't want to say basically, that's like Jerry Jeremy Carl show, isn't it? Basically, John, um, it, this is such... Look, look at the price. Look at the price, 4 95 What it is, is it tells you about different shapes that can be patchwork. Look, look, look. Oh, it's a premiere. It's never been seen before at 4 95 But look, 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 look. So, squares. You think, oh, I could... I can do squares, but look, there's a simple way of how to do your squares. Half square triangles. Now, how often you watch a new show and we go, oh, that's just a half square triangle. That's just a flying goose or whatever. Quarter square triangles. Do you know what I mean? It's got everything. Oh, now somebody messaged in yesterday saying, I'm just starting quilting, right? And they were saying, what ruler should I buy? Buy this, get this book. Get this book, definitely. What's that one then? Rectangle triangles. Rectangles. Prism or house. Oops. Diamonds. It, oh, that's the tumbling blocks, isn't that one there? Look. Tile or double prism. It's got all the shapes that you need. Kite. Uh, equilateral triangle. Tumbler. Half square. What are we doing today then? Hang on, let me find ours. Half hexy. Braid. Now, that's not like plaid. You do say that one like that. <laughs> oh, that's the one we're doing. That's the one we're doing. So in, that's Brad, yeah. Oh, I've worked with him, yeah. Uh, clamshell, which is Hannah's favourite. Jewel. Uh, it's just fantastic. 4 95 Now, I'd loads of you putting that in your basket. Check out straight away. What a brilliant stocking filler. And also, what a brilliant... If you're doing um, Secret Santa. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant one, that is. Uh, we all are. You're not doing it, Paul. Right. Hello. All right. Oh, I've yes. got to do something. Oh. You keep going. Start, you start your show. <laughs> what do you want me to do? 
Start your show. <gasps> Don't collapse it. Go on, start. OK. Don't mind me. All right. So um, in the book, you've got all of the shapes and you've got a template as well to make the shapes. You don't have to go with that size. You can go with any size that you want. So um, I've chosen to go with a six and a half by three and a half rectangle. You're doing ever so well. You don't need me. <laughs> so I'm going to cut a six and a half inch strip and sub cut it into three and a half inch increments. Come back. I'm lonely. <laughs> so I'm just going to remove the salvage and then cut this in three and a half. So I've just got rectangles. It's like a screen test, Lucy, all on your own, isn't it? I'm back I wasn't now. On my own for my, I wasn't even on my own for my screen test. <gasps> Thank you. Don't ever leave me again. Okay. So I'm just starting with rectangles, so it couldn't be simpler. Right. Um, so, so in the book, in the book, yes. in the book, um, it's actually really good with this one, isn't it? Because it, it shows is. you how to cut Fabulous. them out, also how to put them back, to, uh, put back together. Not yes. Bad. And the two different versions you can do as well. That You've just summed up patchwork right there, cutting out lots of shapes and putting them back together. Exactly. That's what we do. Yeah, when's your, when's your book coming out then? Lucy Brennan's. Cut it up, stitch it back together at the end. The end. Make some nice shapes. Yes. What I love about the book is... It not only, you know, it talks you through the shapes and then it gives you suggestions of how you can put the shapes together. Yes. So it's not just a straightforward shape. So it's got lots of inspiration for different quilts. And as I was looking through, I want to make that one, I want to make that one, you yes. know, doing that, which is lovely. So, so, there's, it, it's, so there's no pattern. So it's some not books, patterns. you open it and you go, this is the tumbling block. This is how to make the sunblock. This is just about shape and how yes. you can use shapes and how you can put all those same shapes together. Yeah. But I'm sure once you get experience, you could look at that and go, oh, that shape would look lovely with that shape. Absolutely. And then you, you can, can slowly build your own exactly, blocks. Exactly, yeah. build so it's it not, up. So it's not one of those books where it goes, this is a log cabin, this is a chain mail, this is, not chain mail, what's it called? Chain saw, no. <laughs> saw tooth, this is a bear paw. I was getting the two yes. muddled up. This is a... No, Whatever, it's, it's all about like the actual that. basic shape. The reason I turned up that way is don't you think they look like love hearts, Christmas love hearts? They do. And then they, you, you... I'm blending in. Okay. So. So I'm just stacking up my rectangles and we're going to make the braid shape. It's the boy races outside. You're making what, the so braid shape? The braid so, shape. So, them. yeah, there are a couple of ways that you can do this. So I've used the long ruler to cut the strips from my fabric. Yes. Um, and so that's got the length there. Yeah. Now you can use the 45 degree angle on this ruler. Um, I mean, we're showing the six and a half by 24 here, but if you, oh, we have got this one because I was going to say earlier, we couldn't find it earlier, but, but you could, on all of the uh, Rachel Ruler's creative grids, they've got the angles on and the yes. measurements on. So you like can that. use the angle to, to um, cut the angle yes. of the braid. I oh. happen to have this one. <laughs> yes. And I just find, you know, I just, because I'm just lining it up with the edge of the ruler. I what's don't have this to one? Find this, that what's line. this one used for normally? This then? one's a Lone Star one, so you can oh, use this that. one, yes, to make um, different star shapes. Oh, is that is that so our, is that the one we're doing there? The little square there. Can you see that at home? Is that like no, the that's, one we're doing? Well, that's diamonds. That's different. Oh, is that diamonds? Yeah, I've that's got the a different on. one. Right. But this is great for. Um, Cutting strips on the bias. Yeah, of course. You know, yes, when, yes, and yes. doing bias binding and things like so that. So is that so a 45 degree angle? So it's, and it's oh. just, it is a 45 degree so angle. So instead of measuring on there, you get yes. this. And... I mean, that's fine. It's lining up the line, but I just. Well, you had ease. this, didn't you? Yeah, because yeah. I've got you it. You nicked so it last just... week, didn't you? <laughs> no. It's all right. We're keeping a check on everything. She... It's one that you know I those. I do not. <laughs> I do not steal things. No, she doesn't. I not... don't. Did you watch EastEnders last night, mind you? No, I don't watch it. What day is it? Now, it can't have been last night, it was Saturday, so it must have been yeah. Fridays. Was it exciting? No. Oh, I haven't watched it for years. No. Too much sewing to do. Yes. So all I'm doing is removing these... Um, but save those. Angles. So I'm going from the corner, yeah. uh, you know, the, obviously that's very important. Now, because I've cut my strips, I've got these right sides together. Wrong uh, sides Sorry, together. wrong sides together, excuse me. I'm well, right you've got right... Got them. Right and wrong. That's like a... <laughs> right and wrong somebody sides does, a, somebody does a charm pack like that. Is it Tilda, where they do one right, one wrong, Tilda, one right, yes, one... Tilda, yes, they do. 
So um, you don't want to have them all the one way unless you're going to repeat it and cut your, ang your angle the other way. It's easier to do it like this because you don't have to think about which way your angle's going. Yes, yeah. So if you stack them up as you would cut them from yes. the length of fabric. And then uh, no, Miss, just come through a little. We want them, I'll show you now, we want them going opposite ways. Yes. So we need some going so that you, way. So if you're using a plain fabric, it doesn't matter, does it? If you're using a plain fabric, it doesn't matter, but we're using patterns. mostly patterned yes. fabrics. So but even on the, even on the snowflake, do you need to...? Yes. OK. That's not the snowflake, this is the lace. Yes. OK. Um, yes, Kaz, morning both, the sun is shining. Where are you, Kaz? The sun is shining. Extra in bed, sat with a couple of my two favourites on sewing quarter. Bliss from Kaz. Lovely. Oh, she mid, -gl mid -gl Morgan. Must be nice. Lovely. At uh, Shumai, uh, Barada. Yay, I've got the book. Did you like... Oh, that's you, Helen. You see, Helen, right. Helen, I showed you the pictures yesterday. I know, oh, yeah. We were all weird we, and on, on our Facebook page, you can go and put pictures and everything, right? Now, Helen, I think... Was it say Helen? Yeah, you've moved the, the thing. Um, yep. And behave, John, my keyboard doesn't need a tea shower. That's what Kaz said, because she keeps taking mouthfuls of it. Um, <laughs> Helen made this brilliant, brilliant dress, which is like a Christmas tree ball gown, isn't it's it? Incredible. And that's an old one. She's making a new one for this Christmas, oh, she said. She? Yeah, that's oh. an old one. And it was gorgeous. But we didn't know you were called Helen as well, because on Facebook you've got... Um, she's called Princess something, something, something. So we didn't know she was Helen, brilliant. Nicola. Posh Nicola. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Hello, Lucy. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Do you prefer using the Fiskard Circle Ruler or the Creative Grid? Oh, that's a bit of a naughty question. Isn't it? Fiskard Circle Ruler or the Creative Grid one you had yesterday? Thank you so much. Right, I can yeah. answer that first of all because the Fiskard yeah. Circle does a circle and yesterday you had an oval. I did have an oval. It was an oval. It wasn't a circle, a circle. one yesterday. I don't know whether there is a circle. No. I'm going to just answer you that really that? honestly. No, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm so used to the rotary cutter and I'm happy using a rotary cutter. So a circle, you know, like the oval, there's a circle one using my rotary cutter. I'm happy doing that. Yeah. That's okay, my that's answer. the answer. Claire, I hope that was good for you. Uh, good morning, Lucy. Oh, they're all coming for you. Good morning, <laughs> Lucy. I hope they let you sleep in an extra hour this morning. Keep on rocking, Robin. Love, Batman. Oh, it's my Batman. <laughs> That's my lovely friend, Claire. Oh, that's your friend? I didn't understand Hi, that one. Claire. In jokes now, in jokes. No, when we went to, it was when we went to the Festival of Quilts. Oh, yes. And we were going to a lecture. Yes. And we were late, so we were having to run. So we pretended we were Annika Rice. No. And then we said, all oh, like we were Batman and Batman Robin. And Rob no, no, Batman and Robin when oh, Only Fools and Horses did it. And then, yes. Through the mist. They came running, running through the running. mist like that, didn't they? So uh, we're going to wear out, we're going to uh, dress up next year. Uh, but it, what, to come to Festival of Quilts? Yeah, Batman oh, and Robin. Oh, no. Uh, Borada, darling. Oh, she lives in Pencoed, just Aww. outside Bridgend, and it's beautiful blue skies and sunny. Oh, oh, how lovely. When I drove in here, it was raining. I my thingy on in, it was dark as well. Anyway. So, uh, I've cut off these corner pieces, but of course you can use these for something. You know, we're going to cut, so you could make your a whole half square triangle quilt from the pieces yes. that you're cutting Well, you've got off, triangles you in the book, to. haven't you? So Yes, you yeah. could look okay. at that and get some inspiration. Okay, so, the, oh, I see. So, you only cut out one side of, I've got it now. Yes, so you've got. So you've only got a 45 degree, uh, have we got a Y seam? Okay. Do we have no, a Y seam? No Y seams. Why not? Because we don't need Y okay. seams. So I'm going to do this one slightly differently. I've used, in this quilt, I've used the grey. As kind of the background. As the background. I'm going to use the um, same print, but the, but the white, white and red, red yeah. um, for this one. Okay. So... Um, you just want to start laying it out. I'm going to refer to my diagram. It says in the book how to lay it out. Let me show yes. you in the book. Right, two thirds of the book are sold already and I need to get one of these as well. Um, Look, you'll see now how it starts to come together. So the, we're, what we're doing is, it, oh here, here, that, so that's the cutting and now this here. Look, it's how you lay it out and everything there. Please check out, otherwise you're going to miss out. 4.95. Oh, Sue, Jan... Oh, people are multiplying. People are multiplying the book. 
Uh, Carol, Judith, Patricia, Lynn, Patricia, Catherine, Mary, Linda, Elsie, another Mary, a uh, Carida. Oh, <gasps> Carida. That's a Beautiful nice name, name, isn't it? Jane, Tracy, Laurie, Eileen, Yvonne, Margaret, Alexandra, Joan, Alicia, another Linda with a Y, uh, Christine, Pat, Diana, Veronica, Helen, Kirsty, Angela. What's going on? Oh, there's so many of you. Lo lots of Angela's coming in, but there's quite a few of you got it in your basket. So please, please, please be careful. Yeah, please be careful. Yeah, loads of people keep adding it, adding it, adding it. Anyway, sorry. Oh, blimey. Yes. So you can see how it builds up and why you have to have them going opposite ways. Yes. So it's not as the quilt appears that it's the strips. Do you see what I'm... So on the quilt, it sort of looks like that's together. Yes. But that's not your row. It's... That's I mean, I know half... I'm yeah, saying so, row. So I basically... Yeah. Yes. That's your row, like that. Yeah. Sorry, I've just messed up your... No, but just show. Right. So rather than that, that, that with the red ones here, that's a row. So you then add another row. Yes. To that one, wouldn't you, then? Yeah. So just keep going and building it up. And what's it called? Braid. I can see braid. that like a plait, so isn't braid, it? braid like a plait. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So I have done this um, pattern previously in a different formation where you sew the pieces and then you trim it off. Right. But, you know, the nice thing about doing it this way is there's no waste. Yes. In terms of... Um, you know, you, you've cut your pieces already. You can you can sew those together. What are you doing? You're messing the whole system. Yeah. Why are you doing that? Because I'm just seeing what it'd be like if you did all four fabrics. Are there four fabrics? Here? Yes. And that's not in the right place, is it? Um, they're telling me off upstairs. I know. Cause no, 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 no. But I'm just it, thinking. No, 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 no. We're not going to sew it. Look. <laughs> But look, 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 what I'm saying is, there's yes. one missing, isn't there? The red. The red, red one. No, it does fit. Yeah. No, that's the wrong way around. It doesn't, it's solid, just... Oh, it's, you need the other angle, do you? No, there you go, there you go, there you go. Yeah, there. No, no, no. And no. oh, why am I doing it wrong, Lucy? Yeah. Well, I'm just thinking, because you've put the grey... That's it. In between. You've put the grey, but if you wanted to, you could just do lots and lots of different chevrons. Then what you're doing there is you then do that one. Just mean, so, so instead of having the stripes like you've done it, you yeah. could just have it all lots and lots of lovely, because that could. would then go like that there. Do you know what I mean? So, so mm -hmm. you don't like it? Okay. Um, yeah, are you okay. having a husband moment? <laughs> what Lucy does mm. when she's doing a new mm. quilt, she shows her lovely husband and she's, what, which one do you like best? He goes, oh, I like that one. She goes, right, well, we're doing this one. <laughs> Uh, no, don't, you don't you have to like check. That? No, go on, I'll do it. No, no, we'll do it your way. But I'm just thinking of if you're at home, thinking, I don't want a lot of grey stripes, a lot of red stripes in the middle. But you've got all arrowheads going in different directions, yes. nothing that way, haven't you? That, now, now, little Paul told me off, right? For, leave it to Lucy. Lucy's the expert. Let Lucy do it, right? Now he's going, oh, actually, that's quite I nice. I quite like though. that. That's yeah, okay. chevrons, yeah. I've just got to get another row now. Oh, now, I need to... Blimey, I've never said this before. There's a small queue on the phone lines. A smew, as we used to call them, which is also uh, a duck with a ruddy coloured head. Honestly, you're just a fountain of knowledge. Useless today, information. Aren't you? Useless information. <laughs> is that right? That's right, but you need. Oh, well, now you need to get. Anyway, but you don't need to. No, that's now. not right because you need that one there now. Have you got another right. one yes, of those? I've got, well, Sorry, I've got I'm using up your whole show here. With. Yeah, you're the presenter in this one. I'm the expert, isn't it? That's the way it's There we go. We'll do it like that. You yeah. can sew. I'll stitch them together in a you minute. You stitch them together. <gasps> oh, you see, I'm quite liking it like that. Okay. But th th this is the whole point why this book is so brilliant. Yes. Because you can follow the instructions like, you, like you're doing. But yes. then if you're suddenly, if you're laying out, this is the joy of when you're patchworking, isn't it? Absolutely. Because you start laying things out going, oh, actually, I quite like that one there. Yeah. I'm confusing myself. Now. It's just, oh, I think it's lovely. Anyway, anyway, should we put it back to your way? Okay. Can we remember how to do that? Yep. This one's the background, so that one comes out. The book is almost sold out, everybody. The book is almost sold out. Oh, blimey, nine left. 
Oh, that's not even no, counted. That's no, that, right. no, because that's only going. What well, I've oh, messed right. it up because. <laughs> yeah, you, you, the grey one is <laughs> only. Again. No, the red one's only on the outside. Yes, the red one's there. There. Sorry. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Like that. There we go. So are those all the same way as this one? Yeah. So I just keep going like that. Because it's easier, you have to think about it in halves. The way we were just laying it out then wasn't how you would sew it together. Yes. You want to lay it out as Is that you're right? going. Right. Yeah, that's right. As this one's not the right way around, it. though. That's your side. Okay. I need one more on this side. Mm -hmm. So then that one goes there like that. I don't need that. Oh, is that not right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so you need a grey one with your pointy bit there. Yeah. Now a red one with your pointy bit there. Yeah. And then you need uh, these all these. facing your way now. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Thank you. Just God. as well I'm here, really, I isn't it? I know it really is. Way? Is that right? It really is. Yes. Yes, so this is yes. now... This will now be what is classed as the background, the same as the grey there. And then you've got the three different coloured uh, chevrons in the middle there. Because yeah. then what would go here is that... That one. Red one would then yeah. go there, wouldn't it? Yeah. Sorry if I've confused you. No, that's OK. And you at home. Oh, <laughs> you see, it does look nice. It does look nice. Yeah. You see, it works both ways, doesn't it, really? And anyway, and you have enough fabric there to play about. Whichever one... If you're going to do it this way... Yes. Then you've got enough fabric to make this size quilt. I used up nearly all of the grey. All five metres of the grey. This, What's on the back of that one? That's bit. just the white, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the yeah. ecru, 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 yeah. ecru. So whichever one, obviously, oh, you're so you using more. Oh, so you do have more, to make the decision. You're going to be using more if you're using one as a background. But if you were doing it my way, the, the way I laid out, you're going to use the exact same amount of all the fabrics because they're yes. all just, yeah. And so there isn't, because in the book it isn't a pattern, you just need to decide on the length that you want. So make your rows well, how and then how five many, yes, exactly. yes, how many you want. So you just can go ahead. And it, even if you wanted, I've used a six and a half by three and a half rectangle. That was the start. You could use smaller rectangles or larger rectangles. Yes. It's really, up it's you. really up to you. It's just using the shape. Or you can use just the template that's in the, that's in okay. the book. At now, if, you if, if you've got the book, make sure you check out your baskets. Um, oh, the book's gone. I hope oh. there's one left for me. Well done. Yeah, well done. Brilliant book, brilliant book, brilliant it book. Is. Now, so w w which way are you going to sew these together? So then? now we're going to sew these together. So I'm sewing them in these, co it's columns really, yes, isn't yeah. it? Co columns or rows. And then, um, so I'm starting up here. But it's straight edge to straight it's just edge, isn't straight it? straight edge sewing all the way. Apart from when you sew that column to that column. Straight. That's, it's not on your bias. Oh, I see what you mean, the yes. fabric. But straight yes. line, it's a straight line. Yes. So, but there's no Y seams. No Y seams. But now, you have got, the piece at the top is shorter. Yeah. Shall I put the iron on? Oh, it's all done. The yeah. piece at the top is shorter, isn't it, than the one at the bottom? Do you, go, do you just run straight down to the end? You want to, let me do this one and then I'll show you. So you want to have a piece, of, however long you want it, whatever size you want, um, sorry, whatever length you want it to, to run to, yeah. you're going to chop it off. Right. So we're not inserting triangles or anything, we're just going to square it up. Oh, okay. So you need to make sure you've got extra at the end and extra at the top so that it's level. Right. So whenever you're, you're building up your braid, so this one's going to be like this. Yeah. So we're losing the bottom. And you'll lose the, the top off. And off we'll those. lose the top. So on that one, you'll lose quite a lot off that one, and that one, you'll just lose a little bit, bit. off that one, yeah? Yeah. Because you'd cut there, a quarter yeah. of an inch there, wouldn't you? I mean, you could insert, I mean... But then that's a different... Let's that's just a do it this way. Yeah, but that's yes. a different technique, and what this book is all about is showing you how, uh, about yeah. the different shapes, yeah? Yeah. And, it, and it's just a really easy, nice project okay, to, so, to sew. So we oh, that is, that, is. that one. So, right, okay. Yeah. But you've sewn then right to the end of that one and that one there. Yes. There's no, it's not like a Y seam where you no, have to leave. No Y seam, like, right to the end. Okay. Right, you so can, I wouldn't uh, use black usually. No, got a new pressing board, especially new, for you. Yeah, thank you so and much. And which way would you press your seam allowance? Does it matter? Um, I'd press it away. Yes. 
So it's, it was up like that. Okay. No need to watch. You can yeah. sew. Well, I've got. To, I need. You to oh, you need this one to sew. Oh, I can do this one, can't I? No, 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 no. So in real life, you you then sew this one. Yes. I then. stick to one because you you know you can start chain piecing if you want to, but I find it, yes, you're just going to confuse yourself, and it's just straight lines. It's not particularly time consuming. So is that one next? So is it that one, one next? next? Yeah. Whereas if I'm chain piecing, I'm going to yeah, get myself in a bit of a here. state, aren't I? So, well, maybe not. Well, you would you would probably want to label it or whatever. Maybe take a picture if you're going to do it that yeah. way. But I, you know, I, I enjoy um, challenging sewing and things that are a bit more complicated. But then sometimes it's just so lovely to just sit and sew. Yes, because I was telling Joy earlier. I really I watch you quilting. Um, Experts, because I've done just not I've done dressmaking, but you know that's what my background is, isn't it? Mm. But and quilting to me is a, and patchwork to me is a completely new thing, and I just watch you sometimes and think, you know, like when you do like a tumbling block or a log mm. cabin, you think, well, I'd really, I could quite happily sit in the evening. Mm. Not that I have that many evenings, but because I'm in bed to come into here. <laughs> but do you know what I mean? Like I like when, when I did wig making. It's that kind of getting it, and I found it therapeutic to yeah. just keep doing the same. It sounds no, that sounds boring, but no, you know, doing the same isn't, thing. No, no, I do, and that's why I do. I do do a lot of hand sewing because yes. I, you know, I just enjoy that. Well, that's why I love the time. beading. When I was given those, not mm. nobody else, because uh, we were all at college at the time. We were all given different jobs at the Royal Ballet, and nobody else wanted to do the beading. And I found the beading so relaxing almost mm. because you could be creative where you're putting them you're doing your skill but then you're also creating something i mean i, I was a magpie obviously in a past life because just seeing sitting there <laughs> in, your, in your little flat in east putney and just watching it all sparkle away well, mind you that is that is the when i did the um i did sit one night and i used to have an old toweling dressing gown sitting and doing it on my knee and i lifted it up and one of the ballet bodices was attached to my <laughs> dressing gown. Um, so somebody said to me, did you unpack your own? And I was like, no, I cut the hole in the dressing <laughs> gown. <laughs> Which then inspired me. And that Christmas, I made all my family patchwork, not patchwork, but, well, they were kind of patchwork, um, mm. toweling dressing gowns. But it was kind of like, I had red here, yellow here, green pocket, a blue pocket, a white belt. I made them all. And my dad, when I cleared my dad's house out after he passed away, I found it. He was on the back of the, one of his wardrobe doors. Oh. Uh, Pictures. What are they off then? Let's, oh, look. Lou. Beautiful. Beverly, they're gorgeous. So let's go to Lou first of all. So that's exactly what we're doing. That's a braid It's exactly quilt. what we're doing, so it's isn't it? It's the same it? shape. But just yes. doing random, random colours any way yeah. you fancy. Yeah, oh, beautiful. Oh, I love that one. And then Beverly, what shape's that? That looks like an apple core. Apple has been bitten down. That's an apple core. Oh, is that what it's called? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, gorgeous. Yes. Look, 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 Beverly. Uh, I'm just showing the front cover. She said, look, it's the one from the front, very similar to the one on the front cover yeah. of the book. It is indeed. Is that called yeah. apple core? Beautiful then? apple core, yeah, that's an apple core shape. Now, is that difficult because it's all curved? That's, it's curved. That's the same curved, as this, but all, not the same, yeah. but it's all curved, it's seems, curved isn't it? seems, yeah. Oh, we've got a message. Oh, John, when is... The John and Lucy Roadshow coming to Belfast. <laughs> I'll be there from oh. Noel. Oh, we made cushions for you yesterday, didn't we, Noel? Um, maybe we should. Maybe we could think about that for the future. Of course. Roadshow. Roadshow. Fran, morning, John and Lucy. Loving the show. John, I wish I had what you had for my <laughs> breakfast. I, um, I haven't had. I've had a bagel and banana. I don't, I, am I being totally Any strawberries? Today? Any strawberries? No, but you said the strawberries now. So. You're on good form today, John. I have to say. You Am are. I? Yes. Paul not doesn't that you're think not I always, am. you always are, but yeah. Paul thinks I'm being as miserable as sin, he said. Yeah, but that's he's in a bad mood. I think, yeah. <laughs> he's in a, such a bad mood today. What would you have used then? Exactly. Yes, now. Ro Roadshow. I'm thinking that might be a Road good idea. Show. That would be a lot of fun. What was the, what was the, um, when we very, very, very first started here, mm -hmm. we went to uh, a show at Olympia. No, not Olympia, I'm in the wrong town. At the NEC a in NEC. Birmingham. Yeah. And you wore your blue pleated skirt and your bumpers. That you've made up because I haven't got one. Yes. You had a pleated skirt on. Yeah, black, maybe. Or was it black? Look, navy yeah, blue. 
What was that? Was that stitches or stitches. was that? Stitches. That was stitches. We went to stitches. Well, no, no, no. Because it was literally the week after we opened here, wasn't it? Wasn't it? It was very early. Was it like Maybe. February? Maybe. No, no. The day we opened, I went to London, didn't I, to do the, the press conference? But it was in the so, and we, it was the night of the awards and everything like that. And, and um, yes. And I didn't really know anybody or anything, really. And it's amazing. We had a wander, didn't we? We had a wander. Yeah. And you introduced me to lots of people, I think. But I yeah. just think, when we go this year, you know, I'm, I'm going to know people. I'm going to know what quilting's all yes. about, what the fabric's all about. Because yeah. Hayley and I went to one one. Um, what, it was the one art, because there were two very close together, weren't there? There were Stitches and then there was Sewing for Pleasure, was it called? So I think Stitches is the industry one. Oh, that's right. Stitches was, yeah. the, was just Stitches the, industry. Is the industry. And then, um, was that the one we went to then, you and I? And then we went to one called Love to Sew or something like that, also at the NEC. Oh, no, you didn't come to Stitches, Hayley, because you were at the... Um, that one with all the music coming out. Forever Living. She was doing a Forever Living conference and they all came out waving their bags like they'd oh, all yes, been... yes, they did. They'd all been motivated like this. They all came out as we all were leaving, all quietly going, oh, that was a lovely day. All these Forever Living people were like, yeah, yeah, come on, we can do it, we can do it. We didn't see Hayley. Hayley was in the coffee shop. Remember, they all come towards they you with, with their branded bags. They remember? were, other, yeah. other aloe vera juices yeah. are or available. available. <laughs> but not as good, says Hayley. Do you still do that then? You haven't rammed it down our throat for months. So Where we this used is to a work, lovely... she was constantly. I just want to show this oh, is yes, a sorry. really lovely um, one for beginners as well. Right. I mean, it's lovely. It's just lovely, but it's a really nice one for beginners because as you're, um, so you know, you're starting from this edge. It's just a straight edge, yeah. and as you're saying, and you know that your seam is correct. That's just overlapping by, but it just does it naturally. You're not having to position because you're starting with that straight yes. edge. So while it looks, you know, it ends up looking quite complicated. Yeah, it looks cool. I'm doing nothing but straight stitches and there's nothing to match up, or, you know. Um, and it's quite dramatic as well, this one, isn't yes. it? I love these fabrics together. Now, you're going to make maybe think I'm completely mad. Mm. But you see how I had, a, a few years ago, I had the, the pleasure of going to stay with Jackie Collins and film in Jackie Collins. I was doing Christmas at Jackie, with Jackie Collins and shopping, Christmas shopping. And then I stayed at her house and everything like that. I wore a shirt, right? I wore a shirt that was patchwork, but it was this way out. Do, do, you know what I mean? So we're doing it. We're yes. saying it's so yes. all the raw edges are on the inside. Yes. Could you sew wrong sides together so you still see your gorgeous fabric, mm -hmm. but you have these seams on the side towards yes. the... Not towards the viewer, but you like... Could. Yeah, you could. I mean, you're going to have raw. No, no, but I want, I want raw. Yes, I want you can. raw. Maybe, maybe, yeah. maybe for more for hanging than the one on my bed or anything. But I just thought no, looking really... at that then reminded me of that, yeah. that shirt cost me fortune. It was an Italian designer, and it cost me so, so much money. Well, you do have. I mean, you can do um, rag quilts. Is that what that is then? Where you have the seams. Yes, coming uh, up so, way, so this so. way, but you'd have the proper side of the fabric showing here, so you'd have to sew them together that way, wrong sides together, so your seam was there, but this was the right side of the fabric. Oh, I've just messed up, sorry. Yes, but you would do it with, um, you would do it with patchwork so that, like, you can do it with squares, so it's all sort of coming, you know, because this is going to stay down, isn't it? Yes. But if you do it with squares, if anyone's done a rag quilt show you a picture and then you'll know what I'm Oh, yes. About. If you, if you, I, I, I just suddenly thought then, because some fabrics look lovely with the raw edges and to mm. see the stitches. Yes. Because this is lovely. We never see... I mean, that looks gorgeous, but we never yeah. see your stitches, yeah. do we? No. Now, um, this bundle, this bundle, this bundle, I'm not surprised, is very... The thing is about this one is you could use it... John, while you're stitching that, and okay. I'm going to go for do the bundles, right? Um, you could use it all year round, couldn't you? There's nothing to say. This has just got to be about Christmas, really, is it? This Scandi print here um, is it's called Lace on Red, White Lace on Red, I think this one's called. Um, and you've got your mandalas in there, you've got your hearts in there. Actually, apart from the odd snowflake... There's nothing to say that has to be Christmas, that one. I mean, yes, they're, they're snowflakes, but there could be some flowers in the summer. But do you know what I mean? That quilt could be used... You get five metres of fabric there for £44.49. Uh, there it is. It's a what? Oh, you mean... Hurga! Hurga! Do you know what that is? 
That's that Scandinavian feeling of feeling. Herga can be different things. I don't think you say it like that. How do you though, say it then? Well, no, but if you say it aggressively, it's, it's, like the, it's the opposite of what it is, isn't no, it? No, but it's anything. A pair of slippers can be herga. <laughs> Spending time with your lovely husband can be herga. Isn't that what it's called? But anyway, this one here, <laughs> this one here definitely has to be a Christmas quilt, this one. No, I tell you who I was thinking. I was channeling those boys that do the dance at the beginning of the rugby. You know, from, are they New Zealand? Anyway, look, 53 pounds, sorry, wrong camera. Who do you think I am? 53 pounds, <laughs> 99 pence. Is that what she's called? Oh, yes, the dance. You've gone, you've gone back to the dance. I thought you were talking about the impression. Uh, so you get the holly, you get the gnomes, you get the holly, you get the sugar cane, and the plain green there. 53 pounds and 99 pence. Someone just told me all blacks. That's the team. Who told you that? Oh, the All Blacks, is it? Are they Australian or New Zealander? Yeah, I think it's New, New Zealand. New yeah. Zealand, yeah, I thought it was. I can't say anything. I'm just checking everything. Did you see the actions? Stop pretending you You should know. be doing that. Well, I do know, of course I've seen that. Do you know what? I've got a very funny story about very rugby. Famous. Very quickly. I won't, I won't take up any time. Because uh, I trained to be a teacher, didn't I? Um, before I did everything else. Oh, right. So I've got my first degree, is it? Uh, be Ed, honours. Loved you as a teacher. Oh no, I, 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 the kids did adore me. But I went on one teaching practice, and the first teaching practice, I was going to teach English, right, and drama, mm -hmm. as a secondary. Mm -hmm. uh, the first teaching practice, you do, you have to do everything, right? So they, the teachers just used you, didn't they? So I was at a, a shop in, um, not a shop, a school in West Yorkshire. I'm not going to say where it was. And the teacher, just Bernie, was called the PE teacher. Went, oh, you just teach the rugby, and he went inside and had a cup of tea. So they're all playing rugby. And there's this one boy. Here. And I was like, come on, come on. And he was in the PE kit. I made him go, went into his PE kit, made him play rugby. Teacher came out an hour later and went, what are you doing? Why's that boy on the field there? And I said, um, why? He wasn't joining in. He's got... And he had that um, illness where if you cut yourself and you bleed, you can't stop. Oh, no. So I'm making this boy play rugby, <gasps> right? And nobody That's told awful. me. And he didn't say, I, oh. Those were anyway. the days, hey? Throw you in. <laughs> Get your PE kit on. No, he's lovely. He still stays in touch. He's like, oh. The trouble is, um, the, the teaching practice was in 19... Traumatised. No, he's not traumatised. <laughs> he would have been at the time, I imagine. Would have been. Anyway. Um, he might have been glad. He thought, oh, finally. Yes. Been sitting somebody's here, let me wanting be normal to play. Somebody's oh, let me play. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> They're all taking the mickey out of me now. No, no, he stays in touch. Still get Christmas cards for him and his wife and everything. Oh, well, he's absolutely fine. There we go. He's fine. <laughs> he might not have been Despite that Despite everything, he's fine. It was a bit cold that day. <laughs> okay. There we go. So... OK, there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. OK. I'll say this before I start doing it. Let's concentrate. You've you got half... half yeah. Finish. You can trim these off. Well, I'm going to do the other pattern okay. after this one. So you can um, trim these off now. You don't need to bother with the outside ones. They're on the outside. But yes. as you're adding your rows together, you can trim these off. Or you can lay it out like this. And this is where I use the dog ears to help me. So as I'm... Um, <laughs> Because I've pressed it the same way, so I'm not um, nestling my seams like I normally would. They're just going to be on top of each other, which yeah. is fine. But I'm looking to make sure that these points are the same, so they should be covering each other. Yeah. And that means that those seams are going to nicely align. So I can fold it back just to check. And then, ha you know, because you want it meeting down here. Yes. Pin. And then pin. Oh, somebody sorted the pin cushions out, look. I you've know, got, doesn't that look lovely? You've got the dressmaking one, mind you. <laughs> but these pins, you can... These oh, you can use them in this yes. kind of thing. Yeah, they're fine. But I do like having nice, fine pins. Right. Uh, do I say that as... Ki Kaylee? Keely? How would you say that name, I'm then? I'm not sure, I'm sorry. Kaylee? 
Anyway, John, uh, miss seeing Hayley earlier. Can we see the whole crew so we know who you're talking to? Regards Ian and Kaylee. I hope your name is Kaylee. Right, well, sure this is Little everybody. Paul, everybody. Wave Little Paul to everybody. He's waving. <laughs> right, so, <he's... laughs> so that's Little Paul. What do you like? Well, I will show you Hayley again, Min. That, but the thing is, though, um, you can't see uh, Ginger Mike because he's directing, he's pressing buttons. You can't see Tom because he's actually working the camera. Uh, but at Christmas, on Christmas Day... No, actually, have they not started filming the Christmas Day um, messages? We're going to have messages from all the crew on Christmas oh, Day. Oh, there you go, that's nice. Well, apart from little Paul, because he's too miserable. No, I think I might have pulled this one by mistake. But then what do I do? You can use scissors or, or your rotary cutter. So now I'll trim them off. Yeah. OK, so you use scissors or oh, your rotary okay. cutter. I think yeah. I've just pulled that one. I'm not sure what I did there. Just trim it off yeah. and it'll be fine. So, because you don't want those... You want to reduce the bulk, but it's easier to, you know, pin it and ha make sure it's all aligned, and then you can go ahead and sew. Uh, Jay won't need to film one because he's here with us on Christmas Day, and I'm choosing his outfit as we speak. <laughs> Good luck, Jay. <laughs> and my Ginger Mike will be here Christmas Day, so he'll be able to do, he'll be able to do his live. I, I, little Paul, I sincerely hope you won't be. It's 20 to 11, right? And Little pa Paul's just said, I'll be drunk on Christmas Day by this time. <laughs> He did happen to say that about three hours ago as well. <laughs> um, I didn't get the next message, little boy. No, I've still got Kaylee's up. I found that bead that, that um, Joy threw a bead at me earlier, oh, and there you? it is. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, no, no messages. Uh, morning, John and Lucy. Enjoying the show. I love to see you two together. Yeah, great. Yeah. Who's that from? Oh, we lane. Is that lane? Do you from lane? All right. I voted for Lucy at, at the British Craft Awards, and also put in a good Thank word for you, John. Um, are we going to find Thank out you. more about these? Is that, if you Google British Craft Awards, you can you can you can um, you can go on the web, look up uh, British Craft Don't Awards. Don't do it like that. <laughs> yeah, but you know that's me typing. <laughs> um, and you can uh, vote for sewing, favourites in sewing. Not just, it's not just us. It's like in the whole sewing and quilting world. What, nom what are you nominated for? So, um, blog. Quilting uh, blog, um, which is Charm About You. Just say oh, that. Oh, clang. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be tender. It's not my name. It says... No, no, it's you advertising. But everyone knows you're called Lucy Brennan. Right. But it's free. It's oh, not. I see. We, no, it, it's yeah, but it's free advertising right, for you to get more followers. No, I didn't say follow me. Just, I'm just telling you the name. Yeah. Oh, shut up. And, um, if you want to, on a Saturday night, she does a sew along on Charm About You on her Instagram. Yes. Uh, anyway, 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 so you, what are you nominated for? Blog? The, is it Charm Blog About You? Blog and designer. Blog? Oh, yeah. and designer? Yeah. Oh. Vote for Mandy, it's fine. Is Mandy in the same <laughs> one as you, then? The oh. um, no, anyway, I'm there's happy, a box, you know, apparently. Uh, Sewing Quarter's nominated in a couple of the character, char categories, yeah. and there's a box, and you have to write why you love Sewing Quarter yes. so much. Little Paul would like to mention. <laughs> anyway. Everybody would. So that's it. So I've just sewn um, the roses together, yeah. and so you just repeat that and carry on. So by matching your doggies, you can see how beautiful those points are but very very simple to do yeah. it's not but it looks much more complicated I but think but you know what as well I'm seeing now you could turn it into a rocket if you're doing like a galaxy for your little boy right that could yes. be the rocket in the centre of uh... not that little anymore well well he is yeah how old is he 31 um... <laughs> 9 he's 39 same age as me 9 oh but anyway, so see, I'm seeing, I'm seeing, before you cut that off, I'm seeing a rocket, a space rocket. Because yeah. look, there's the legs there already. Well, that's a lot. I wouldn't cut, I would add the other one, so you'd just be cutting it yes. there. Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't you really? Yeah. So I'm not going to cut that one. But you're, did you say you were going to do something else? Yes, I'm going to do something else. I'm just going to show you trimming it, just so oh, okay. people Sorry. can see. I'm just looking at the time. And then I didn't even trim, you know, so I didn't actually trim any of it until I'd quilted it all. Oh, okay. And then, and then trim it off. Like, yes. so to square it up. Yeah. So you don't need to worry about trimming it back till after you've closed it. I'm seeing a Parisian... And that's um, how you'll have the end. Parisian village now. Seeing all sorts of You do a little of things, version of that. You? I've seen lots today. Mind you, yesterday it was all food, wasn't it? Was that yesterday or today? Was I can't remember. Food? They all merge into one, don't they? Right, so I'm putting this right, to one let's side. Let's do this one. Yes. Please. So that's how I did the quilt. Yes. And this what is you doing just now, a then? different um, design. 
So this is the one, another one that um, Carolyn's had in the, in, which was in the book, which is gone, but you know, we can do it anyway, just to show you the shapes. And um, Sheila, Sheila, my love, there are three, it's three joined together and then from a very famous place where you can buy meatballs, Scandinavian, normally flat packy sort of shop. She's talking about the table. She loves the table. Thank you, Sheila. There we are. Got very quiet. So this is like an arrow. Oh, yes. I think hers is a bit different, but hers I'm is going, the same as that. I'm going, no, it is. It is. It's just the other way around. So an arrow. Oh, you've cut it, it out. I cut it out and stuck it in my book. Can you see? No, the two that's blocks. different. No, it isn't. Oh. No, look, that she's got. Um, it's just going the opposite way, John. That one there. Honestly. So red. Red. It's just going the opposite way. Oh, John. Then she's got like a that. different one there. Uh, there's a fabric missing, isn't there? That's why. Um, sorry, what's that? Oh, the ruler, the ruler, the ruler. Oh, you yeah, put it back. Now, yesterday, somebody emailed in, didn't they, saying to you, which ruler would you start with? And it was yes. this one. We couldn't get the graphics for it yesterday. Yes, We've got no, them today. Oh, you can't see it there. Hang on, let me put it down there for you. £23.95. This is the uh, six and a half by 24 and a half inch. It's got the resin um, spots on it there and, and down the side to make it non-slip. You've got all the quarter inch measurements there. Everything's in black and in white on the rulers, depending on what colour uh, fabric you use, you can see it. And it's got the angles on there. And it's also got... No, that's it. And it comes with, an, uh, with uh, a little pamphlet saying how to use it. £23.95. <laughs> and then the other one, little Paul wants you to see very quickly which is called, they, this one here is called the Lone Star. This is what you'd get it for. And again, there's, there's, the, the, there's the difficulties there. And then all the instructions. Lovely, isn't it? So I have, made, I have used this one before to actually make the, the Lone Star. So you can look that up on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, look, um, at the, look at the Lone Star here. It looks, yeah. Sorry, it looks like a poinsettia. If you use some of the Christmas fabrics, you could make, oh, that one, the, the Scandinavian one. But I just think, so it that have would to look be lovely. The... That's like a Lone Star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is like a yeah. baby Lone Star. Or I was thinking the Christmas. If you're going to make a Christmas block, mm. that'd be nice. That one. Anyway, hoogie. Okay, so if I'm making this design, this pattern. Yeah. Thank you. Um, this one is just. A, it looks more straightforward, but actually, this is a little bit more complicated oh, okay. to sew okay. together. Right. Okay. Oh, sorry. I don't. You know, just take those away. <laughs> Done it on purpose. Right. So when you're sewing these, you need to overlap. Right. So that that's when you on the fold bias. it They're back, both on the bias, something, right? you want it to be... Do you see what I mean? So it's like when you make bias so tape, it isn't level. it? You never match up the tops, because when you then fold it across, it, there's a step down to the yes. next thing. So you want to do that, to make it a straight line, you have you a have dog here at each end. Yes. Okay. So it feels a bit wrong, but it's right. Go on, then. Yeah. And which way round would you say it, or would it, does it matter which it way It doesn't round? really matter. No, it doesn't matter. But you've got to be careful not to pull it, haven't you? Because they're yes. both on the um, bias. exactly. And you can check that by seeing where your, um, you know, where your seam started. If you've got a quarter inch setting, yeah, you can check that that is a quarter of an inch because that's where your seam line's going to start. Ooh, no, no blimey! No. So now, oh, no, no, it's good that this happened. I'm yes. not trying to embarrass you. When that happens, when your yeah. machine eats, because it happens a lot when you start off on a little seam like that, yeah. doesn't it? What's the best thing to do? Or what normally causes it? Um, it's normally, it's just caused by it getting going underneath the foot. So you can, with this machine, you've got a straight stitch plate. That makes it easier because the teeth aren't going to eat it up. Right. I tend to pull it out and just go again. If it's really all tangled up, you need to unpick. Yes. Um, so that it doesn't happen again. Yeah. Because you on that one, something I think was something wrong with your bobbin on that one, because it looks like sure. it's all scrunched yeah, on the it. bottom. I don't know yeah. what it's called. There we go. Or, if your fabric's very fine, I find if you start a little bit away from the corner, 
and then go backwards up to it and then yeah. down, and then it doesn't doesn't happen so often. Don't know. <laughs> so there we go. It did get a bit eaten. It's not quite dead on. Oh. But you've got it dead on. Because if you'd match the corners, you wouldn't then get that straight line. You've got to have your dog ears yeah, so sticking out Yeah, so just do it just to show you what we mean. Yeah, do it wrong, do it wrong. Do it this wrong. is how not to do it, right? I do it wrong, because you might look at that. Hang on. I think we're coming to you. So, yeah, so that's so you're thinking... Okay, so you're going to sew those together so you think, okay, corner to corner. Yeah. Like that, because that's yeah. the same, you know, line, so... Yeah literally starting and just sewing along that line don't this is how not to do it this yeah. is how not to do it remember my, my brain's going no no yes. <laughs> and you can kind you can kind of see that you're going wrong as you're doing it because yes already you've ended up with with an overlap Look. So that's what not to do. Not what not to do, because that it's the same as when you make bias binding tape. If you join them together, they're off kilter. So that goes in the bin yeah. so we don't want people to see that. Somebody will come in tomorrow and go, so then, Oh, was Lucy on this today? So I'm gonna do it correctly. So I've yeah. um overlapped the fabric so I've got um the dog is yeah. a quarter of an inch. I know what helps not having my thread. You know when you cut when you cut the thread off automatically, it stays down in the bobbin oh, case. Oh, does it? So then, if you're starting, sometimes that—that's probably what happened. We'll catch up. It'll so slip when you back see me the with the pair of scissors, I lift the foot up and I go like that. Yeah. I'm just catching that thread so that thread but is loose. But I do loose. that. I haven't got a posh machine like this yet. But I do that automatically. I sure run something off. underneath it. To put, I normally push it to the back, not to the side. Um, Joyce, oh, Joyce. Had to walk the dog, so I missed the book. Has the template shape got a name? Is this braid? Braid, yeah. I mean, that's what it's called in the book. I don't know mathematically what the name of the shape is. I'll show you is. the shape. I'll show you the shape. Give that a press. Uh, Joyce, my love. That's the shape there. Oh, come up to the template. Up to the template. There we go. There's, the sh there's your template there, look. Chrissy, hello, I love the show. What size is the quilt and the rectangles, please, love Chrissy. The rectangles were six and a half by three and a half. Right. The quilt, I'm not sure. Something. And the finished quilt? I'm not sure. Is it a square or is it... Um, um, no, I'll it's not check. square. It's a 38 inches drop. And 35 inches across. There we go. I've got see. thread on me. Okay, so then I can just do the same thing as I did with the um, first one. First one, and line those up to pin. Yeah. Okay, so lining up my dog ears. I do find that's it's helpful. I don't. Or, I, I rarely will cut them off until I know whether I need them or not. Yes. And then I can decide. So I'm going to pin that and I'm going to pin the bottom. And then I'm going to cut that off. Are oh, you cutting it off before you sew it then? Yes, cut it off before I sew it. Otherwise, if I'm using my quarter inch foot, oh, it, can, it can just get gets snack, caught yeah. up. Yeah. We got one minute left, Lucy. Oh, no, I know. No. I came to the shop to me. They just said we got one minute left with Lucy. Are you sure? Someone hasn't put our clocks forward properly, then, or back, whichever way they went last night. <laughs> I know I set my watch wrong. Oh. It's a good job the phone changes. I set it forward. I don't know what I was thinking about. And I spoke to my husband, and he said, "Oh yeah, set it for." Um, Dr. About Hillary nine Jones said, "Set it for 10. Yeah, Dr. Hillary Jones um, did the same thing on the radio. He said, "Oh, you lose an hour's sleep." And Steve Wright was like, "Going, no, no you gain an hour." Well, that um, went wrong. Oh no! 
I just remember, I remember the American, it's spring forward, forward fall, fall back. back. Yes, exactly. So that helped me. But I'd set the alarm on my phone anyway, so it was fine. So I wasn't late. I didn't stop for coffee. We're finished. There we are. There you go. So I would have done the other bit, but I did it wrong, didn't I? I mean, not intentionally. Oh, yes, yes, yeah, she's a bit. So I can't do the other bit. It would be like that. You would just keep. Very keep quickly going before like we that. go, somebody just wants to see this rule again. Lucy's recommendation from yesterday was uh, somebody messaged in saying, I'm just about to start quilting. What ruler should I buy to start with? Lucy said this one. We couldn't get the graphics for you yesterday, but we got it today. £23.95. Invaluable. Now, remember, I've seven years I've had mine. Have you? Yeah. Yes, but do you know what? Mine doesn't have. Mine was the original Creative Grids ones. It does, it's not black and white. Mine's all white. Oh, so if so you use white fabric, it's a I bit... I quite fancy having one. No, it's for the half measurements. It's so you can no, easily no, distinguish yeah, the yeah, half yes, measurements. Yes and no, but if you yeah. have white fabric and all they're all well, in white, true, you're not yeah. going to sit on. Yeah. Thanks, Lucy. When are you back? Sometime soon. <laughs> in November? You're back in November? November, yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, but when then November's only Wednesday, Tuesday. Yeah. Happy Halloween, Wednesday. everybody, didn't say Oh, that. she said happy Halloween, everybody. Thanks for wearing if Halloween If you celebrate costume. it, if you celebrate it. If you it. celebrate it. Right. This bundle is gorgeous. This is the Scandi bundle, Sandy Nordic. Yeah, five. Now, the thing is, even if you're not making the, the quilt that Lucy showed, even though it's gorgeous and there's fabrics, if you're not using it, a metre of each of those fabrics, very, very handy. You've got the white lace on red. You've got that lovely lone star. <laughs> <laughs> Lone Star in the grey. We've got the bright red and we've got the ecru. A metre of each of those for £44. <laughs> that wasn't Lucy, by the way. That was the person who nearly knocked the wall over earlier. So that's gorgeous, £44.49. and pence. Then we've got the Christmas bundle. Metre of each, you get a metre of the red holly. You get a metre of the gnomes. They look like ice cream cones to you, but they're actually gnomes with little hats on. You get a metre of the uh, white uh, background holly. You get a metre of the red uh, candy sticks and love hearts and lollipops. And then a metre of the gorgeous green, that lovely, lovely green, which just picks out all those lighter greens in there. Uh, £53.99. pence. Right, after break, Joy is back. I need to put my hello, because we're doing Halloween theme again after the break. Um, she's got these gorgeous, she's done three quilts, which well, she hasn't made three, she only made two of them. But, um, you know, it's the, not emergency services, the highways agency said, you know, you have to have, in this time, you have to have salt and um, a shovel and a, a de-icer and a, something warm in your car, right? Perfect quilt. So, uh, Joy has designed one for the men, one for the ladies, one for the children. They're gorgeous. We're going to show you the three different bundles, and Joy is... It's a very simple... Quilt. And we're doing a different kind of quilting. We're doing a different kind of quilting that I haven't seen before. Um, so, we'll be showing you how to do the tie quilting when we come back. Uh, but don't go anywhere. Get yourself a quick cup of tea, because Joy and I will be back with you in three minutes from now. Follow us on Pinterest, search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing, work, we create and love. Hello, my name is Paul Clark and these are my three top tools. Okay, my first top tool is scissors. You can never have too many good pairs of scissors. You want as good quality as you can get, nice and sharp, because if you're buying quality fabric, you don't want to be messing up your fabric by scissors that are just going to chew it to pieces. So invest in a good pair, make sure they're sharp. Don't bother with getting them resharpened, just buy more. My second top tool is a good quality iron. Especially with dressmaking, you are going to be pressing every seam that you make. So it's always good to have a good iron nearby. These are really handy because uh, these you can have them on your worktop and uh, they don't take up too much room. My third top tool is storage. Um, this can come in many sizes. This sort of storage is ideal for loads of little buttons because I tend to buy my buttons in bulk and then sort them all out into little boxes like this.
The Sewing Quarter website is simple and easy to use. You can view a live broadcast of the show on our homepage. Get instant access to our online shop, which has a wide range of wonderful products for you to choose from. You can also enjoy a selection of projects and guides which we have on offer to help you enhance your skills and gain valuable tips. Watch the live shows and you can buy the product which is currently being shown on air. You can even message the studio to ask our presenters or team any questions you might have. Below, you'll find all the products from today's show for you to look at and purchase. On the right of the screen, next to today's products, you will find our simple programme guide listing all upcoming shows. So, join us today at sewingquarter.com. If you're looking for a seasonal project you can complete before Christmas, look no further. On Thursday the 2nd of November, Jess Entwistle will show us how to make a delightful dove garland. Available in three colour options, our handy kit contains everything you need to deck your halls the handmade way this holiday season. With a helping hand from host Natasha, Jess will show us how to achieve an impressive finished look while using simple techniques. So, join us on Thursday the 2nd of November at 8am for this fabulously festive demonstration only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. <laughs> I'm just laughing at our temporary floor. Oh, we had a message from Kaylee earlier saying she was out and she missed you. I threw, so could you come in and wave again, please? And uh, also, they want to meet all of the, the crew. And I said, we're all doing Christmas messages, aren't we? Little Paul's refused to do one. This is Hayley, who's actually our... What's your, what's your proper... She's I'm our boss. She's my boss. I'm production manager. She's the production manager, right? So she's really... I, she's who I, I, am, I have to report to and I'm always very respectful of. Get off now. She's just filling in today because Amy went to a party last night, so I knew she wouldn't be able to get up in time. But also, she's rehearsing Hobson's Choice today. I don't know why, I think Jay might have gone somewhere because he put on Facebook that the train was packed and he didn't like the fact that, so I don't know where he was going. Has he gone up north? And Natasha's on a train as well. She's gone to London. She put that on her Facebook page when she was up at five o'clock this morning as well. So they're all left us, me and Joy and Hayley here and little Paul. Right, have a look at these. Look, oh, no, Mike and Tom, I was getting to that, don't worry. Oh, honestly, little Paul, what's wrong with him today? Do you know what? I, I think he's hitting an early menopause. That's what I think it is. Uh, let's look at the quilts first. Well, uh, the, this one first, then. Look, that is the quilt that Joy's making for the ladies. Uh, the thing is, right, I love them. Well, I was going to say I love them both, so it doesn't really matter which one. But that's the, 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 the combination that Joy has chosen for the ladies. Now, would you like to see the combination? Oh, there's the close-up of it. All right, now have a look at the men's one. Look, isn't that nice? That's very bold and beautiful, isn't it? Very... Now, um, I have to say, that's very Habitat 19... What year did I move into that house in? Uh, 87. I was only a child, obviously. Um, only because Habitat went... Through, and other shops did it as well. They did all that furniture because it was, like, the time of the bachelor pad, wasn't it? They did the black oak furniture with the red cushions and the white... Do you remember? No, I don't either. Right, OK, so the first one you saw was this one. This was the ladies' one, but they're such beautiful fabrics, beautiful, beautiful fabrics, that you could um, create all sorts of this. So you've got the retweet fabric there in the blue. You've got the lovely pink uh, uh, oak leaves they look like. Then I love this one, the little square. Then you've got the case uh, squiggle. Then you've got the bright yellow. Then you've got the linear. They're all half a metre. And then this one here is a metre and a... Hang on, one, two, three. Yeah, that's a metre and a half, isn't it, there? Metre and a half the purple. Yeah. And you get the instructions as well. £53.49. and pence. Right, next is the uh, more... Well, I was calling it a more masculine version. It doesn't have to be masculine, but... Uh, you get really lovely, because you get the, uh, the Scandi hearts in the check there. You get the uh, spot on, you get the linear, you get another spot on, you get the spectrum solid bright red, you get that really lovely, I think that's called ebony, that one, and then you get meter and a half of the black for your backing and, yeah, just for your backing, and the red one there is for your uh, binding. £47.49. 
And there's the kit. And you get the instructions as well. Get the instructions as well. Now, I love this one. I haven't seen some of this fabric before. Look, I'll show you the prep. Look, at this is so lovely. So you get half a metre of the um, diggers. You get half a metre of the helicopters and little aeroplanes. You get half a metre of the trains and trams. Is there a... What's that green one? Your trains and trams. Then you get half a metre of them. Oh, I've got a shirt. I've got a shirt that matches that perfectly. Uh, half a metre of that. Then you get half a metre of the linear, half a metre of the bright green, and then one and a half metres of that vibrant, vibrant blue. There's the still. And you get the instructions as well. Right. Hello again. Do you have a nice break? I did. I did. Good. I was listening to you and Lucy as well for part of it. Oh, for part, for for part, part of, of it. it yeah. When I wasn't eating my porridge. Oh, oh that's a por oh, yeah. porridge. Oh, porridge. I wonder how you survived on because she arrives with this little piece of toast like that in a, in a little <laughs> Tupperware dish. I think, how does she manage your morning on no, that? No, I don't. I don't. Um, is it difficult to make? No. But there's, there's seams there that look a little bit tricky. Yes. Yeah. We've got setting seams. Setting seams. Yes. I couldn't remember the so name. So we're going to do setting seams. So, but it's nice and easy. We only need to use straight lines. To achieve okay. the same scenes. What I need to point out as well is, yeah. uh, as you can see on the on the um, quilt itself, yeah. you've got two different size blocks, have, yes. uh, two different size squares yes. using, yeah. and all the information of how to make them. So that on the front side here is all the cutting instructions, and then on the other side are how you actually, which um, Joy will take us through now, the instructions of how you actually put the block together. But there's the two different sizes, as you can yeah. see there. OK, over to you then, Joy. OK, doesn't matter which size you're doing, the process is exactly the same. Right. OK, so that's, yeah. that's the good news. Yeah. But before we get started, I've got a bit of an issue here. I don't know. Oh, there's a gem. There we go. Oh, that was one you threw at me earlier. I found Probably. that one, yes. Well done. Um, You've I've, got an issue? I've got an issue with the rotary cutter I've been given. Look at this one. There's the one I was using earlier. Yes. And here's the one I've just been given. Oh. Spot the difference. Well, that's got a thingy on it, and that's it, got a thingy Yeah, on it's it. been put together wrongly. <gasps> who was that? I don't know. Nobody's oh. going to admit to I'll it, I'll find out. I know who it was. Yeah. So I thought what I'd do is I'll just quickly show people how to oh, yes, set yes, it up yeah, properly. Yeah, okay. And uh, the same principle if you're changing a blade. Yes. So um, I always put the lock on first, so nothing's going to move. Finger on the back, and then if I can get this undone, oh. which somebody strong has done that, there oh, you, you don't go. Think yep. um, which is why you don't do it this way because it locks in too solid. Yes, yes. Okay, so take it all apart. Now you've got to be really, really careful because the blades, even when they're blunted, they're sharp, aren't they're, they? They're yeah. worse when they're yeah. blunted. Oh, are they? Okay. So um, I need to take that blade off. I'm just going to drop it onto okay. onto there. Okay. So it's always a good idea if you've got a mobile phone or something or take a picture, take a photograph so that you know because once you've thrown that packaging away, exactly. it's gone. Yeah. So that you always know um, how to do it. So. You can see from this one that we need to have the blade on here and then yes. this is going to go through the blade. So what I do, have it can on. I, can I just ask yeah. a question? Is this the one that you can change into a left-handed one as yeah. well? You yeah. can have the blade on the other side yeah. if, you if you want to. If you want it left-handed, then you obviously just do it. Do it the other way the, around. The mirror yeah. image. But the principle's the same. The principle's exactly okay. the same, OK? So I always have the blade on a piece of fabric or something like this. Yes. Because then what I can do is I can pop that in and flap it over using the fabric. Oh, you haven't, you haven't touched I'm the not to touch it anywhere Did at you see all. that? Did we see that? Sorry, I was too busy. Yeah, go for right. Yeah. Then I'm going to place that on and again... Use the fabric. Use the fabric to turn it over. I haven't had to get my fingers anywhere near no. that sharp blade. Finger on. And then if you look on the back of here, you'll see that that goes on first. Yes. Then your little lock, washer. locking washer thingy. That's another technique. I'm using lots of technical phrases. And then we can um, get this on. If you don't have it assembled the correct way, not only is it dangerous to use, it won't work properly. Right, and you're, you're going to ruin your fabric. You're going to ruin your fabric or you'll ruin your, your blades. Okay, so okay. that is now back. All right, fantastic. Back Thank to you. normal. I've had me round. 24.95, brilliant Christmas gift. And it's one that, yep. isn't this one that you asked us to get yep. in originally? I'll just show it to you quickly. Yep. Because it's got the safety catch on here, so you're all. But the thing I love about this, I'll just take the safety catch off, mm -hmm. is on a normally normal rotor cutter, when you've got the blade out, it's out, isn't it? Whereas if you were to drop this, as soon as you let go of that lever, 
the, the blade pops back in. Now, it's still not locked. You still have to lock it with the red button. But if you drop it, if you were to drop a, a, another rotary cutter on you and you, that lands on your foot with the blade out, it could cause damage. Whereas this, if you did drop that, the blade has popped in yeah. to think. It's also got the little... Um, uh, what, I don't know what you call that. Finger, guard, finger grip. Finger, it's a finger grip going yep. on there and yep. everything. I just think it's just a brilliant, brilliant piece. Yep. £24.95. Yep. Right, let's carry okay. on with the show. Right, rant over. No, no, that's fine. <laughs> no, no, it's good that you say these things because yep. somebody at home might have put that together. Oh, Last time it yeah. happened, it was Munch, who's, who's uh, somebody who just helps out now and then. Yeah. So he didn't know. But... So who should we blame today? Well, I'm blaming Rebecca Reed, crazy Rebecca Reed. Ooh. That's what they've just told me in my ear, so... That's dangerous. Right, okay. <laughs> okay, so um, whichever size block you're making. Yes. Are we doing the small? We're going to do the small I'm going to, I'm going to do the big one, but okay. I'm just going to show. If you're doing the, <laughs> doing the small one, you need a square and some rectangles, and exactly the same if you're doing the big oh, okay. one. Okay. Okay, so it's yeah. squares and rectangles, yeah. and the sizes are all on the instructions. Okay, so you're going to do the big one. I'm then. going to do the big one, because right. it'll be uh, easier to see. To see yeah. Now, if I just lay this out first of all, so that we can see how the block needs to come together. Okay, we've right. got these four pieces right. uh, that go around. Now, obviously, when they're joined up together, at some point, nothing, yeah, yeah you, you're going to, because you've got to take the seam allowances off, you're going to end up with um, a seam that needs to stitch um, in, in two ways, yes. like a setting seam, okay? Because they overlap each other like that. Right. Yeah? yeah. So you've got to, you know, at some point you've, you've, got, you've got issues. Yes. So rather than worrying about that, we're going to do it step by step. So if I get my first piece out. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to need to sew this onto here okay that's what this is all about that's here right. isn't it yeah yeah so if i do hang on what's that one there then that's the one underneath oh see that's and underneath that's one on the top i think yeah, we haven't got a little square like that so that's underneath the long ones underneath yep. and that one's on top right yeah okay yeah it would have been good really Sorry. if that one had been shaded i suppose yes exactly. maybe but who wrote these I don't, well i i wrote the instructions but i don't know who <laughs> finalized them <laughs> I just send off the information. Oh dear, Caroline. Dear Premier <laughs> Presenter, another blissful morning. To bleep with housework. Lots of love, naughty Caroline. Don't <laughs> I agree. read it out. I agree, right. all the way. Uh, my, my sentiments exactly. Oh, okay. oh, it's another one quickly. Oh. Uh, Sean. Oh, now, uh, Fern Cotton, who's filling in, been filling in for um, somebody called Sean. And she went, oh, it's Sian, Sian. And I was like, oh, it's Sean. Yeah. Morning, John, tell Hayley she looks like Courtney Cox. Oh. What, about 50? <laughs> Thank you, Sean, I'll tell her. She's not here at the moment, I'll tell her. Right. <laughs> OK, so we need to place that one on. Yeah. Now, obviously, if we sew all the way along here... Yes. ..then when we open it up, at some point, we've got to do that, that yes. funny scene. OK, so we're not going to do that. Right. What we're going to do is we're going to stitch from the end, but we're going to stop before oh. we get anywhere near that end. Oh, no, I thought you were going to say, go to there and leave the seam allowance. Ah. But no, so you actually stop a little bit behind. No, back. stopping in about a third of the way in. Yeah. OK. Um, and then that's going to give us our first um, seam. Right. OK. So then we'd press that open, and we're going to press it... Do you want to do the pressing? Yeah, yeah, I'll do the pressing okay. for you. Just so tell me which way to do it. You're going to press it towards the dots. The, the, the dots, yeah, towards the rectangle. So do I do that? So to do that, do I start here? Yeah, just yeah. like that. Yeah, you don't need to go all the way down. Just that bit, just to crisp up that yes. seam. Yes, but not the bit that you haven't stitched. No, right, you don't okay. need to press that. Okay. So we've got that first piece. So then the next thing we're going to look for is our next piece. Now, our next piece, as you can see, is going to have a straight line. Are these all the same size? Yes. Cut? OK, so you haven't got to label one, no, two, three, four. No, no, all okay. exactly the same but size. But now, you, yes, now you've got a straight seam. Now I've got a complete seam, so I can go on and stitch that. Oh, uh, so you only do that half bit on, on the that first, first one. Because you've then got your full straight seam on your second one. Got yeah. it? Yeah, OK. So yeah. if I stitch that out, and then... I've got one stitch, but I'll stitch it anyway. Because I haven't done any stitching today. No, you yeah. haven't. No, no. You don't do any stitching, you get paid less, you know. I'm getting withdrawal symptoms. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you 
You're not getting any stitching to do when you get home. I'm sure I have. I'm sure I have. There's always something, something. to sew. We've definitely had a bit of a Halloween show today, haven't we? With bumps and things yes, that go no, bang in the Hayley. night. That's just Bumps that go bump in the night. It's just <laughs> Hayley drops everything. Um, do you know which one's the most popular? Guess which one's the most popular? Out of the three? Uh, the children's one. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> children's one's most popular. There it is. Yeah. I, I think is I love those fabrics. Even if you're not going to make this quilt in those, I love those four fabrics. They, Really nice, something. Get a half a metre of each of those. Right, okay. okay. So you want me to press so that? So now we can press that one again towards the rectangle. Okay. Nighty home. So I'm just going to put those there because there's one made earlier. Okay. So nice. now we've got two sides on. Yeah. Now we can rotate it round again and we can get our next side on. So again, Nice and straight, yeah. nothing to worry about. Have you cut a small one out as well? Yeah, you want to play. Uh, now, um, what Joy's made is she's made a, a design, this, this quilt, very simple quilt, um, but um, the not Environment Agency, not the Highways, highways Agency. Highways Agency. <laughs> Issue this time of year, um, a kind of just an information sheet, don't they, about what you should keep in your car. Yeah. And it's things like a bottle of water, uh, soup, so oh, boots, <laughs> boots, I'm sure he said soup, a shovel, some salt to melt, melt snow, um, and something to keep warm. Like, there's about seven things on the list. There's, there's there? quite a good. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, uh, anyway, uh, one thing is to keep warm. Now, I put my great big park up, in the bit where they used to put the... You don't get a spare wheel anymore, do you, on cars? So where they used to get the yeah. spare wheel, I put my big, thick parker. But having a quilt like this would be lovely, wouldn't it? Yeah. Because, right, OK, for example, this morning, little Paul said to you, didn't he? Yeah. Well, I live down the road. If I break down, I'll walk. She said, Joy said, what happens if you break down in this village, which is the village next yeah. to Paul's? He went, I'd walk home. And she said, yes, but even if you stop for an hour, if you break down for yeah. an hour, in the cold weather, right? Yeah. There's no, you can't put heating on, you've got to break down. Yeah. You're going to need something like a little quilt. Or even if you drive it along and the heating packs up yeah. and you've got a little one in the back. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It, you need yeah. something, don't you? It's Definitely. not just for yeah. emergencies, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's, it's a really, really good I mean, idea. Quite often on motorways and stuff, people get stuck because if yeah. an incident's happened and you're stuck, it's, yeah. it can be a long oh, yes, time. Oh, yes, because yeah. you, you can be stuck on a motorway for hours and Absolutely. hours and hours. You don't Absolutely. want that engine going the whole yeah. time, do you? No, nope. no. Nope. Anyway. Um, so I'll put that one on, so again, yes. we can press that one. Can I just ask, on the Diddy one, like yeah. this, right? So that's the, that's the picture, isn't yeah. it, with the one underneath there. Yeah. How far, would you just so literally about that far across on Again, the one? about two-thirds of the way along. OK. Yeah, I can I do it. I can do it. Yeah, you press that one then, right, and I'll then. sew this one. Yes, because I'm intrigued as to when we get to that open bit that we've left there, sort of thing. Yeah. OK, OK. okay. <laughs> oh, no, I've done that the wrong way around. Yeah. If you press it into the square, it gets a bit bulky yes. later, at the later stages, so it's always better to go yeah, towards the rectangles. OK? OK. You carry on with yours yeah. now. Oh, I want to show you this because you want to know this. Oh, got them. OK. So we've got to this oh, stage we're now. Oh, yeah. we sorry? Yeah, so we've got to put this one on. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold this one back out of the way. Right. And then we're so going that to, one's still a straight line. And that one's still line. a straight line. OK. So, right. so far, so good. When you did... Oh, excuse me. When you did the first one, did you have your seam... On up, up, upwards or downwards when you remember you, when you did that one right yeah and then you put your straight one on next yeah because that's got a seam pressed to one side and that do, do you have that uppermost or do you have it going down uh, as in did you say that way right or, or that, way. It that way um it doesn't really matter oh, it doesn't, matter, doesn't okay. really matter no it's um not on this this one I, as it happens i'm sewing them with the, the seams down yeah um just making sure that you match all your um, ends, just in case you, you need to ease it over a little bit. Okay, 
So here's this one. And I'll sew this little one as well for you. Oh. You might not have enough rectangles to get around the little one. Right, this is the, this is the, oh, I can see now. Yeah. I thought it was going to be complicated. <laughs> you were hoping it was going yes, to be complicated. Yes, it was. No, so all you've got to do now is bring it back over. Which is why you didn't press that bit as yeah. well, because you didn't and want then, to. And um, then I, I like to go from the end into the middle, but you can go from the middle. Oh, do you? What happens? But if you're, what happens if you miss when you get there? Well, you don't miss because you can see where you're aiming for. Okay. Yeah. See, I know I'd start, I'd like. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter which way you go. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'll let you off. Yeah. I just like I just now, like to go this way. That's your block done then, isn't it? Yeah. So that's that's the basic block, and as I say, it works whatever size um, squares and strips. Yeah, whatever use. size you want to make. Has it got a name? I'm sure it probably has, but I don't know. <laughs> it's it's one of those blocks that's been around for forever. Check out your baskets. Especially if you want them children's ones. Especially on the children's <laughs> one. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> Doing my job for me now. <laughs> I've just guessed. There's the children's one there. Yeah. I love the fabrics in there. Now, what I've, um, what I've chosen is I chose a red, a yellow and a lime green. Yes. To go into the middle. Because if, if you imagine you're stuck out in the... The highlands of Scotland in a six foot snowdrift with yeah. no, no electricity and stuff, and people are trying to find you. Yeah. If you've got something uh, really bright. Yes, yeah. I hadn't even thought about that. Mm. So oh, I thought I'd yeah. go for like. So we've got the, the red on this one, we've got the yellow on the hers version, and the, 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 the lime green on the children's uh, one. Just, you know, just to give it a yeah. bit more chance of yeah, exactly. um, sticking out. Because in the winter, we all wear dark clothes yes, and yes. dark coats and stuff. And if you're in a dark car and there's no street lights or anything like that, it could be a bit tricky for people to find you. You so, haven't cut enough of the I know, strips. I said I wouldn't have it. Oh, I'll we'll cut one out of the other colour. All right, then. Right, what's next, then? What's next? Yeah. So you've got to make... Um, the appropriate number of Blocks. big ones and little ones, okay? Yeah. And then we're going to join together. So when you make the small ones, I've joined four small ones together. Yeah. To make a bigger block. So right, so that you end size. up with all your blocks being the same size. Absolutely, they all come out at uh, 12 inch finish size okay. blocks, okay? Yeah. So what I've done, I've made, uh, if you look on the quilts, I've made um, some, I'll sit, swap round. I've made some in this, um, this colorway, some in this colourway, same on the small ones, so I can alternate them round. Okay, yeah. So I've got four different uh, colourways. Put these together. Now, when you put in um, uh, these together, these blocks together, um, you just need to check that you're going the same way around the square on all of them, because if you don't... Right. Yeah? Go on. With this one, there's no seams that need matching. The seam goes across here, oh, and right, the right, seam right. comes across here. Yes, uh, because I've gone in a clockwise direction. But if that Obviously one had gone anti-clockwise, in... yeah, I'd end up with two seams. And you don't want that. No, no, we don't want that. No. So, well, whichever way you go, it doesn't matter whether you go clockwise or anti-clockwise. As long as you keep going the same way, of course, for every block. Yeah, um, get your four together. Um, Lay out the design that you want. Yeah. It might be that you want all four of these in a line down the middle, the big ones, and then all oh, the small yes, ones. Oh, yes, 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 yes. There's, there's plenty to, to sort of play around with. There's but enough... that's up to you just to decide, yeah. isn't it, really? Absolutely. And there's enough in the pack to use whichever colours you want in I was going to say, direction. because I'm going to take it off here. Oh, because... watch out, it'll fall. Oh, no. Take, take the blocks off. It's funny, isn't it? Yeah. It comes off when you don't want it to come off, when you want it to come off. <laughs> it doesn't come off. Um... Because I'll just show you what the... Because we haven't really looked at the, the, the lady one as well. But this is yeah. the, the one that Joy's working on at the moment, which we'll come back to in a second. So each of the block is a 12-inch. That's a 12-inch, that's a 12-inch, that's yes. a 12-inch. So these are 6 inches. Which the little goes ones together, are, yeah, yes, to make a, yeah. com, so your finished block there is your 12-inch yes, block. Yeah. Have you done exactly the same on the other side I of the have. lady? I have. Because what it is, is Joy's not saying, 
do one side for the ladies and one side for the men, just to save a bit of time, because she has to do so much for us. Rather than backing two different quilts, she's just very cleverly used the quilt, the ladies' quilt, on, on, over the, on the back of the gentleman's quilt. So this one, again, you've used the bright yellow, the yep. bright colour as yes. the centre. So they're yep. really going to... If you are stuck in snow, they are going to pop yes. out, aren't they, yep. and everything like yep. that. And exact, it's exactly the same technique. Exactly. But you've just so now you get the same amount of all the fabrics. You get half a meter of all the fabrics, yes. apart from which you're not seeing on this one, the backing, the backing. The backing. So what did you use to? Um, so yeah. you, the binding can come from. I've used, there's four. There's five fabrics. So there's right. four fabrics you use. There are five fabrics in here. Yes. Then you've got a binding, and then you've got a backing. Right. Okay. okay? So the binding I've used is from it's the linear, the, yeah, the, the, the from the linear ladies' there. one. Yeah. Um, oh yes, but on that one, on that one using, I would have used yeah. a different one. So that's the lady one there. We've called it, we've called it travel quilt for her, but it, whichever way round, because they're both gorgeous, aren't they? Okay, so now you've joined your blocks together. Yeah. And created the top yeah. piece. Yeah. Then it's the next thing to lay it onto some wadding. Yeah. Now um, I've used uh, a wool wadding for this one, in. which yeah we've got there. Um, use the wool wadding one because it's really nice and warm, but it's still lightweight. You don't want to think too bulky in the car, yeah, you know, because you've got to, got to keep well, it. Well, yes, if you think you've got three of these in a car, yeah. the size of boots these days are so small, aren't they? They could take up the yeah. whole... Mind you, they're so beautiful. You could have them out in the car the I'd, whole time. Yeah, I'd just you? have them folded out in the yeah. car, yeah. Um, so it's nice and light, but it's very warm because it's got lots of little air pockets. Now, normally with the wool wadding, it advises you to quilt three, up to three inches apart. Right. Um, which is quite close, really, um, to do. So with this one, I wanted it to be really soft and snuggly because if yeah. you're stuck out in somewhere you don't want to be, you want a bit of comfort. Um, I'm just going to ask very quickly, because yeah. this is queen size, this is big, this is 90 by 108 yeah. inches. Yeah. So you're going to get a couple of these out of that one. Oh, at you? least, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Two so it's good for your there. stash, so if you make yeah. this, that's really good. I'm just thinking, as people go, oh, for yeah. six pounds, but it's an investment, because you're going to yeah. make other clothes. Now, what would be the, because this is still washable though, isn't it? Even though it's the wool batting, it's 100% yes, it washable. Yeah, it is washable, not on your 60 degree no, washer, no, no, no. Yeah, wash it sensibly. Yeah. So it's washable, it's lightweight, it's Hang on, hygroscopic, I think is the phrase. We, I don't. Where did you read that? It's, it's on here somewhere. And what does it mean? <laughs> it means that it will absorb up to thirty percent of its um, of its weight in uh, moisture before it feels damp. So again, if you're stuck out, oh, you don't want to get cold well. and damp. And yes, chilly. because sometimes you haven't got any heating on, and it is yeah. if it's pouring down with rain outside. Yeah. You're not in the rain, but it, the, it, the it, air in the yeah. car is damp. Yeah. So just say that again. So it's thirty percent. Thirty percent of its weight. weight, it will absorb that amount of moisture before, before it you feels start wet. feeling wet. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So it's nice and warm and cosy. It'll keep you dry. Yeah. And it's and it's nice and snuggly, particularly for the children, because it's a bit stressful. No, exactly, cold, exactly. Right? So sorry, we we yeah. we uh, I. I digress there. So yeah. you said, it says to you, on there, quilt it three inches three apart. Three inches apart. Right. But, I di but that, to me, you know, three inches apart, it's, it's going to make it a little bit um, stiffer Rich. and a bit more rigid, yes. which we don't want. So I've tied quilted it. T-I-E-D. Yes, when you were talking about it earlier, <laughs> no, I was thinking, oh, that they to do that in Thailand. <laughs> Tie quilting. Tied right? quilting. So there's no, before we go, there's yeah. no machine stitching no. From this through to the no, there's backing. no, there's no machine quilting on here at all. It's all done by hand, right. and it's all done uh, tight okay. quilting. Which stage? Because normally, if you're machine quilting it, you make your sandwich, don't yes. you? Yeah. You machine quilt it, then you bind it and finish it. Yeah. Do you still do the same with tie? Uh, you do. If you if you're going to use just a, a plain backing and do it, then you just tie through all the layers. Yes. Um, this one, because I've done it as a reversible quilt, oh, right. I've actually done it slightly differently. So you just did it through the wad. I've, right, yeah, so let's yeah. pretend, let's forget pretend. that it's got the pink one underneath. Let's yeah. pretend... That this is just a normal quilt. That this is a normal quilt and yes. you've got the black yeah. on, the, on the background yeah. there. Right? Then what I do is I, tie, I layer it out yes. as normal. The good news is um, that you don't have to do any tacking or pinning or basting or anything like that at all. You just lay it out on your tabletop, right. okay? The bad news is, once you've done that and started tie quilting, you can't move it until you've finished. Right. Okay? Because you don't want to disturb. No, you no, of course not. The no, no, no. Okay? So you have to set enough tie, you have to work yeah. out how many tie knots yes. you're going yeah. to do. Yeah. And then you have to literally give yourself that amount of time yeah. 
Because you, or, or you can go away and come back to it, but you yeah. can't ever... But just leave it laid You can't out, roll so. it up and think, oh, I'll finish that tomorrow, we'll have tea yeah. now. Or no, something. no, you need to leave it laid okay. out. I mean, a quilt this size, you know, maybe a couple of hours tops, yeah. you know, less than that would, uh, yeah. would actually do it. Okay, okay then. So um, the way we do the tie quilting, I've got one here, is... Oh, so can I take this one off? Because you're you, going to do Yeah, I've got there. a little mini one, yeah. Okay. A little mini bit here. Don't watch me doing this. <laughs> Is it all going to fall down again? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I've got um, just the one block here. Lay it, yeah, bumps can, and I, can I just explain? <laughs> can I just, so that was me making that noise. Um, I'll put it up later. <laughs> Sorry. Can we get the A-frame? Hayley, can you have the A-frame, please? <laughs> right, so... It's you all, couldn't see... You just it's all the, going really dof, dof. well today. Yes, it's one of those <laughs> days today. I, I, st I don't think it's you at all. I still think it's the goosties yes. and the ghoulies having it's a practice. It's Courtney Cox. Oh, we've got Courtney Cox in the studio <laughs> bringing in an A-frame. Somebody emailed in saying you look like Courtney Cox. And I said, oh, what, 50? <laughs> oh, 53? She is now. Oh, not Hayley, obviously, uh, Courtney Cox. Where's it going to go, Hales? Yeah, come in, come in, come in. It needs to go here, please. <laughs> she, she might as well come and join yes, us, exactly. mightn't she? <laughs> Make herself feel useful. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely modelled. Uh, Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I know. It's one of those days, isn't it? Right. OK. Well, it's never, Paul was just saying, doesn't it look funny? Because we never used to have anything on the wall there. Now, yeah. we haven't got a quilt up there. It looks really weird. Yeah, it looks bizarre. Right. OK. High quilting. So, um, I've just got one block yes. layered up on some wadding and on, uh, a, on, yeah, on a backing. Yeah. OK. Now, to, um, to do it, you, I've, I've used um, six-stranded... Uh, embroidery thread. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, all six strands in one go. Nice um, big eyed needle. Now, what kind of needle is that then? That looks like. Um... I think it's like a. Um... I don't know, like a okay. tapestry type needle. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It looks like a big a, tapestry cool yeah, needle. Yeah, it, it? it needs to have a point on it because yeah. it's got to go through all the layers. Yeah, of course. But yeah. what, whatever comes to hand. Okay. okay? I'll do it on the, uh, on, on the on grey so you can see. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take a little stitch right. like that and you're going to have you gone through all the all the layers yes. oh yes yes, yes. yeah so then you're going to um, leave yourself a tail mm -hmm. okay and then go back in again and take the same stitch again as near as you can oh hang on where's the because we that's so it take just it need out, to move yeah that. right okay yep. so where's have, the original stitch there's then? the original that's where it went in yeah and that's where it's come out. Yeah. So you go back in again. Oh, in, in as, um, almost the same place. Yeah, near enough the same place. Yeah. And bring it through. Yeah. And this time you let it come right oh, in right, okay. to form So it's like a proper stitch, right? Okay. Yeah. Now you can cut it off at this point if you find it easier to, to tie your knots. Right. But we're not going to do a granny knot, which oh. is a normal knot. Oh, okay. Okay. Because that, can, that picks undone quite easily and it's not so oh, secure. Okay. So we're actually going to do a reef knot. <laughs> Were you in the, in the um, what do they call it, the sea cadets? <laughs> oh. So now, now this is, this is, we're not saying use this rope. No, this no, is no, just no, Joy's way of showing you how a, what is A it? reef knot. Reef knot. A reef. What's a sheath knot? R-E-E-F, reef. Oh, reef. Reef. And isn't that funny? I thought it was wreath like on the door. No, no. Reef. Reef. Reef as in like coral reef. Like a reef jacket. Reef. Oh, no. <laughs> That's anyway. a reefer. Um, <laughs> All right, Joy. Come on, Joy. Yeah, sorry. I'm hungry now. <laughs> OK. Right. Um, so, um, a lot of people get confused with reefer. Very often they'll know it's left over right, right over left, but they don't know what that actually means. Yeah, obviously, okay. obviously of course, we okay. do that. Yeah, yeah. So, this is my left hand. Where's so your needle, then? Oh, you've not got a needle in at this point. I'm just going to do it without the needle. I'll okay. explain the needle so, in a so minute. Is, is this so this is where your stitch is. Okay, okay, this is okay, stitched right. in. These yeah. are your two They're tails. They're your two loose ends. Okay. Right. okay, yeah, perfect. So you've got your left and you've got your right. Yes. Okay. So this left one goes over 
the right, so you make this sort of a, a cross. Yeah. And then it comes underneath. So that's the first part. So that's just like a gra that's like a normal That's like a normal dot, yeah. start, okay? So we've done left over right. And then we have to oh, do it again. So you're going to do it. I'm going to do it again, yeah. So okay. left over right. So this is now my left. Yes. And this is now my right. Yes. And then you do right over left and pop it through. The other and way it, round, yes. Yeah, and it makes that really nice flat Oh, uh, OK. OK? And if you pull that really taut, that locks in and it holds it really nice OK, just do it again. <laughs> Sorry. If you... I just, I hope, hope my, uh, my colleague, my sea cadet colleagues aren't watching this and cringing. That's oh, you really were a sea cadet? I do some uh, voluntary work with the sea, local do sea cadets. Yeah. Oh. I don't do much, but I'm there in spirit. Have you got the uniform and everything? No, no. no because then they have no. their like, funny little hat on the side like that. Or am I going back in the years? They have proper hats. <laughs> Not funny hats. Yeah, they have like, the berries. And, yeah, okay. and then no, the, um, I just seem to remember those, those like... No, I'm good. I think those are the American ones. Oh, are they? Yeah. Right, I'm the stitch here. You're the fabric, stitch. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to go left over right. Yeah. To and make our up. first part. Yeah. And then the right over the left to make the second part. And then you get that nice flat knot. Perfect. Okay. And then that stays as a flat. So then, so yeah. then uh, but then. If this is my stitch... Yeah, I'll show you again on there, yes. so you can see what happens yeah, in there. Yeah, because otherwise you'll yeah. just have it hanging out, wouldn't you, on yeah. that one? If I just show you quickly a granny knot, so you can see the difference, okay. which is what we normally do. We normally do... I don't know if I can do a granny knot now. I automatically You've just do done a reef knot. Yeah, though. I automatically do that. Isn't a granny knot just what we did to begin with? Just it is. You like go, that, go and over and over again. Oh, you do it twice? No, reef... Right, OK, I'll give up. There, there's no granny knot. Give me your finger. Oh. <laughs> Okay, come on then. Should we see if you can tie it on your finger? <laughs> I can't do it. it right, yeah, that's way. a granny knot. Yeah. No. Yeah, it goes the same way. So you can see there <laughs> that you haven't got a flat knot. No, You've and also like as, you took, as you pulled that, that came loose anyway. Yeah, as it, you pulled yeah, it away. Yeah, it will do. So there you yeah. go. <laughs> right, so let's do it with the. Um... So to translate that into quilting terms, okay? <laughs> You're laughing at me. <laughs> You know what they wanted me to do upstairs? Oh, go and on. My finger was like that. Like, no, it <laughs> Pull my finger. <laughs> you went like that? No, pull my finger, because we're the thing. Just pull my finger. Bang! <laughs> right. That wasn't me. That was little Paul and Ginger Mike wanted me well, to do Well, all I can say is I'm glad he's recovered his sense of humour after this morning. <laughs> sense of humour? He was a bit grumpy, wasn't he? A bit! He? <laughs> bit! Flipping it. Right, OK, so you've got... Your stitch, and you've got your loose end at that end. Yeah, I've done my second stitch. Yes. So you can cut it off. Yes. And then you can do it. Do your time. I tend to leave my needle on because that reminds me that that's my left. Yeah, just watch my face. I'm watching your face. Okay. That's your left. Oh, I see. Yeah. The... Oh, So that goes left over right. Yeah. And then pulls through. Okay. And then because I know that's my left, yeah. I can then take my right over my left and tie it. Okay. And then all I need to do is... Snip it off. Now, is that not going go. to fray away, or would that be all right? It'll, it'll get a little bit tasselly, but it won't come undone. Or it won't go because... past the reef knot, because that's Correct. the finishing one. Now, right. that means on this side, yes. you have, like, a little tasselly bit. Yes. But on that side, it's You've just a stitch. You've got a little stitch. Would you then do it again on the same spot but the other side? If you wanted to, you could. Um, usually I... what I would do, if I've got um, a black... Yeah, uh, which is this on one. There, is, yeah. I would <clears throat> use, I would use a black thread so you don't see the stitch. On okay, the but but if it's on the, so if it's on this side, yeah. if you were doing it that corner, that yeah. corner, that corner, and that yeah. corner, yeah. you use a black one. But then would you use black in the middle of the? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I see. So yeah. you're making the one that's got the the fringed ends. Yeah. Can be in any colour because you're making a feature of the fringe end. Absolutely. But if you've got black on the back, if you've yeah. done it in black, you'll only yeah. see, it'll be like a normal quilting yes. stitch, won't it? So yeah. it's not so yeah. obvious. Yeah. yeah. And obviously these you can do, you know, at whatever point you want. Yeah, you've done them in the centre of the square. Yeah. And the four. Oh, corners. and the four corners. Oh no, I was going to say you missed one. that one. No, there is one there. Yeah, there's one there. one there. Yeah. And is that enough then to quilt it? Yeah. As a quilt, as it were. Yeah, if I was doing this as um, uh, a sort of a heirloom quilt or something like that, I would probably do it more frequently. Right. Because I would take more notice of the three inches apart. Yes. Um, but something like, like a quillow or a, a quick throw like this, then, yeah, this, this is absolutely... A quillow? Fine. 
Oh, maybe another quilla? day. What's a quillo? A quillo is a cross between a cushion and a quilt. And right. basically, it, you have a cushion yes. and you put your hand inside it and pull it out and turn it round and it becomes a quilt. No, why haven't we made one of those yet? Perhaps I'll do it next time. It'd probably take two shows to do it. That's well, you can have two shows. Can I? Okay. Should we do it on Christmas Day? I don't know what they've got planned. I don't know what they've got planned. <laughs> Would you want to do it for Christmas Day? I don't mind. I don't mind. Should we do that on Christmas? Let's do that on Christmas Day. Let's tell them. <laughs> mind you, no, no, we can't because we don't know because we won't be doing Christmas then, will we, on Christmas Day? We'll be doing something. I don't know what we might be doing. We could make so. a quillo for spring. Yes, or but we something. could. Well, let's, let's put it forward. Well, let's it's put it's forward. an idea. It's I'm in tomorrow so that, and they're yeah. in tomorrow, so okay. I'll put it forward tomorrow and okay. say that's what. Because Joy, and I, Joy yeah. I've told you, Joy and I are on together yeah. for two of the four hours on, on Christmas Day. So what we could almost do. Yeah, let, we let, could just take over the whole show. Yeah, exactly. Let's see. Let's see, let's okay. see. Right, okay. okay. So, um, what's the next stage you're going to show me next on this? Um, okay, so that's what I've... Uh, that's what you're going to do if you're going to go through all of the all, layers. Yes. Okay? Because this one's reversible, if you notice, I've got yellow thread through the middle of there. I wondered how you'd done that. Red yeah, red on the back. Yeah. Red on the back of there. So, what I've done... Oh, it's going to fall. There we go. So, what I've done with that one is... I've simply layered it onto the wadding. So you're, you're backing, in, in real life, your backing wouldn't be anywhere near us. No, it would just no, be the front just, and the back Just, just and the, the front wadding. and yeah. there. I've done, I'll do another little one here, yeah. just so we can see it again. And this is quite, um, you know, quite a quick therapeutic way of getting a quilt finished um, really quickly. Yeah. Um, left over right, right over left. Yeah, that's it, you've got it. I'm surprised my son hasn't um, emailed in to say, why don't you tie a monkey fist knot and I'll... A pardon? Yeah, exactly. A monkey's fist. I think it's a monkey's fist knot. Is that a seaman's term as yeah, well? Yeah, he, he does them all the time. And I, <laughs> I, and I'm, like, I'm leaving yeah. you there, Joy, because I've got to go and do bundles. <laughs> I'll go and do bundles. <laughs> I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. They just drive me mad because we're a bit loud. I was a bit late coming through the fabrics. This is the one that Joy's been working on uh, during... You, now, the thing is, even if you're not going to make... I say this all the time. If you're not going to make uh, Joy's quilt with this, you're going to do your own designs, but a really, really gorgeous collection of... All three of them, really, really gorgeous collection of fabrics. So you get half a metre of the check with hearts, half a metre of the steel spot on, half a metre of the red... Uh, linear, half a metre of the silver spot on, half a metre of the bright red, half a metre of the ebony, and a metre and a half of plain black. So that's really for your back, for your back, uh, yeah, not your background, your backing, your backing, your backing on that one. Um, and then that, the next one, the middle one, which is the her, that's the hymn, they've called that the hymn. Um, you get the instructions as well, obviously. Then, of course, do you know what you could do? I, I, I was going to say, you could think of, if it's one where you got, you could make it on the centre one, it's like a chess board, and you could then make chess pieces or drafts pieces and play it off your board. Just a thought. Uh, this is the hers one. £53.49. You get uh, four and a half metres of fabric, so you get half a metre of the retweet. Half, I love this one. Half a metre of the pink with leaves. Half a metre of the square bubbles, half a metre of the squiggle, half a metre of the yellow, half a metre of the pink linear, and then one and a half metres of the purple uh, plain spectrum solid there. £53.49. and pence. Get the instructions as well. Lovely, 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 lovely collection. Now, this last one, we're going to go through this one in a bit more detail because I've not seen half these fabrics before. Again... You get the instruct. Oh, no, actually, I haven't seen any of the three patterned ones. So you get half a metre of each of these. This is the first... Now, this... I wonder if they've done it on purpose. It is the colours of a very famous digger company. Isn't it? The diggers in the background are the two colours of that company, aren't they? So you get half a metre of the digger fabric. These are... I've really... I've not seen these before. That's lovely. I wonder if we've got the... I mean, I might... Not for today, but I'll see if they've got those so we can do those by the half metre, another show. OK, then we've got the helicopter. I thought you'd never seen these fabrics before. There we go. Helicopters. Half a metre of the helicopter. Oh, and little planes. 
Yes, the, the, whoever's, whoever's doing air traffic control, that, mind you, when you see those documentaries about air traffic controllers, and they're in that glass tower and they're bringing all those, uh, oh, I wouldn't want a job like that. Wouldn't want a job. You, what? Or well, you'd be rubbish at that little pole. I oh, know, you get one of your moods and those planes will be going everywhere. There we go. Look. Trains. They're lovely, aren't they? All those little icons going on there. So you get a half a metre of... Oh, no, there's another one, there's another one. Now, this is one I've got. It's in, it's in my wardrobe next door. Some, who, somebody'd been in it while I wasn't here, I have to point out. Um, look at this one. This is motorbikes and cars. Oh, the icon's got hold of that one. Uh, I've got a shirt made out of fabric with icons very much like that. OK, so you get half a metre of all those. You also get half a metre of the linear sunshine, half a metre of the, um, I, think, I think it's lime, and then one and a half metres of the bright ocean blue. Uh, all of that for £51.49. and pence. That's the most popular bundle so far. And you get the instructions with it as well. 50, OK, back to Joy. Now, I've got to ask a question. Okay. Oh, uh, no, you introduced something. I, what's this for? Oh, I'll, I'll put that there. I'll tell you about those in a minute. I'll finish leave that for there for now. Come leave on, that let's finish this off. Finish that off. Finish this off. God, gracious me. So I've done this one, yes. which just went into the wadding. the wadding. OK, then you put your other side of your quilt on. And then I'm going to do it in the same place, but I'm only going to go in as far as the wadding. Oh, oh right. I'm okay, not so, going to yeah. go right the way through. through because I don't want the you know the same the, the other colour thread. Yes. This is this through. is what you're doing them both in red, but this is up for the yeah. like the quilt you're doing there. Yeah. So yellow so on this side, red, red on the on other the side. Other side yeah? yeah. So that will um, then obviously um, go through there. Now, what people will often say to me is. That's all very well, but it's going to be a lot. Of, I was going to pick that. Going to be a lot of money to keep going out and rushing out to find the right threads and and all the rest of it. Now I'm quite lucky because I've got a big collection of, of embroidery threads. Right, and sounds And I found that so have we on here. And so, I tell you what, let's do this first. Let's yeah. do this first. Uh, you get 100 embroidery threads in here, 8 metres each, embroidery floss, they call it. Look yeah. at all the colours. Now, you don't get one of each, because you can see, they go the colours. You get a whole range of colours in there. Yeah. Uh, 800 metres for £14.95. Yeah. Now, in the advert break, you know how we've got uh, some of the experts saying their little general uh, tips and tools? Paul has chosen the... Uh, no, not you, Paul, the, the expert, has chosen <laughs> the box... To, to store all these in. So watch the advert. Next time you see the advert with Paul, he's got his elephant shirt on. Um, it's brilliant. It's the box and, you, and they've got cardboards and you just wind those and then they're all wound up. They're all Because what happens is this looks gorgeous like that. Mm -hmm. But the minute somebody opens that bag and takes one out, yeah. they all cascade cool. out yeah. there. And watch Paul's advert and you'll see the box. It's, it's only 4 95 the storage box. But yeah. they're brilliant. They're fantastic. Yeah. And even if you haven't got a project to do them in, that imagine giving that as a Christmas gift. It's beautiful, yeah. isn't it? really nice. And also, because you've got all the, the different colours, if you were doing like the decorations we were doing earlier on, anything like that, you've, you've got them. To, well, you've got them to there, go haven't you? A yeah. stash of all yeah. of them, yeah. and and ju ju just the colours. Some of, oh oh yeah, some of them are repeated there, yeah. so you know. Uh, uh, but I just think that is such a brilliant buy. We've had that for a while, but I think yeah. it's very very good buy that one. Eight hundred meters of the, the embroidery floss there. And if you're going to do a quillo. We can use Aquilo. One Aquilo as well. Oh, I'll keep that one for Christmas Day. I hope we can do it on Christmas Day, but they might have they might have yeah, plans, probably got plans. We right, can do okay. it sometime. Yeah, we'll definitely do it sometime, right, definitely. Okay. If um, if you don't fancy doing um, the tied quilting, you can just do um, what we call big stitch quilting. Oh, okay. Just like a little running stitch. Oh, I think that's what, Mar yeah. what Marcy was doing on her husband's quilt last week, uh, yes. Quite well, B. So all you're going to do is, I'm not going to tie it off yes, properly yes, yeah. and everything, but you can just echo it round with some nice... Oh, so it looks like it looks like a, a well, it is a running stitch running round the outside of the square and things. Yeah. So uh, if you wanted to, to machine quilt it, you could, if you oh, haven't absolutely. got the time to do, because yeah. this will be more time consuming, won't it, to do the hand? If you're going to do this kind of hand quilt, it would be more time yes. consuming. Um, tied quilting is the quickest, but yeah, you can machine quilt if you want um, to. OK, Lisbeth, I would like shirts made from the men's prints. Mm. 
Oh, that's from Ian. But on Kaylee's, on Kaylee's, um, on the, from, on the, the, do you mean the, the on ones? On these ones. This, or these, yes, they'd yes. be lovely. They'd be gorgeous. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Oh, it's another message, sorry. Tracy, great idea for Quillo. Also, what about a toffet? Can you make oh, a toffet? I don't want to make a toffet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can make a toffet. I've made a big one, which I did at home. Yes. And I do do a class where I do a mini toffet. Oh, okay. Because um, Pam, the, Pam the Patchwork, yeah. she does a weekend retreat where you can make a toffet. And have a nice time staying in a hotel and everything like That's that. That's where I went and did it. Oh, is it? Did you yeah. go to Pam Patchwork Pams? Yeah. There you go. See? Yeah, where did so... she go to do yours then? Did she go to Leamington Spa? Uh, yes. I was going to say yeah. she did one recently, yeah. in the last year yeah. in Leamington Spa. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Yeah, and I got lost on the way home because I don't normally use a sat nav, okay? Right. I just, I do the old fashioned way, I read the road signs yes, yes. to see where mm -hmm. I'm going. Um, but I take my husband's sat nav just in case. Yeah. And got there fine, no problem, had a lovely time, came away, put the sat nav off to take me home. And I'm driving along and I'm thinking, this doesn't feel, you know, we just yes, didn't yes, feel yes, right. Yes, yes, I don't, yeah. But I recognised all the names of the places and I knew where I was, but it, I think this doesn't feel right. And instead of taking me to Birmingham, it took me to Stratford. Oh, so can so visit me then? Right, exactly. And I'm like, why is it doing And I got to a point where I thought, right, if it takes me left here, I know I'm definitely going the wrong way. And yes. it did. So I stopped and checked it. And it was a brand new sat nav, and he'd said he'd gone to somebody's house in Stratford, and he'd accidentally set it as the home. It's, so it obviously didn't Who want to go. Who was home. it in Stratford? Oh, it was a lady called <gasps> Abigail. I don't know if I want to know any more of this story, John. Who does lots of long arm quilting? Oh. And he was taking, in Stratford? Yeah, and he was taking some quilts over uh, to Oh, so it wasn't anything scandalous then? No. Oh. no. I could have caught him out, though, if it was. Not me, exactly. <laughs> but a friend of mine caught out their yeah. other half by... You know that when you park a little car park, you pay a pound yeah. or thing, yeah. they just throw it in you? And she found... She went... She was oh. like, oh, where's... And then she was like, what were you doing in... I don't know what town. Yeah. It was yeah. York on such and such a day. And he... Ooh. Anyway, Ooh. less of that on a Sunday morning. Yes. Uh, my daughter made me a... Uh, hang on, that's this quill work. Is that, uh, is that, do we mean that, like a pit, what do you call it? A pillow quilt, what's it called? <laughs> a quillow. A quillow. Maybe that's what it's called. Yeah. Great for picnics, that's from yeah. Ronnie. Yeah. And great to have in the car as well. Oh, yes. They look like a cushion, you see. So, brilliant. Fantastic. Oh, no, we'll definitely do one of those. Okay. Um, but you don't want to do a tough fit. I'll get Pam in. Well, it. It's, I'm, I'm not sure it would. It would work very well on air for me to do it. I'm not oh, sure I'd be careful. Little Paul says he'll do it. Oh, great. That's fine. We'll look forward to that. Then. Yeah. OK, so what's next? Then? What, what's this? Right, OK. Um, if you're going to quilt it in the um, traditional way um, and you don't want to spend a lot of time doing your basting and you don't fancy using pins, you can use this 505 Right, spray. now we've seen 404 and we've seen 303 and we've seen... Yeah, I don't know what all the different numbers. Yeah. What yeah. makes 505 special? This one's made for, uh, for patchwork and quilting, and it's um, it holds for a while and then it'll eventually dissipate. Out oh, of the way. okay. So it's like okay. it's like a, a glue, but like the yeah. vanishing pen. Yeah, but like it's glue. it's only repositionable for something like. 10 or 15 minutes, I think it is. Right, so, so, so we're not yeah. going to do it in it because we've yeah. got no windows. Yeah. So if this is your quilt yeah. and this is your batting yeah. and that's your backing, where, yeah. do, where do you spray it? I would um, put my backing down, spray my backing. Then... So it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, you don't, it's all right to spray onto your quilting fabric then? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. that's the whole point of it. Yeah, yeah. you spray it on. Put your wadding on and smooth it over. Yeah. And it, it, I say it is repositionable. But only for, for about 15 for, minutes. For a short yeah. time. Uh, then lightly spray it on the top again. Put this one on the top, smooth that one over. Where have you, where have you, sprayed, where have you sprayed that one? On the onto, wadding or on the fabric? On the wadding. On the wadding, yeah. Yeah, because if you've sprayed it on there and you're trying to waft that about, you're going to get it like a fly swat. Oh, yes. Like fly oh, paper yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it could be fun. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so I always do that. Um, the, the trick is not to be over generous with it right. because uh, you know, you, there's, there's no need to. You only no. just need a light dust it. Okay. But you do need, as you said, you know, a well ventilated room. Yes, yeah. Um, and Mind also, you, this says it's, well, yeah, you still yeah. need to This is yeah. odourless and colourless, apparently, this one. Yeah, but, yeah. So, but there must still be, yeah, it's just, a spray can, isn't yeah, it? So absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Um, and there's something else I was going to say. Oh, sorry. As well. No, it's all right. But, oh, so you see, so you, you spray it on, you lay it like that, and yeah. then whether you're hand quilting it or machine, it's yeah. instead of pins, is it? Yeah, because once it 
it's sort of set. It's it's set for long enough for you to. But does that mean off. you have to quilt it within fifteen minutes, or it's only no, the repositional? No, it's just the repositional bit. Right. So. Uh, and then and then and then it doesn't make it claggy with your needle going no, through or anything no, like that. No, no, it's designed that you can you can stitch through without without it getting all. Gone okay, because you've always gone on 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 about where's the five oh five, where's the five oh five, where's the five. <laughs> We've got the 505, 250 yes, we've millilitres. Got it, we've got it. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Um, just be a bit careful about overspray, as within any, any aerosol. If you're going to do it, I would always put some paper or something uh, underneath, you know, out a good way. Oh, right, because right, Because right. no matter how careful you are, there's a good chance you're going to get... Oh, but that's like when I used to yeah. start shirts, when I was yeah. working on films yeah. and everything, you'd yeah. have the ironing board covering, you'd go... Yeah. <laughs> like that. And then you'd iron, your shirt would be beautiful, but then you'd leave, <laughs> and the floor all around the ironing yeah. would be like, yeah. oh, and yeah. so... Yeah. It's the same thing with exactly that, Exactly the isn't it? same uh, same principle. Um, and then, you know, just, just quilt it however however you want to. Okay, use. Josephine says, if you do the quillo, I hope you repeat it on the day after, on a day other than Christmas Day. I cook for eight, so no me to watch it. Sorry. Josephine, don't worry about that. <laughs> if we do it, we'll let you know when we're going to yeah. do it. it might, they might have plans already in store, so we don't know. Yeah. But... Do you know what? You can always, if you miss it, though, yeah. you, it could be on YouTube for, for, forever. All you need to do is go on YouTube, put in Sand Quarter and the date, and you'll be able to watch that show when it, whenever you want. To it's the same with our um, sister channel, Jewelry Maker. They are the same. You can watch any of their shows. You just have yeah. to put the date in, and you can see the show there. Yeah. We can do that. OK. Right. Have you finished? Um, just the binding to go on oh, there. Oh, yes. The, yeah. talk, I've got a minute. Yeah. I've got a minute, Joyce. Okay. So let's get okay. this off here and talk about the binding. Oh, so we've gone back to the... Um, Masculine one here, because that pink. Well, no, I don't. No, no, that pink one's from this one, isn't it? The pink one's from that yeah, one. Yeah, the pink one's from from that one. Okay, now you've done. Bear in mind what you were saying about birds. That that must be the masculine side because it's more beautiful. Oh yes, <laughs> right. yes, exactly. <laughs> um, you seem to have done a different stitching on this. Yeah. Okay. Um, because this this is you know um, somewhat quick and and cheerful, and if you are genuinely stuck out and it's been used, it might get trashed. You know, yes. you don't know what's going to yeah. happen to it. So, um, all I've done is uh, I've put the binding on as I would normally do. I've yes. done a single fold binding on this one. Right. Okay. You could do a double fold; yeah. it doesn't matter. Done the mitered corners, and I've stitched it down on the machine, and I've used this little heartbeat. Oh, stitch, oh emergency! Yeah, emergency. That's fantastic, Joy. Thank you. That's brilliant. When are you in next? Uh, Fortnight's Day, Remembrance Day. You can't forget oh, so that. Oh, with me, with yep. me, with me, 12th of November. Yep. Thank you ever so much. They okay. really, really loved it. I'm just going to go and do bundles and then okay. um, uh, we'll see you on November the 12th. Yep, right, take care. very quickly. Free bundles. Not free, three. Where's little ball gone? All right, which one do you want to do first? Yep. This one first. That's all right. He was miles away then. Half a metre of the birds, half a metre of the um, pink leaves, half a metre of the pink squares, half a metre of the squiggle, half a metre of the yellow, half a metre of the pink linear, and one and a half of the purple. And the instructions for £53.49. Children's ones next. Oh, I've got ages. I've got ages. I thought we were rushing. Oh, I've got the menu to do as well, haven't I? So. Um, we've got the diggers, half a metre. The helicopters and aeroplanes, half a metre. The trains, half a metre. The cars and motorbikes, half a metre. The sunshine linear, the lime green, and then they're all half a metre. And then one and a half, that gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous bright blue there. £51.49. You do need to check out your baskets. You do need to check out your baskets, especially on that one. And you get the instructions as well, because we haven't got to steal, so I'll put those in shot. There we go. Then the last one is the more masculine one. So you get the hearts in the checks there. Little Paul's got a shirt made out of that one. Then you've got the um, st uh, slate spot. Then you've got the bright uh, red linear. Then you've got the silver spot. Then you've got the bright red plane. Then you've got the ebony linear. They're all half a metre. Then you get a metre and a half of the black for the back backing. And the instructions. Uh, and the instructions there with the details. So it's all the cutting instructions on the front and the layout and how to actually make the block on the back. £47.49. Right, it's me again tomorrow. So shall we have a look at Le Menu for tomorrow? Make it Monday. Uh, now, that's Jennifer Mills, isn't it? That's Jennifer Mills, that one. Uh, festive makes. Then I've got an under £15 selection. Oh, that'd be like John Scott's haberdashery shop. Then we've got Kitchen Essentials. Oh, hang on then. Hang on. 
I'm just wondering, because make it, wear it. I wonder what that is. I've not been told I'm making anything. So that'd be interesting. I'll find out now when I get off the, when I get off now. Little Paul prints up tomorrow for me and I do all my prep for tomorrow. So obviously Jennifer's making festive makes at eight o'clock and kitchen essentials at 10. Is that, anyway, under 15 pounds and then make it or wear it at 11 o'clock. I'm confused because Jennifer put a, is Jennifer in for two days, I wonder? Because she put a picture on um, Instagram of her latest, her latest project, and it wasn't a kitchen. Anyway, it'll be interesting. Make sure you tune in and watch. Now, if you've got any problems uh, to do with, obviously, sewing cords, they're not personal issues or anything, just give us a call. 0800 112 It is a free phone line, and they're there all day. And they are brilliant. Our, the call centre here are absolutely fantastic. They'll sort you out. Um, if you want to see anything that we've missed, sewingquarters.com. Uh, we go on a loop. Any second now, we'll go on a loop so you can start watching the 8 o'clock show. Or, of course, oh, just go to the website to see all the fabric or anything like that. Uh, or anything that we've bought. Remember, underneath me on the web are all the items we've had today. So, you can, if you're just watching or you're watching on the repeat, you can see what's still available underneath me there. Because if they're sold out, they won't be down there. Um, or... You can go and watch on YouTube at any time. Just put in sewing quarter and the date of the show you want to see and you can watch it there. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our sewing quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. Don't forget, shopping with us is easy and simple. You can just contact us at 0800 112 4433 and speak to our UK-based call centre to place an order or shop online with us at www.sewingquarter.com.